our new slow roasted chicken. Try the new Cantina chicken menu today at a participating U.S. Taco Bell location while supplies last. Contact store for participation, which varies. If you're celebrating a milestone anniversary this year, or just starting the process of picking out that engagement ring, welcome to International Diamond Center. At IDC, we're one of a few jewelers around the world with direct access to exquisite diamonds from Namibia. These are the highest quality, most brilliant diamonds on the planet. And with IDC's connections with the cutters, you can be assured of the ultimate in value with no middleman markups. And just as important as the brilliance of our diamond is the source itself. An IDC diamond comes only from specific mines that follow strict international laws and environmental standards. Not only do we guarantee conflict-free diamonds, we are proud that when you purchase an IDC diamond, you are helping provide dignified employment, much-needed education, and necessary health care to African families. So come and shop with confidence at IDC. Confidence in the quality, the value, and the integrity of our diamonds. International Diamond Center. Transparency, honesty, responsibility. Learn more at shopidc.com or visit our showroom today in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. This Easter weekend, hop on over to Pool Perfection's grand opening of their second location. With 20 years of experience and top-notch quality, they're bringing the best to North Tampa communities. Just two miles west of the Tampa Premium Outlets on State Road 54. Join the festivities this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Indulge in delicious food and exciting fun as you explore what Pool Perfection has to offer. Plus, for those attending, there are fantastic incentives in store if you're considering building that pool. Don't miss out on the treats this weekend. Come celebrate with Pool Perfection. We're going abroad for the first time in years to Spain. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Plumbing, HVAC, and electrical contractors on Service Titan put up big numbers. How big? In their first two years on Service Titan, contractors typically see a 10% increase in call booking rates, a 9% increase in average ticket size, and a 17% increase in revenue. They also average a 4.7 out of 5 stars on customer review sites. Add it all up and the answer is clear. When solving for profitability, productivity, and growth, Service Titan is an essential part of the equation for contractors like you. Learn more today at ServiceTitan.com. That's ServiceTitan.com. Individual results may vary. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. The Fibrex window from Renewal by Anderson. 2023's most energy efficient window by Energy Star. Tough and stylish. It's as beautiful to look at as it is to look through. Limited time offer. Buy one Fibrex window or patio door, get one 40% off. With zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for one year. Restrictions apply. Minimum purchase of three units required for discount. Renewal by Anderson. A better way to a better window. Visit rbafla.com. License number CGC 1527613. And iHeartRadio Sports Report, presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like Freeform Radio. Search Freeform Radio and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Mostly cloudy early on this morning. 70% chance of morning showers. We should see sun in the afternoon. Our high right around 75. Overnight, clear skies and the low will drop back to 57. Tomorrow, Friday, nothing but sun, but not much warmer. Our high, 76. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. 
Play ball. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to Pat and Aaron. Top headlines. Right, we're out here at Tropicana Field live for opening day, and it's time for today's top headlines brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. Casey Warner, uh, update us, and I know we've got a raised departure you just reminded us happened yesterday. That's right. Well, that didn't last long, and that is That's what Nayuki, Nayuki Uwasawa I am talking about. The Boston Red Sox, our division rival, have acquired Uwasawa in a trade with the Rays for cash considerations, according to Jeff Passan. And as we saw in person, he got knocked off the mound quite a bit in spring training. Yeah, listen, when it comes to Uesawa, the Rays saw something there that he wasn't ready to pitch at the major league level. He he was obviously uh, a heralded pitcher coming out of Japan, spending over 11 years there or over a decade there. Um, so I, I understand when you want to take a chance on a guy. He's 30 years old, he's coming to a new league in a new country. His fastball is around 90 miles per hour, which, by the way, he uses almost half the time. So... When you are topping out at around 90 miles per hour in your fastball, you're using the pitch a lot. I don't care the versatility of pitches that you have. I don't care if you got a curveball, a slider, a, 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 a cutter. It doesn't matter because you're going to get rocked in the sleeve. And we went to spring training, and it was his first outing, right? But And he got better from what we heard. But, I mean, guys were teeing up on this on this guy. He found all the barrels. He found, he found all, all the barrels. He found all the barrels, and it was not fun to watch. And listen, I said to you guys, and, and I was being a little tongue-in-cheek to an extent, but I was like, look, he's garbage. And I say that because the Rays know what they're doing. If the Rays had gold, if the Rays had something that they knew they could sprinkle a little bit of that Snyder dust onto and he would become gold, they would have held on to him. But the Rays know he ain't got it. So they said, you know what, you are garbage, and we will – Toss you onto the Boston Red Sox. Now, again, when I say garbage, I'm not. I don't mean he's definitely garbage. The guy's just trying to get into the league. But I believe in the Rays enough that if they thought something was there, they wouldn't have gotten rid of him. So the fact that they did tells me more about him than the move. And listen, Boston's looking to add some pitching. They want to add a veteran, a guy who is not a veteran in this league, but a guy who's been around and has been pitching for a long time. So. Um Listen, it didn't work out here. I don't know if he's garbage. I think if he would have had some time, if he would have stayed, if the Rays would have been able to kind of bring him up and, and get him acclimated, maybe he could have been good and productive. Let we'll me see. ask you something. you think the Rays are in a position right now where they could use a guy that might be able to throw some innings for them later in the year like we've been talking about with McKay, like we've been talking about with Odorizzi? Yes, but I, to, to be quite honest, and I might be wrong on this, it seemed as if it was kind of a weird situation with Uusawa where – it wasn't for sure that he was going to decide to stay in the minor league system with the Rays because of his contract. Um, I think they were trying to move some things around and adjust some things, which is an t- interesting situation. A guy coming from coming over to this league from Japan. Um, maybe he was like, I would like to be traded. You know, Maybe he wanted to be traded and the, the Rays did what they could to trade him. Because think about it. I mean, they did trade him to a division rival, which is odd. Uh, which tells me, like, if they actually had faith that he could become something, they wouldn't trade him to a division rival. But Not maybe, for peanuts. Yeah, maybe they were trying to do right by him, which I don't, like, they gave him a lot. He paid, got paid a lot of money, so I don't think you need to do right by the guy. You're not trading him within the division for cash considerations if you think he can become a great pitcher. You're just not doing it. Unless you can recoup some of the cash that you lost. Uh, you know, you spent a decent amount of coin on the guy, which I think is wild considering there are guys out there right now, as we've mentioned on this show before, Who? that are out there. Trevor Bauer that you can get for less. And there's other guys. Listen, there's other guys that you can get for a little bit more. I don't want to harp on Trevor Bauer, especially on opening day. That's not what today's about. But there are guys you can certainly look at that could be helpful for around the same coin. Well, here's to hoping he's on the mound for the Red Sox against the Rays so we can get some runs against him. Moving on, Will Smith signed a 10-year, $140 million deal with the Dodgers as an extension you think he's worth it, and do you think he's the best catcher in the game right now? No, he's not the best catcher in the game, but he's really good. He's worth. Uh, he's worth it. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, well, Aaron just googled Will Smith real quick, and right away, Will Smith, oh, the yeah. actor. Of course, I saw a lot of up. memes last night on Twitter. They were beautiful. <laughs> now yeah. I'm trying to look at what he did uh, last year, um, because was they he just like 270. They, they, they just right? signed a contract with him recently, and this was an adjustment, I believe, uh, yeah. to that contract. 10 years. The Dodgers have endless money. $14 million a year for a guy who's been established with them. Um, 
He's had some big moments with them, huge moments for them um, in the playoffs. So I think they know the guy. They're comfortable with the guy. Production in 10 years when he's close to 40 as a catcher, not great. But um, I think they're they're looking at the price and the average price they're going to get for him. What is it, $14 million a year? That's that's going to be p- pennies. That's pennies now in baseball. I was going to say, yeah, $14 million a year for a catcher is a ton of money when you're the Tampa Bay Rays. When you're the Los Angeles Dodgers, it's it's literally next to nothing. Like they look at that as just another contract on their on their team. Like whether or not he's worth it, I think most guys, you know, to what Aaron was saying, right? Most guys at the end of their contracts never are. Um, but that that said, it's not a super absorbent contract compared to a lot of the ones we see around sports. He's a catcher that hits 20 home runs and gets to 80 RBIs a year and hits 260. That's plus. hard to ask. Like you can't yeah, find. That's, that. You yeah. just don't find. Like that's yeah. that's a that's. I'll take that. And I know Rays fans listening are like, yeah, give us that yeah. all the time. That's a, a quarter yeah. of that. Yeah, that's, yeah right. <laughs> that's that's a 10 year catcher by all means. All right. So I don't know about you all, but I hate teases. And it's opening day today. Mm. So we don't need any teases you on the You know, those are important day. in this business case. They are. You know, they're very important. But this kind of tease is not to be messed with. MLB opening day rainouts. There are already two mm. rainouts. Already? Two games. Two games have already been pushed back to Friday Phillies versus Braves and Mets versus Brewers already pushed back due to weather. I would hate that. Like, oh my goodness. Can you imagine if. Somehow this got rained out today, and we didn't have a well. Roof listen, like yeah, that. It was, it was, it was, like, wow. Listen, is it going to wow. get rained out here? No, no, but the Rays play on the road sometimes, yeah. and we've all. I think we've been through this situation. I can't remember an exact time, but like it sucks. It sucks, and we've all grown up, to, you know, fans of other teams, right? Like it sucks when you get to opening day. We all have this excitement, this energy. We walk in the ballpark, we start yelling, we're taking videos. There's nobody even in here. We were so excited for baseball, and then all of a sudden, it's like at the last second. Oh, no, I don't get to see the game until tomorrow. It sucks. Yeah, it it does suck, but you can look at it from that perspective or because I'm a glass half full type of guy uh, now, I'm going to look at it (laughs) from the perspective of how much would it suck if they told you as you were at the game and you had to wait, like we see with rain delays. They didn't wait. They didn't mess around. They saw the bad weather coming in. They want opening day to be an amazing experience to start the season, whichever city is hosting an opening day game and wherever, you know, eventually everyone's going to have their first home game, uh, you know, early on in the season. You want that to be a great experience. Major League Baseball, Rob Manfred, they recognize that. This is a smart move to do this as early as they did to make this announcement. That way, everyone can adjust their plans accordingly uh, to move it to Friday. I actually, uh, I thought that was a good move to do that. And if they end up as part of a double header, there's your silver lining. You might get to see two games for the price of one. That happened to uh, me one time where I was going to see actually the Mets, the Mets and the Giants. It got rained out and we ended up get the game before us got rained out and our game ended up becoming a double header. We got two games for the price of one. There you have it. From the other side of the table, that's top headlines. Oh. Back to you all. Back to us from the other side of the table. All right, when we return, again, we're live from Tropicana Field. There's nobody here, but this place is going to be sold out yet again this afternoon as the Rays open up their season with Zach Eflin on the mound. We've been talking about some of the concerns with this team. We've been talking about some of the reasons why Vegas has them finishing in fourth place, even though we all think that might be a little crazy. But could the lowered expectations around the Rays actually be a good thing in this clubhouse. We'll discuss it next on the Pat and Aaron Show, live from Tropicana Field on opening day on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. So, you want the latest on the Rays from the inside pitch to the final out? Hey, fellow, we're on it. Highlights and interviews? We got them. News, scores, analysis? Yeah, I got that, too. We a line drive in the center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. We follow the Rays better than anyone. All, all season long. We are your hardball hookup. This is the home of the Rays. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC, one pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief.
Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Celebrate and save at Ashley's Anniversary Sale. With Hot Buys, your choice of colors starting at just $3.99. Ashley Sleep Mattresses starting at $2.50. Plus, receive a free adjustable base with select mattress purchases. And shop top mattress brands like Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and Beautyrest Black with 60-month special financing only at Ashley. Subject to credit approval. No minimum purchase required. Minimum monthly payment, down payment, tax, and delivery may be required. See store for details. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine, and our team is a triple threat to big insurance companies. Don't settle with the insurance companies for a fraction of what your case is worth. We'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. That's the Anajar and Levine difference. Get your free case review right now. We'll help you take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. For the best live thoroughbred horse racing action, you don't have to go far. Right here in our backyard at Tampa Bay Downs. Free on Wednesdays, $3 only on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. They've got tip sheets for the inexperienced better, so check them out. The best racing around, tampabaydowns.com. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty. That the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Com. And iHeartRadio Sports Report, presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Tractor Supply. The Sweet 16 of the NCAA Tournament is here. Four games tonight, two each in the East and West regions. College coaching news from Florida Atlantic. They've hired Baylor assistant John Jacobs to be their new head coach, replacing Dusty May, who took the job at Michigan. Hockey, the Lightning won again, beating Boston the Bolts 7-0-1 in their last eight games. And baseball is back. Rays open the season today against Toronto. I'm Matt McCoy. Doug Gottlieb here. Just like in basketball, a successful game plan starts with having the right players. The MVP team at Tractor Supply brings both hustle and heart. That's what really sets them apart. So lace up your sneakers and make winning plays by heading to your local Tractor Supply store today. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Rays fans around the globe. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM. 620. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WTAE, live from the Trop. Now back to Pat and Aaron. 
a little early for a beer right now, but I'd take a Bloody Mary on this opening day. By the way, opening day in Tampa Bay, the coverage is presented by our friends at the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more information, go to cfbhn.org. You can tell I did that read all during football season. I um, want to uh, real quick congratulate Ronnie and T. Kraz on an excellent final show. Yes. Uh, awesome job by everyone involved uh, at that final show at the Hard Rock yesterday. We were out there. Uh, Zach Blobner was out there. The entire team was out there. I know John Mamola came, and you guys all grabbed the drink at the end. But to everyone who showed up, I mean, Ken, Hillsborough County Commissioner Ken Hagen was hanging out almost the entire time. The He's hit the man. man. The hitman was the man. Man. Um, and all the listeners. There were so many people. I, I can't name them all. Uh, incredible. Joe. Uh, Joseph came up. One of the you know, n- nicest guys. Everyone who came up. Happy to birthday yesterday. to Joe. Just turned 50 years old. Yep. That's right. And uh, just want to thank everyone who came out. Not just for us, but you know, said hello to us. But to celebrate Ronnie and T-Kraz on their 10-year run. Just a really special day yesterday. So I wanted to note that real quick. It was. It was awesome night uh, at Emily Arena last night as well. Watching the Tampa Bay Lightning take down the Boston Bruins 3-1. to one. And I'll tell you what, when when Stammer put them up originally, Stammer put them up three to one, I was like, all right, here we go. We got them again. And we were talking to Braden Coburn about it yesterday. And he's like, hey, you know, we want to try to put a little doubt in the Bruins' mind because they're playing really good hockey. But this, you know, we beat them the last time out. It was, I think, three to two. It was a shootout victory uh, in overtime in Boston. And then they win last night. And again, Stammer gets that third goal. And I'm like, here it is. We're going to win this game. And then they take it off moments later. And I, I'm telling you, they even had trouble on the broadcast seeing the offsides. It was that close. Sorelli's goal was that close to the line, but they pull the goal off the board. But Kucherov ends up putting up uh, the the empty netter to finish them off, and the, and the Lightning get it done against the Bruins. And uh, listen, I just I love the way this team's playing hockey right now. It's fantastic, and you're beating good teams. Yep. And you had the great road trip. You come back home, no slowdown, big win. You are two points behind Toronto in the division now. So this is when you look at the standings, the way the Lightning have separated themselves in the wild card. I have so much confidence moving forward. Not only, obviously, confidence now that they're going to make the playoffs, oh, yeah. but confidence that they can overtake Toronto for that third spot in the division because you've, you're two points behind them. You've got Toronto coming up in the not-too-distant future, right? Your next three games, you got the Islanders, Detroit, Toronto, all teams fighting for playoff positioning or just to get into the playoffs. I'll, you've got two games left this season against Toronto, and you're two points back. I really like what they're doing. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Catching Toronto obviously would be huge, um, and it's important. I'm not going to say it's not important, but I'm my at this point – the way they've played since they've traded for for Dumba and and, and uh, Duclair, 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 like, and especially Anthony Duclair has been playing out of his mind. This whole team has been playing out exceptional since they've been here. Like for me, I'm looking beyond that. I think this team can play with anybody. I really do. They're getting to the point where they look like they can play with anybody. And I didn't think I'd be saying that about this team at any point this season, leading up to the trade deadline. Um, those two additions of Matt Dumba and Anthony Duclair have really been. Just absolutely massive. Um, when it comes, you talk about pulling away in the standings. A lot of people think, and Vegas thinks, that Baltimore and 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 the Yankees, who they actually have listed as the favorites in the division, which is beyond me, uh, are going to pull away from the Rays. They've got the Rays predicted to be in fourth place. A lot of people don't believe the Rays are going to be very good this season. I've got a lot of concern about the Rays, although I like this team and and this organization and what they've done over the years and believe in them too much to just believe they're going to be bad, Aaron. But if you think about it, it's been a long time for Kevin Cash, now two-time manager of the year. This team, since a couple of tough years to start out, has really been in contention every year since he's been here for the most part. It's been a really long time since Kevin Cash could go down into that clubhouse if he wanted to, and I don't know if it's a strategy that he would use, but it's been a long time since he's gone in there and been able to play us against the world. It's been a long time for him to be able to go in that clubhouse and say, nobody believes in you. Because year after year, people do. Year after year, the national pundits, they recognize what the Rays have done. And this year, I think a lot, and then listen, I think there's good reason, right? But a lot of people do not believe in this team. 
And if he wants to, he might be able to employ that that kind of us against the world mentality. Yeah, it's actually a really good point because you, you, when you think about the last couple of years, you're right. There are people that have you know respected people in baseball that have picked the Rays to win it all. Yeah, and that's happened the last couple of years, and they haven't been able to do it. And now a lot of what you're hearing is not they're down on the Rays. It's a lot of we don't know. Because most of the top baseball minds understand this organization and understand the Rays always seem to compete when, when it seems like they're not going to. So I'm not hearing a lot of people down on the Rays. I'm just hearing a lot of, let's wait and see what this team's going to look like. I'm far from a top baseball mind, as you know. Um, but that said, I, I'm definitely not down on this team. But And you know this because I've been saying it to you. I just kind of look at this year as a year that's going to be a little bit tough and lead into a year next year where I think we have a chance to be ridiculously good because of everyone who's going to get back at the end of this year, getting McClanahan back hopefully early next year. Like next year is the year that I look at and think this team's got a legitimate shot to win a World Series. And this year, I don't know how legitimate the shot is to make the playoffs. So that's you. So you, I mean, if Kevin Cash should just be playing us against the world versus versus you, um, but that's not his style. I don't think he's going to be doing that because I don't think it's an uh, you know us versus the world. I think it's a wait and see, and I think Kevin Cash knows it's a wait and see. He likes a lot of the stuff he sees from the guys they've incorporated in this team. Uh, he's also hoping. There's a lot of hope that goes into it, but you know, with the Rays unknowns, that's understandable. With the Yankees. I don't understand why their people are so hot on the Yankees. I don't either. It I, makes I mean, no sense. You look at the starting rotation. Garrett Cole is hurt. Marcus Stroman is Marcus Stroman. You never know what you're going to get. He can be good at times. He can be bad. He's inconsistent. Carlos Rodon, with all the money they gave him, he better show up for them. Or the New York Yankees fans are going to be all over him. Things can tumble quickly, and Aaron Boone may be out of a job if it goes downhill. Earl Leonard, um, if you want to hang through, you can, and we'll take you uh, in the next hour. But we're going to be speaking with uh, New Rays outfielder slash sometimes will be infielder Richie Palacios is going to join us in a couple minutes. So if you want to hang through, or if you want to call back at the top of the hour, we can talk to you as we get ready for Rays baseball. But on the other side, again, we get ready to talk to one of the newest members of the Tampa Bay Rays. Richie Palacios joins us after the break here live from Tropicana Field on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. WDAE. Traffic update. Good morning, crash on State Road 54, just east of Little Road, right near the hospital, blocking a couple lanes. Also building traffic in all the usual spots, including on westbound I-4, near Branch Forbes Road, and through Ybor City from before 22nd Street to 275. No problems to report on 275 through downtown Tampa. Traffic also moving well in both directions on the Howard Franklin Bridge, as well as on the Sunshine Skyway. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to, to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile. But you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium. 20 inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. 46699 We have a hundred of these trucks or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F 150s. Please note during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during Trade A Thon 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people.
people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. We're recording this progressive commercial on a real boat to let people know that when you bundle your home, boat, and other vehicles... What was that, Flo? Progressive saves you money, Jamie. Why are we doing this on a boat? We were going for authenticity. We're going to the city? Authenticity. You mean Atlantic City? But we're not in the Atlantic. Are we? Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Ball four, take your base. The only thing worse than a pitcher running out of gas on the mound is your old phone running out of storage for your photos in the stands. Goodbye, home run. Switch to Verizon and get a great deal on a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage for all the ballpark picks you want. Just trade in your iPhone, any model, in any condition, so you'll feel like you're winning, even when your team's not. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a great deal on iPhone 15 Pro with Unlimited Ultimate and get iPad and Apple Watch SE with eligible service plan, only on Verizon. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Mostly cloudy early on this morning, 70% chance of morning showers. We should see sun in the afternoon, our high right around 75. Overnight, clear skies and the low will drop back to 57. Tomorrow, Friday, nothing but sun but not much warmer, our high 76. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Your one-stop shop for all things opening day in Tampa Bay. Live from Tropicana Field. Now back to Pat and Aaron. All right, welcome back to the show. It's the Pat Aaron Show live from Tropicana Field, and it is opening day, and we are fortunate right now to be joined by one of the new members of the family, one of the new Rays, Richie Palacios. Richie, first of all, thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, and uh, how excited are you for today? Oh, I'm super excited. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate that. Sir, so uh, you've been excited, and I noted right away when you were traded to the Rays, you posted almost immediately a Photoshop picture of yourself in a Rays uniform, and I know for me, seeing you be so excited about joining the team, it made me excited to see you join this team. First of all, I heard a lot of great things from St. Louis fans about, hey, we had a crowded outfield, but this guy was clutch when he got opportunities. What was it about this Rays organization and this opportunity that made you so excited? Uh, Yeah, I mean, a new opportunity is always exciting, Uh, and then you just look back at at what the team has done and how good they've been and how much fun they've had. Uh, It definitely, you know, grew interest in me when I I heard I was coming over here. And then I had to hit up my good graphic designer to make a a photo look really good uh, with a raised jersey in order to uh, post that on social media to get all, all my friends and family excited as well. Richie, take us through that moment, right? We're talking about the off season. We're talking about the beginning of January and you get the the call. You find out that you've been dealt from the Cardinals to the Rays. What does that do in your mind where you're working hard just to get to a level where you think you're playing uh, good baseball for the Cardinals, but you're getting traded. What was that like for you? Uh, we're talking about working hard. I was actually driving on my way to go work out when I got the call as well. So uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty funny with that. But yeah, it's always uh, awesome to be traded. I mean, obviously, sometimes it surprises you when you're just in the off season in grind mode and and planning for uh, going to spring training with the Cardinals. Uh, but definitely was an exciting thing to hear that uh, I was dealt to the Rays and and just wanted to get to camp and, and meet the guys. 
Richie, you didn't hit a home run in Cleveland two years ago. You had six home runs last year in fewer games and fewer at-bats. You had three over the spring. Our friend Doug Wechter earlier told us he almost had another one two days ago. Uh, what's going right with your swing? Why is the power picked up for you recently? Uh, well, first, I mean, last year with St. Louis, I was getting, you know, a couple more consistent at-bats, so it was a little bit easier to get in the groove and, and take some some chances um, for sure. And then for me, I would say it's just like figuring out what the league is trying to throw you. And in that, you know, being able to, uh, you know, see the future sometimes and, and what pitch might be coming. And if it's not there, swing and miss and, and look for the next one. So I, for me, I feel like it's just understanding what different guys are trying to do to you. And in that, being able to to look for pitches that you can drive out of the park. Bat speed has been an emphasis for you in the off season, and I know Chad Matola uh, as well talking about good at bats you've had. Talk about the bat speed and how that has impacted your swing and the change in the in the approach for you getting that bat speed up and what that could do for you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it went to drive line this off season. My brother and I, uh, we saw that. Uh, there could possibly be some some good gains there. And then we went the whole offseason and saw some major gains in bat speed. And for me, that's that's going to help no matter what. I mean, you know, a smaller guy, I'm trying to hit the ball as hard as I possibly can. Um, and in that, um, not changing my swing, just, you know, picking a couple things to gain more speed in that. And in that, it's definitely produced more power and, and some more uh, high exit velos in the past, in the past spring training. Speaking with new Rays outfielder Richie Palacios. And uh, Richie, um, I saw a lot of the photos from Fan Fest. You were having a blast out there playing some ping pong with Rays fans and that sort of thing. This is, as you've already learned, I know yourself, a really fun Rays clubhouse. Seems like you're going to fit right in there with uh, how much fun it seems like you are. Talk about that experience of being here for Fan Fest and interacting with some Rays fans. And just, it, it, again, it just looked like you were having a blast. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoy, um, you know, I enjoy time with the fans, especially the, the young kids. I know when I was younger, um, it would mean the world to me for, you know, a major leaguer to even talk to me, rather sign me, sign my bat or my glove or my my ball or just, you know, play ping pong with me. So I know that uh, that those moments have had a major effect on me when I was a kid, so I try to give back to that and, and enjoy it and show the kids that we're humans um, and we're fun and we're not uh, random creatures that they, they can't talk to. So I really feel like I was been able to do that in fan fest. Um, I let the, I let the kid beat me though. <laughs> in ping pong, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I definitely had a good time, you know, um, talking to fans and even uh, meeting some, some adult fans uh, throughout the raise and throughout Tampa. Do you ever beat kids? Cause I saw just a, a picture the other day of you losing an arm wrestling contest to a young man. So I was I was I was kind of I was cooking the kid before I got the video and then I had them take the video and I took it easy on them. <laughs> I see that's I hope they're not listening because they went home thinking they really won in a fair match against a pro baseball player, uh, but in fact uh, they didn't. No, no, no. A lot of fun. We love that energy and and it's one of the reasons I'm really excited. And by the way, if you're just joining us, Richie Palacios joining us on the show today, opening day. I'm personally really excited to watch you play because I love versatile guys and that's what you have in, in your tool bag you can play really anywhere what's the position and i know and i'm sure you're aware of it as well the rays are probably going to place you in a lot of different spots what's the position you're most comfortable at uh honestly for me i'm comfortable at all of them i mean each position has its own perks and you know its own exciting opportunities so like second base you're in on the action uh you're right there on the infield uh, a lot of quick things. When you're in center field, you feel like a safety because you have the whole field in front of you. When you're at the corners, you're pretty much servicing to that center fielder in, in whatever way you possibly can, trying to make every play probably more opportunities to throw guys out. So for me, each of them has uh, their own perks, and, and you know I love the opportunity to play each and, each and every one of them. Do you have a favorite, though? Do you ever do you, When you look at the lineup card, do you see a specific position and go, yes. No, honestly, if I see my name in the lineup card, I say yes. If I see my name not in the lineup card, I still say yes because there's an opportunity I could come in the game. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and also, you know, we talked about what you were working on the off season. If you had to say right now, with a very good spring that you just had, that there's a place you needed to improve the most on your game, what would that be, Richie? Uh, I mean, you know, the most successful major leaguers are just consistent in every facet of the game, whether it's base running, stealing bases, hitting, defense. So for me, I'm just trying to fine-tune and make sure that I'm as – consistent as I can possibly be in every facet of the game. So yeah. that, that would be my answer. You can follow Richie Palacios on Twitter at Richie Mill with an E at the end of Mill, not like Meek Mill. Uh, but you can follow him on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, at Richie Mill. And I noticed one of the things you were asking, very interactive on Twitter, which we love and I know fans love as well. One of the things you were asking for over the off season, or like a month or so ago was suggestions for your walk-up music. So did you land on something that you're going to use during the regular season all the time? And did you get any uh, really fun or weird suggestions uh we got a ton of funny suggestions i'm not gonna lie to you and then we got a good amount of really good ones actually the walk-up song that i was prioritizing before i even posted uh, the twitter post someone actually commented it on my twitter post so my walk-up song is in there i'm not going to tell you what it is and i'm not going to tell the fans either and I'm going to tell them, hey, come to the opening day, come to the opening series, and then you'll be able to hear what it is. You don't want but it's to, in that Twitter post. You don't want to break it live on the Pat and Aaron show for us? No, I want the fans to come to the game. <laughs> I'm totally, <laughs> totally messing with you. Totally messing with you. Hey, and one thing, uh, last one I want to ask you here. When you come into the clubhouse, I'm always interested for new guys coming in. Who's the voice that was already here in the clubhouse that you could tell right away, like, that guy's the leader, that guy's got complete respect and control of this clubhouse? Uh, for me, it was B. Lau and Fairbanks. They definitely seemed to, you know, everyone was going to them um, whenever they, the new guys, especially, to, to figure out how things were ran. So B. Lau and Fairbanks have done an amazing job on, you know, telling us how things run with this new team. And I love asking questions about that because I want to be as respectful as possible and, and know exactly what our team rules are and the way we go about certain things. So those are the guys that I continually ask questions to. Um, definitely been like the leader of the, of the clubhouse so far that I've seen. Richie, I, I, like I said, you got us on board right away just with the tweet with you in the uniform. It was like, all right, this guy's psyched to be here. We're psyched to have him here. Love what you've been able to do so far in your career, but not a ton of opportunity, but you're going to get that this year. And I know I speak for Aaron when I say we're psyched to see it for you. So thanks so much for joining us on this opening day and uh, good luck this year. We're, we're looking forward to see your, seeing your success. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. That's new Ray Richie Palacios right there. When we return, a lot more coming up live from Tropicana Field on this opening day on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Welcome and happy opening day to everyone. The Texas Rangers, for the first time ever, are World Series champions. The World Series champion Texas Rangers welcome Cody Bellinger and the Chicago Cubs. Coverage begins tonight, immediately following Rays Baseball on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. We will continue the Pat and Aaron show live at the Trop for opening day in just a few minutes, but hopefully a good season ahead for the Tampa Bay Rays and hopefully a good future ahead for you. And a good future means a good retirement, a healthy retirement, and a happy retirement. Wealth management, retirement planning, that's what my friends at Trajan Wealth are going to help you with. They're here to help you reach your investment goals. And what they do at Trajan Wealth, they tailor the goals to your specific needs. They're going to work closely with you because all they want is your path to retirement to be an easy and a comfortable one. And you're going to have some questions. Will you have enough money when you retire? How long is that money going to last? Well, Trajan Wealth, they'll help you prepare for tomorrow with a retirement plan that's in line with your values and on top of that, your risk tolerance. And it starts with a phone call, 813-550-1000 and the consultations are complimentary. So do not wait. Your future, your retirement is so important and making sure you're not stressed about it, that's equally important as important. 813-550-1000. You can check them out online, TrajanWealth.com T-R-A-J-A-N wealth.com as they can help you develop a plan that gives you that peace of mind that I've been talking about. They're a family owned and veteran led business by Jeff Jr. at Trajan Wealth who's been doing it for over two decades. So give them a call today 813-550-1000 TrajanWealth.com Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC and SEC Registered Investment Advisor.
Investment Advisor paid advertisement. More on the way on the Pat and Aaron Show. Jessica, this is the happiest day of my life. Right up there with the day I bought my RV and insured it with Progressive. Man, I love that thing. There are a million fish in the sea, which I'm reminded of every time I bring my RV to the lake, but I vow to love and cherish you just as much as I cherish campsites with full electric and water hookups. (laughs) I'm so sorry. Protect your beloved with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Find what you love, love what you find. A total wine and more, there's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer, thousands of wines. Walk right through the door, it's all here to explore. With guides in the know, when price is so low, it just might blow your mind. Love what you find. responsibly, B21. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. Like the college basketball excitement has begun, and you could be on your way to see the championship game live on April 8th with Duffy Sports Grill's MVP Huge March Giveaway. Every visit now through March 31st will earn you an entry. The more you visit, the better your chances to win. So grab your MVP card and head over to Duffy's and enjoy their new courtside favorites, award-winning certified Angus beef burgers and two-for-one drinks all day, every day. And remember, at Duffy's, Our game is always on. What's keeping you from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make learning fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. And in 10 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. That's not long. It's not hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B. B-E-L dot com. Babbel dot com. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional grade. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design, lighting, and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. Injured, hire the largest injury firm in the world. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think, you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. 
The 24-7 home for those who represent Team Tampa Bay. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendella Spark. And the mighty 620, WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Free has never sounded so good. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to Pat and Aaron. That's right. Opening day in Tampa Bay and the coverage on WDAE presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more info, go to CFBHN.com. That's CFBHN.org. Sorry, I want to get that right. CFBHN.org. All right. Big opening day. But before we get to all the things happening at the Trop today and, of course, just after 4 o'clock, we're going to see the Tampa Bay Rays start their season off. But how about those Tampa Bay Lightning who just had a tremendous game against the Boston Bruins yesterday and coming off the last few weeks for them? Just incredible. We've talked about the road trip going out west, which is very tough, getting nine points out of a possible ten points on that road trip. And then you come back home, tough matchup against the Boston Bruins, and you get it done three to one. And it was Nikita Kucherov with that empty netter that sealed the deal at the end of that game. But Braden Point with the game winning goal yesterday, what was eventually the game winning goal. It was funny, Aaron, actually. I'm glad you brought that up because remember we were talking with Braden Coburn about Braden Point and you were kind of, you know, asking Asking him like, hey, how good would he be? How much would he score maybe if he were somewhere else? Did right? it all as well. And yeah, yeah, as I was watching that. that goal, I was like, man, this this goes to show you. It, he absolutely helps to be on a line with Nikita Kucherov and to be playing with some of the great players he plays with. But you could see on that play, like anywhere he goes, he's going to be really good. He does his, uh, he goes, he wraps around the, the the net. He gets in and a classic Braden point on his own. And I'm like. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I wasn't thinking you were an idiot. I was just thinking I like it. here's a good example of why he would still be really good regardless. I was happy to see it. Forty second goal on the season for Braden Point, a three to one victory for the Tampa Bay Lightning over the Bruins. And now you look at the standings and just two points behind the Toronto Maple Leafs for that third spot in the Atlantic Division. And it's just, it's amazing what they've done. Yeah, they've solidified, well, not solidified, but position themselves where you feel pretty confident they're going to make the playoffs and get a wild card spot no matter what, which two weeks ago we were not saying that, but this run has allowed them to do it. I always felt like they would make the playoffs, so did but I. I didn't have, like to, to your point, ultimate confidence necessarily that they were going to make the playoffs. And certainly we've seen this team just wipe out any question of that. And there were people that didn't think you and I, like we had, we had some questions. We weren't that confident, but we believed they'd make the playoffs. Some people did not. And now you're just two points behind the Maple Leafs. You have played one more game than them, but you have two more games against the Maple Leafs. So if you look at it like that, they really control their own destiny. And now you're not going to go out and win the, you know, when you talk about down the stretch here, you're not going to win them all. But you look at the Lightning schedule, some tough opponents. The Maple Leafs, very tough opponents as well. And we're both going to be going up. And really everyone in the, in the conference, you have a lot of tough divisional matchups against teams that are going to be jockeying in the conference for playoff position. I'm not saying you're wrong and that they will win them all, but they haven't lost in regulation since they traded for Anthony Duclair and Matt Dumba. And, and you know, I heard Coach Cooper after the game last night, and he talked about the life that the, the Dumba and Duclair trade certainly pumped into this team. No There's doubt. no doubt about it. You cannot deny it. But it's more than that. And we've talked about yeah. that. We talked about it with Braden Coburn, and, and Coach Cooper's talked about that now, about – Special teams, just fantastic. Uh, you know, the penalty Did kill. you hear the number last night? Because I didn't realize how good it I knew it had been really, really good, right? 30 of 31. 30, I mean, that's that doesn't happen very often. So you just love what they're doing and at the right time. And I think what it is is it's a combination of you you got those guys, those veterans, those savvy, you know, productive veterans in need positions at the perfect time when the team, like you said just a minute ago, you felt like they were going to make the playoffs. You felt like they were going to do it and make a run. Well, once you added those veterans, 
combined with that, like they were just teetering about to make that run. It felt like they were they were finding their way. You add those guys who have fit in just so seamlessly, and now they seem to have figured it out, and you're getting hot at the perfect time. I felt like they were going to make the playoffs. You felt like they were going to make the playoffs. I don't know how you felt about this. I didn't have a ton of confidence of in them in the playoffs. I didn't have a ton of confidence in them getting to another Stanley Cup final. It's not that I think they're the favorite all of a sudden, but I have so much more confidence in their ability to compete with anyone in the playoffs than I thought I would have before these trades. Really enjoyed our conversation with Richie Palacios in the yeah. 6 o'clock hour. And, you know, we're here for opening day. We're getting ready for, for this season that is uh, upon us right now. And... I just have so much, and I get this every opening day, but specifically with this team, you know, we get so much optimism. I feel for other organizations where you know, yeah. you, know you might only have a couple days of semi-optimism. This team every year awards fans and rewards them with, with you know, just consistent winning. Yeah, And you know, I expect the same this year. I, I said yesterday, I'm as pessimistic about this team as I've been in a long time based on what's going on this offseason, just being honest. I'm as pessimistic as I've been about them in a long time, but I'm still more optimistic than I would be if I were a fan of so many teams across this league. 888-546-4620 if you want to call the show. 888-546-4620. I got the text line up, so 82945. Start your text with D-A-E. Zach Eflin is going to be on the bump today for the Tampa Bay Rays when they start their season. And that, of course, will be just after 4 o'clock. First pitch will be at 410. And you can hear that right here on 95.3 WDA and AM 620. Uh, do we have Gio on the line? we got a couple callers on the line. want to take them uh, on this opening day. What's up, Gio? Listen, it, it, since 2007, this is the least excited I've ever been about opening day. Can you guys answer why I feel that way? Is it the rotation? Is it the fact the stadium, student ca- the city council hasn't approved it yet? Is, uh, well, it was, listen, Leonard, to a whack job. Leonard, but be real quick on the stadium, right? Like, we're frustrated that, that it seems like the St. Pete City Council and the commissioners are dragging their feet. We're, we're, we're frustrated that it doesn't seem like anybody out, outside of Janet Long has any real urgency to get, and the Rays have any real urgency to get this thing done. But also, it wasn't supposed to be done by now. Even though it's gonna, it looks like it's going to take longer than it needs to, and there's some things that are slowing it down, it wasn't supposed to be done by today. Okay, but, but it, it's got to be the rotation, because our rotation is about as average as you can get. It's the worst opening day rotation we've had since 2007. Yeah, but you're not naive. Not you, you, you've, Gio, you've you've covered, you've oh, followed this team for a long time. You don't, co- you wish don't, you covered. Don't, this don't, team. don't you try to give yeah, him that yeah, much credit. You wish you covered this team. You don't. Um, you know there are guys that are going to emerge. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on Zach Eflin, but who, I, I really think we look at Aaron Savale and hopefully he starts to have a season. But I don't want to put too much pressure on Ryan Pepio. But there's always a guy that we're not talking about in this rotation that we will be talking about. And all you need is really two or three guys that you can depend upon. And then other guys, as we've seen with this organization, just to fill in the roles, play a bulk role, play an opener role, do what you can, patchwork until you get guys back. They've been doing it for 15 years. I don't know why today, out of all days, you've decided that you don't have faith in it, Gio. Or maybe you're just trying to stir up a conversation I can't tell with you. No, I actually believe him because I'm I kind of feel similarly. I may be not as negative as Leonard, but I mean at the same time, like Don't let listen, him drag you down. We need we need Zach Eflin. We need Ryan Pepio. We need other guys in this rotation not to be like pretty good. We need them to be like the best they can be. They, we need them to over uh overperform expectations if this team's gonna be really competitive. So I listen, I might not be as uh on edge as, as Leonard is about it. But I get it. I get it. You just need them to get better as the season goes on and put them in a position to make the playoffs. And if you have a position of strength where maybe you get Jeffrey Springs, Rasmussen, I don't want to put too much on McClanahan, but I don't want to close the door on it either. You get those guys back at the end of the season, and you're in position, and Zach Eflin's getting stronger. Of course, you got to stay healthy. That's a big part of it. Aaron Savali's getting stronger. Maybe Taj Bradley comes back from the injury, and he's a big factor. Ryan Pepio gets experience and gets stronger. So I don't know why all of a sudden... Uh, you wouldn't have faith in this team. And I've always said you should have blind faith in this team because every year when people are the naysayers, they seem to overachieve every single season. Can you guys give me one of these no-name bench players 
that I should be excited about because none of them excite me. I mean, which no, no, who you th- yesterday th- we th- get our backup backup catcher. The catching position is a problem. Listen, is. I can't deny that. The catching position is a big question mark. Probably the biggest question mark we have. There's no doubt about that. But as far as the depth, I mean, we just talked with Richie Palacios. You got guys like DeLuca who went down. Hopefully we get him back and he can provide. Aranda, you got to get him back. But that's why they brought in the depth this season. That's why they brought in Ahmed Rosario. Josh the, Lowe, you got to get him back. There's a lot of got to get that guy back in there. You know? Yeah, there's a lot of – but there's also, you know, a, a stud – waiting to come up in this in the bigs in Junior Caminero, who we've seen before, and if they really were in dire need of that help right now, Junior Caminero would be a part of this club. So I would just, as we said earlier, we're going to do a new segment, halt your horses. Halt them, Gio. All right. All right. Thanks for talking me off the ledge, guys. Have a great year. You it was me. Okay, you can bye. thank me, not Pat. Yeah, no. I, 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 I feel worse. Like, like, Leonard's usually, like, way too optimistic, way too excited, way too happy, especially on opening day. I feel worse, thanks you to should, No, I should have made you feel better. Apparently, I didn't uh, turn you and sway you. By the way... I know I, who can make us feel better. Uh, yeah, I do, too. I'll get to that in a second here. But I went on that turf... New turf here at the Trop. If you haven't heard, there's new turf this season. And if you want to see it, we posted it on uh, on social media at 95.3 WDAE, at Jacobson on air, at Pat Donovan Radio. You squishy. can see us on the It's very squishy. It is very different from what they've had here. So I really like it. We'll continue to talk about that on the other side. But also want to remind you, you got to check out our friends at International Diamond Center. And I know Pat and I are so happy to work with our friends over there because they simply are the best. So if you are buying jewelry, you're getting engaged, you're celebrating anything this year, IDC, International Diamond Center, they're going to hook you up, and you got to check out their selection. I love it. The largest selection of hand-picked certified diamonds in Florida. I was there the other day. I checked them out. I was looking at the Rolex watches, too, so if you're looking for a Rolex or any watch, go check out IDC. All the top designer jewelry that women are asking for as well, all the famous engagement ring brands, you get ready. You're getting ready to get engaged. IDC is the place to go, and Pat, you and I, we love their laid-back approach. No commission salespeople, which means it's not going to be hassling you. You're not going to be breathing down your neck. There's no pressure ever at International Diamond Center. No, that's what makes it such a laid-back environment, right? But you also have to love all of the guarantees and the warranties at IDC. The laid-back environment will only get you so far, but when you know you can believe in the product, that's what really makes a difference as well. And every purchase at IDC comes with a nationwide price guarantee and free service for life. You never have to pay for routine jewelry care like sizing and cleaning. At IDC, jewelry care is included for life at no additional charge. Also, you have to love the value. IDC has the best, the lowest, the most attractive prices anywhere, period. Their connections in the in the diamond industry are unmatched. They get the first pick of the best diamonds from the best cutters all over the world. They are a true direct importer. And because they have huge volumes and they buy in huge volumes, they get savings that no other jewelers, jewelers can get. Most of them just dream about it. It's the total package. IDC, they're locally owned but internationally connected. They provide the kind of local attention and service you really want and need, that atmosphere we've been talking about, while also providing extreme value. Mom and pop stores just can't compete, and big national corporate chains can't compete either. Find them in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota, and online at shopidc.com. On the other side, we will continue the Pat and Aaron Show live at the Trop. We're getting ready. Opening day across baseball and the Rays and Jays. They're going to take the field here just after 4 o'clock, 4-10 first pitch right here on WDAE. Both teams in the playoffs last year are both still good enough to compete for the AL East. There's been some improvements, not just in Baltimore. New York's made some changes. Boston's going to be in the cellar, no doubt about that, so we don't have to worry about the Red Sox. But we'll talk about everybody else. No, I'm kidding. We'll talk about the Red Sox, too. That's all coming up. It's the Pat and Aaron Show live on opening day at the Trop. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. A wreck on southbound 75 just before Fletcher Avenue blocks two right lanes and traffic already jammed up from just south of Bruceby Downs. Also a crash in Holiday on southbound US 19 near alternate 19 blocks a couple lanes. Building traffic in Tampa southbound 275 between Fowler Avenue and Hillsboro. And a crash being cleared on westbound Adamo Drive just west of Orient Road. It was in the right-hand lane. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then 
Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Aaron Jacobson here, and spring has officially sprung for the used car market, and you know what that means? Full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? GiveMeTheVin.com. They make selling your vehicle fast and easy, and that's all we want in this world, for things to be simple. GiveMeTheVin.com. They're A-plus rated by the BBB for a reason. Go check them out. When you log on to GiveMeTheVin.com, you're going to see why satisfied customers across the country, they're putting more money in their pocket by just going to GiveMeTheVin.com. They want to buy your vehicle right now. So go to GiveMeTheVin.com, put in your VIN number, a few pictures, and get ready. Yes, it is just that easy. If GiveMeTheVin.com can't beat your CarMax offer, they'll pay you $100, period, just like that. So check them out. Log on to GiveMeTheVin.com, put in your VIN or license number, a couple pictures, and get that instant cash offer. 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Why choose a sleep number smart bed? Can it keep me warm when I'm cold? Wait, no. I'm always hot. Sleep Number does that. The Climate 360 Smart Bed actively cools or warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature. 94% of Sleep Number smart sleepers report better sleep. J.D. Power ranks Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. And now save $1,000 on our most popular Sleep Number smart bed and Saturday. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. Call 800-631-9123. 800-631-9123. That's 800-631-9123. Revar Buick GMC is the number two GMC dealer in the country, and they want to hold on to that number two. So they're going to keep doing what they've been doing to get there. Huge inventory, massive discounts, regardless of what time of the year it is. The middle, the end of the month, it doesn't matter. It's always a great deal. Unbeatable discounts. All you have to do is visit RevarBuickGMC.com. See for yourself. Try and find another dealer with discounts that insane on every vehicle. Revar Buick GMC. GMC, we are professional grade. La vida es tan confusa. Me gustaría tener a alguien con quien hablar sobre cosas difíciles. Escuché que beber es malo, pero no sé por qué. No muchos de mis amigos lo hacen, pero los medios hacen que parezca que todos los jóvenes beben y usan drogas. Háblame, mamá. Puedo manejarlo. Estoy decidido a ganar. Si necesitas consejos para iniciar la conversación, visita Central Florida Behavioral Health Network en cfbhn.org. Comprométete a ganar con tus hijos. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contest out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up until the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today to stay updated on all the action. Bet Online. The game starts here. I'm Ellie Anajar of Anajar and Levine. Injured in a car crash? Never rush to settle with insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anajar and Levine. Our experienced legal team will fight to win you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call me, Ellie Anajar, for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. 
We sold our home for substantially more than we bought it for and skipped the costly renovations to fix up our home. Thank you, Mark Spain Real Estate. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here, and Mark Spain Real Estate, they're helping homeowners just like our listener, Caitlin, there, sell their homes fast and for maximum profit. If you're like Caitlin, you're ready to take advantage of this hot real estate market. My friends at Mark Spain Real Estate, they're the most trusted and experienced real estate team in the country. Find out what the guaranteed offer on your home will be today. There's no obligation. Go to MarkSpain.com, get a guaranteed offer. That's MarkSpain.com come and start packing. If you ever need our help, we're just a call away. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953wdae.com slash rules. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio. A unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. iHeartRadio app, search Freeform Radio, and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Mostly cloudy early on this morning, 70% chance of morning showers. We should see sun in the afternoon, our high right around 75. Overnight, clear skies, and the low will drop back to 57. Tomorrow, Friday, nothing but sun, but not much warmer. Our high, 76. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell's new cravings value menu is a big deal. Or rather, it's 10 big deals. From new items like the loaded nachos to familiar favorites like the spicy potato soft taco. Check it out at a participating Taco Bell today. Available for a limited time only while supplies last. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Oh. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WTAE, live from the trough. Now back to Pat and Aaron. Welcome back to the Pat and Aaron Show live at the drop for opening day. Aaron Jacobson here with Pat Donovan, Casey Warner, John Mamola, Jason Berenger back at the studio. We have a loaded day. Jay Retcher, Zach Blobner will be on at 9 right after us until 12 o'clock. Are, are you surprised early Jay isn't here yet? He's always uh, he here He actually early. is right here. He just texted me. so <laughs> uh, he, he asked me where did I park. That's why I asked you guys where you parked. So Jay will be showing up very shortly, and uh, we'll have the entire lineup here. T. Kraz will be doing his show today at 12 o'clock, uh, the first show uh, the, of the drive with T. Kraz. At 12 o'clock, so he's in a different time slot on his first day. And then, of course, we'll get to hear Ronnie after that getting ready for Rays baseball. A loaded day, and we're going to take a look inside the AL East here for a second because we've talked about the Rays, but what is this division going to look like? What is this AL East, the best division, in my opinion, in all of baseball going to look like? Well, the Orioles, who just surprised everybody last year by taking a massive leap, having the best record in all of the American League, and doing so with a team that was ascending, a young team. We're talking about Gunnar Henderson. We're talking about Rookie of the Year. We're talking about Adley Rushman, and we just mentioned earlier how important it is to have a catcher. While the Rays don't have one, the yeah. Orioles certainly have one in Adley Rushman. Yeah, he's okay. You add Corbin Burns and Ace. You add Craig Kimbrell to the bullpen. Those are key additions. Yeah. And when you have young guys that are helping out in the field and helping out at the plate, and you can just add an ace to that staff. You're talking about something really, really special potentially. But what is really challenging, and I mentioned it earlier, is once you get to the top of the AL East and you got that crown on your head, everyone knows about you. Everyone's coming for the crown. Can you repeat it? Can you do it again? The Rays are really the only team that has shown the su sustained success at the top. The Yankees, of course, have had the sustained success. Last year did not go well for them. I think it's a make-or-break year for Aaron Boone. You've got to be able to I'm do it. I'm shocked he's here. I, I can't believe you made it past last year. I said at the end of the year, sayonara. I could not believe he did not get fired. Yeah. Him and Cashman. I thought they were going to blow it all up after last year. And if they're not really, really good this year, I can't. I, I don't know. Actually, I was going to say they'll do it, but I thought they'd do it last year. Juan Soto, incredible. Great addition. 
I, you'd be naive after watching the Yankees for this long to think that just adding a bat is going to change everything. No, now, they don't have the pitching, in my opinion. That's the problem. Especially with the injury to Garrett Cole. That's it. He was so good last year, and Carlos Rodon was so bad. You're relying on a lot there. Marcus Stroman as well. You're relying on a lot there. Who Marcus Stroman, for a while last season, was in the conversation for the Cy Young in the National League. Now you're with the Yankees, a lot of extra pressure, and Stroman, who has pitched in New York before when he pitched with the Mets, know. he knows the market. He's had issues. He's had issues with responding to people, the fans, and I don't know if that zones him in or dials him out in the wrong way, but that could go either way. And with the Yankees, that could be a fuse. I like Stroman a lot. I hate to see him uh, in a Yankee uniform, but to me, it's Juan Soto. The Yankees, to me, if they're going to be a problem, it's going to be because they hit a lot. Right, like I don't think they have the pitching to compete against the Rays or the Orioles, but if they hit a lot, they could probably make things pretty interesting. Um, I, in my opinion, the Orioles, obviously, we agree, have gotten better. The Yankees have gotten better. I don't know that Toronto's really gotten much better if they've gotten better at all, and we know we don't believe in Boston, but overall, you know, Toronto was right there with the Rays last year for the most part. I mean, Toronto's, can you be consistent? Yeah. Because they've got the stars. You've got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. George Springer's going to have to have a much better season for them. But I really, you know, you look at the pitching, Alec Manoa's, you know, dealing with injuries. Chris Bassett, really love Chris Bassett, a guy who's just steady Eddie. So Do you I wish I, he could be here. Oh, I've said that years ago. Remember? <laughs> I was like, Do you remember that take? He's a guy who I just I loved a couple years ago, and he's proving it uh, with with Toronto of what he's able to do. But George Springer's going to have to step up. You've got Bo Bichette. They're a team that has a lot of firepower and can be extremely dangerous. But you know, with Barrios, who will be on the mound today for the Blue Jays, Kevin Gossman, who's been banged up, you, they've got a good rotation if they stay healthy. So they are certainly a team that I could see. They're not favored. They're they're around the the Rays odds to win the division, but wouldn't shock me if they had a great season and won the division. No, they've got, I kind of look at their rotation a little bit like the Yankees rotation, although I think it's better, right? I think they've got a lot of guys that can be really good, but sometimes they're inconsistent, right? I mean, not like uh, the top aces in the game where you just expect the same thing every time out. And the Red Sox are just, they're ama- they've got a lot of young guys, unproven guys. They're starting three rookies, so... They're picking up our trash. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. If you missed it, Uwasawa uh, traded to the Red Sox for cash consideration. So, uh, just a little brief look inside the ALEs. We'll continue to do that a little later. I do want to take a second here and just, uh, Pat, I was talking to you before the show. Yeah. I can't believe it's been uh, three years since the... I, I'm sure many people have heard me talk about on the show before. I talk about him a lot. Three years since the passing of someone who I considered family. I know he was close to you as well, Pat, and close to a lot of listeners. I'm sure a lot of people listening today. Who Ted, wasn't close? It's right. Me. Ted Webb. Ted Webb, the great Ted Webb. Some of you know him as Henry Ruiz, but most of you know him as Ted Webb. He passed away three years ago, and I, you remember how hard of a time that was for me personally. Yeah. It's cra- It's weird what time does, man. It's so bizarre. I, I, I feel his presence. I miss him. Because of what we do in radio, I think about him all the time. Yeah. I mean, if, you're, if you've been in the market in Tampa for a while, I mean, he used to do sports here. He's tied to the Rays. He's honestly with the Yankees having their presence here. You know who he was very close with? George Steinbrenner. Yeah. Extremely close with George Steinbrenner. And Ted used to tell me stories about George. And, you know, we always heard this, you know, George Steinbrenner, the tough exterior, and we heard him, fi- him and Billy Martin going after it and the firings and the hirings. Uh, all Ted used to tell me was what a generous guy George Steinbrenner yeah. was, and how. And if nice, you look around Tampa Bay, there's so much evidence of that. Yeah, and like guys that weren't didn't fit, or what he would fire guys and then pay for their like just like but not it wouldn't get out in the public, but he would take care of people, yeah. and uh, that's Ted. Ted to me was just a guy who took care of everybody. He would take the shirt off his back to help you. You know who else? Uh, kind of at times I think of, and and it reminds me of Ted in a way is um, George Carlin, and I'll tell you why. There are things that happen within society. It was one of the great things about George Carlin's comedy is he always talked about society and in a way that was so intelligent that made it hilarious. And I look at things sometimes that are happening in society and go, God, we need <laughs> we need George Carlin. I would love to hear what he would say about this. And I 
often with radio, I, I think about Ted that way, right? Like, God, I wonder what Ted Webb would think about this. It was amazing when I was a co-host with him. It was terrifying when I was a producer and had the producer hat on because you never knew what he was going to say. Mm-hmm. I never knew when I was going to get called into the boss's office because of something Ted said. And so once you were co-host, you didn't get that anymore? No, no, I was still the producer, but like I was like, oh, the co-host in me was like, oh, this is great. And the producer <laughs> in me was like, I'm going to get in trouble for this. And then I go to him later when I get in trouble and I go, Ted, you know, and I'd be scared to tell him because I, I, I know Ted. Yeah. And he would just look at me, I would tell him, and just like a kid, Kid who knew he got in trouble but didn't care. He would just <laughs> smile at me. You know that smile I'm talking about. And I just go, all right, what am I going to do? Uh, I miss him. I think about him a lot. And, I and that's why him. he smiled because he was thinking, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? You're not getting rid of Ted Webb. <laughs> so I just wanted to take the second uh, for just a minute and really honestly, I wish I could do a whole show about him because he, he meant that much to me and I know to a lot of the listeners, but think about him all the time. So Ted Webb, we miss you, buddy. It's been three years. I can't believe it's been three years. And listen, uh, he would have been psyched for opening day too. He loved, loved sports, loved baseball. Loved baseball. Baseball. Yeah. Loves baseball. All right. Start, sit, cut on the other side. It's the Pat and Aaron Show live from the Trop. It's opening day. Later today is opening, opening day. day. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate. All right. It may go. On the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom... California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Tampa Golfers Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Oh, 
Angela Aprenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Some things in life you can just rely on, like the comfy fit of a favorite pair of jeans and the tried and true performance of a new AC system from Rude. So here's to reliability, built into everything we do. Rely on Rude. Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rude Pro Partner. Go to RudeACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rude Pro Partner today. That's RudeACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Sponsored by Howard Team Home Loans.com iHeartRadio wants you to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers live on their Unlimited Love Tour in the city of your choice. We'll handle everything, including a special VIP package that includes a limited edition tour poster and commemorative concert tickets. Just open the free iHeartRadio app and listen to Alt Radio for a chance to win. Tickets at LiveNation.com. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Pulse Nation for over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Your one-stop shop for all things opening day in Tampa Bay. Live from Tropicana Field. Now back to Pat and Aaron. Welcome back to the Pat and Aaron Show. Opening day, one of the best days of the year. Opening day in baseball. And opening day in Tampa Bay today. Coverage on WDAE presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more info, go to cfbhn.org. We've got Start, Sit, Cut on the way, but I want to remind people in just a few minutes, about 7.45 or so, we'll be giving away a four-pack of tickets. Tampa Bay Rays taking on the visiting Toronto Blue Jays. We're giving away game uh, tickets to Sunday's game at the Trop at 1.40. It will be Sunday afternoon, early afternoon at 1.40, so just keep that in mind in a couple minutes after Start, Sit, Cut. We'll give you your chance to win those tickets. Casey Warner, take it away. Let's go. All right. Big baseball focus today in Start, Sit, Cut. Also some March Madness this first topic you need one clutch hit to win the game today yandy diaz randy arosarena isak paredes this is a it's great a good one this yeah. is a really good one and as good as it is and as much as i trust any of those guys at the plate isak paredes you can make an argument mvp type of, of of performance last year in the season it's entirety just under 100 rbis 30 bombs the guy was absolutely incredible um close to 30 bombs yandy diaz though as great as randy is Yandy Diaz is the answer. You have one guy you need at the play at the end of a game, and you need one clutch hit. Yandy Diaz is Mr. Consistent, MVP as well last year, considerations, and a guy who just knows how to put the ball in play and hit the ball hard. So he starts. He starts. Randy Rosarena gets cut, and Isak Paredes sits. I'm going to start Yandy Diaz. I think you have to. I'm going to sit Randy because of his flair for the dramatic, and I'm going to cut Isak Paredes, but I love the idea of any of these guys at the plate in a big moment because they all are clutch for this baseball I team. I cut Randy, sure. man. That's crazy. Yeah, that was wow. rude. I, I couldn't do it to him. I hey, did it. You're not invited to Randy Land. No, you're, you're not. You're not welcome. He's too jacked. That's I have right. to go to Randy Land just so I can get one of those T-shirts, man. I want yeah. one of those T-shirts. Totally. All right. On the pitching side of things now, you need one clutch strikeout with the bases loaded. Zach Eflin, Pete Fairbanks, Jason Adam. I'm going to start Pete Fairbanks, the, the crazy eyes at the end of the game. I don't want to be looking down that. Um, and, you know, we, when we talk about high leverage situations, bases loaded, who would you rather have? A reliever that is used to coming in in high leverage situations or a starter? For me, it's Pete Fairbanks' start. I will sit for the reason I just gave you, Jason Adam, and I'll cut Zach Eflin because Zach's a starter. You want Zach to go in there in pressure-free situation, go in there with nobody on base. Bases loaded, that's a different look for him. 
Yeah, and listen, if if they're loaded, he put them there. Whereas the other two guys, they may they may not have. Uh, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to start uh, Pete Fairbanks. I will sit Jason Adam, and I'll, I'll cut Zach Eflin because even as good as Zach Eflin is, it's really about his consistency. Not that he's a guy that goes up there as like a flamethrower and just like strikes everybody out. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Good point. Here we go. Next one, most likely to break out, Jose Caballero. Jose Caballero. Yeah. And you say it. And you, Jose Caballero. There we go. Perfect. We got it. Nailed and it. You? Jose Caballero. At two. Richie Palacios, Ahmed Rosario, most likely to break out. I think it's tough because for me, Rosario is a guy that's kind of been around for a while, and I don't know that breakout is necessarily even a fair term for him. I agree with that. So for that reason alone, because we're talking about a breakout, and I think Rosario's been along too, around too long to call him a breakout player, I will cut him for that reason alone. When it comes to breaking out, I, you guys have heard me since they, they made the move. There's just something about this Palacios kid that I really, really like, and I'm really excited about. I'm going to start Richie Palacios. I am going to sit Jose Caballero, and I'll cut Ahmad Rosario because, again, I just think he's he's been around too long to call him a breakout guy. This is a really tough one, and I'm going to – the start for me is between – Richie Palacios, who we spoke with a little earlier. By the way, we'll play that again for you in just a little bit if you miss that. So don't worry. We had a great conversation with him. We'll play that for you in the 8 o'clock hour if you missed it. Um, Jose Caballero with Taylor Walls being out to start the season. Both these guys, because of injuries, are going to get an opportunity to shine. I don't know where Ahmed Rosario is going to fit into that equation and how much time we'll be able to see him. But early on, it really comes down to who I'm going to start, who's going to have the hot start. Because that guy's going to get is you, you play well in this lineup. Kevin Cash will keep you in the lineup. I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to start Jose Caballero. Jose Caballero. Yeah. I'm going to sit Richie Palacios. I, I do agree with Pat. I think he's going to have a strong season. I'm not saying that just because I like the kid. We just talked to him, but also uh, I, I just think he's got the stuff. I think he's taking the strides in the off season. And then Ahmed Rosario. He's a gamer. He just knows how to go in there and do it at whatever position. I'm going to cut him. Uh, but I don't know if he gets the playing time early. Th- those guys are going to get. All right, we got a couple more here. I really like this one. I hate and we're it. Talking, we're talking all time here, so think about these guys in their prime because obviously Lou Pinella did not have a good stint with the Rays. So think of them in their prime. Rays managers Kevin Cash, Joe Madden, Lou Pinella. I hate it because it makes me uncomfortable yeah, between, that's right. between uh, Kevin and Joe. And listen, Lou Pinella is an absolute legend, right? He's an absolute legend. But at the same time, I'm a person I'm a person guy. Like I, I'm a people person. Um, I don't have a relationship with Lou Pinella. I've never met Lou Pinella. I know Kevin fairly well and, and Joe as well. I mean, I cover the team almost every day when Joe is here for a while. So I'm going to start Joe Madden. He's just one of my favorite people ever in Tampa Bay. I love Kevin Cash, but I will sit Kevin Cash. And I'm cutting Lou Pinella just because I don't know him at all. It's exactly the same for me, but it's I'll give a wow. little bit. I'll add it a little bit. I'll change it uh, with Joe Madden. The reason I'm going to start him over Kevin Cash, uh, he's just so different. His style is so different. And obviously it didn't work out with the Angels, but he had success with the Rays, turned everything around for the Rays, turned it in, in an organization that on the field had been a laughing stock, to be honest. And he turned it around into an organization that is the most, one of, if not the most respected. He started that trend. Kevin Cash, you know, has completed it. One of the most respected in all of baseball. But guess what? He also went to Chicago and won a World Series with the Cubs, a team that hadn't won so long. So for me, just to be able to do that in multiple places, obviously didn't win the World Series here. He's got to be the start, and that's why I'm going to start him and sit uh, Kevin Cash. I'm surprised. I thought I was convinced you were going to start Kevin Cash. But I gave a good reason for it. You did. That's start, sit, cut. Great stuff, Casey Warner. That was really good start, sit, cut edition today. If you missed it, you can hear it on the iHeartRadio app a little bit later on. Make sure you download the Pat and Aaron Show podcast and all the podcasts on 95.3 WDAE. Richie Palacios in the 8 o'clock hour. We'll play that for you. On the other side, though, your chance to win some tickets, a four-pack of Rays tickets to Sunday afternoon's game. That's coming up next, 888-546-4620. It's the Pat and Aaron Show live from Tropicana Field on opening day. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. 
WDAE. Traffic update. A wreck on southbound Veterans Expressway just before 275 in the airport area has traffic jammed up from Waters. Also big delays in Pinellas County on southbound US-19. A crash near Bel Air blocks two left lanes and traffic already jammed up from Sunset Point Road. Heavy traffic in Hillsborough County on southbound 75 approaching Fletcher and Fowler Avenues. Crash off to the right-hand side there and went on northbound Harney near Sly. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell's new cravings value menu is a big deal. Or rather, it's 10 big deals. From new items like the loaded nachos to familiar favorites like the spicy potato soft taco. Check it out at a participating Taco Bell today. Available for a limited time only while supplies last. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months. And the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. We're going abroad for the first time in years to Spain. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. Already feels like home. Macy's VIP sale is here. Use your coupon or Macy's card and take an extra 30% off the latest spring looks from top designer brands. Plus get 15% off go-to beauty, skincare, and fragrances. Macy's Star Rewards members earn on every purchase, except gift cards, services, and fees. More at Macy's.com slash Star Rewards. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. Morgan & Morgan, dial pound 529 on your cell phone. Pound Law, that's all. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Mostly cloudy early on this morning, 70% chance of morning showers. We should see sun in the afternoon, our high right around 75. Overnight, clear skies, and the low will drop back to 57. Tomorrow, Friday, nothing but sun, but not much warmer, our high 76. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Play ball! 
Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening, opening day, day in Tampa, Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to Pat and Aaron. Opening day live from the drop. Here we go. Opening day baseball, one of the best days of the year, one of my favorites. And the Trop looking fantastic. The field is ready. New turf. Gorgeous new turf. If you want to see it, at 95.3 WDAE on social media, at Jacobson on air and at Pat Donovan Radio. I might have to go full uh, something about Mary. Have you seen my baseball? I forgot I had a baseball. Well, Mola's got it in his hand. I, oh, there it is. I've right, se- cool. Yes, I've seen your baseball. Our boss has it. Uh, 888-546-4620. If you want to win a four-pack of tickets to see your Tampa Bay Rays take on the visiting division rival Toronto Blue Jays, it's going to be the Sunday game. This Sunday at the Trop at 140. 888-546-4620. I have a fairly, what I think is if you've been paying attention at all today, you should get this answer right. I've got an easy question for you. So line up those calls. We'll start with, I believe we have Ray on the line. What's up, Ray? Hey, Ray. Yes, I'm here. Would would you like to win a four-pack of tickets to the Rays game on Sunday? Absolutely. Who did we speak with on the Pat and Aaron show a little bit earlier on? He is a new member of the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, gosh. I wasn't listening then. Uh... I'll take I ju- a guess. Aaron just ju- mentioned that he's. We're going to replay it in in a few minutes. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, actually, when I was on hold, I couldn't hear the audio. But anyway, I'll take a guess. Um, Zach Eflin. It was not Zach Eflin. Good try, Ray. Appreciate that. 888-546-4620. Are we not eliminating people because we're at the drop? Eliminated. I don't want to eliminate a Ray on Ray's opening oh, day. Oh, well, all right. It's, uh, it's just not right. I, yeah, I thought this one, if you've been listening for a little bit, if you've been tuned in at all today, if you've even checked out Twitter, I believe we tweeted it earlier, um, you will know, uh, Yeah, I mentioned it in Twitter earlier, uh, you will know the answer to this. 888-546-4620. Saw people on the text line very excited for opening day. We'll get to some of those texts in just a little bit. Behringer, uh, do we have anyone else on the line? Stand by as we try to get those uh, people on the line here. Uh, Behringer's back at the studio as we're a full force over here at the Trop. We're lining those up. People were very upset in our start sick cut. The last one we did really? just before, and if you missed it, you can hear it on the iHeartRadio app a little bit later on, Pat and Aaron show. You and I started Joe Madden over Kevin Cash, and like I get it. Like You love Kevin. We love Kevin Cash. We do. But if you're being honest, and Kevin's the consistency is great. Kevin's shown himself to be one of the best in the game as, as back-to-back, you know, manager of the year at one point not many people do that no no hold on not many people win two let alone back to back yes so i i it's nothing against kevin cash and what he's able to become but joe madden has won the world series with the cubs and had success with the rays so uh, that to me that that just puts him a little bit over the edge let's go to daniel here daniel good morning good morning daniel what's up you want to win some tickets some Rays tickets yeah who did Pat and I have on the show a little bit earlier on? He is the new member of the Tampa Bay Rays. Jose Caballero. It was oh, not Jose. Eliminated. I really like. I'm losing faith in people that listen to the show. Really? Yes. Yes. I mean, when not ha- everyone hears every second of the show, man. Yeah, but when you have any, like we, I just promoted it. Listen, I just did. You you did just promote it, but also you said. Uh, a new member of the Rays. So at least this guy got a new member of the Rays instead of going Zach Eflin. Uh, you said Lynette? Lynette. Lynette's going to get this. I know Lynette's going to get this. Hello, Lynette. Hi. All right, Lynette. Who did we speak with a little bit earlier on? A the new, uh, new member of the Tampa Bay Rays this season. He was on the show earlier. We're going to replay it again at 8.15. Please, Lynette. Please. I heard you say it, but um, you were listening. I don't at least. No, you I'm know like, what? Girl. You know what, Lynette? You were listening. I could tell you were listening, but you just don't. the name's not. Well, the, all right. 
Eliminated. Eliminated. I thought you were going to say, but you, I'm going to give you the tickets anyway. So no. I was like, you can't just give away no. tickets on opening day to somebody who doesn't know the no. answer. No, no. Eliminated. She was at least like was in the, I could tell. She just couldn't have, if you can't remember the name, you can't remember the name. If you were, just threw out Jose Caballero confidently. The guy was confident we had Jose Caballero on earlier. Well, we have. We did start to cut about and him. And we, so. we, yeah, we all went around the table and we're like, Jose Caballero. Yeah, like, we, we did a lot of Jose we, Caballero. We got in his head. That's yeah. what we did. We Jose Caballero his, his brain. Oh, my gosh. Let's go to Steve. Let's see if Steve can get this. What's up, Steve? Hi, Steve's got it. How's it going, gentlemen? Doing well. Just say it. You know it. I don't it's Richie Palacio. That's right. I knew yeah! you knew it. I knew you knew it. That's really psyched. <laughs> All right. Great job, Steve. You are getting that four-pack of tickets. Remember, that game is on Sunday. And just stay on hold. Jason Berenger will get all that information. But really enjoy the game. It's the best weekend of, uh, of the year, opening week in baseball <laughs> and March Madness. And then football, see, th- 13 times a year, Aaron's like, this is the best time no, of the year. No, three times a year. It's a three times, <laughs> it's a. Se- it's like four, it's a seasonal thing. It's, see, it's, already, se- it's already grown by one. Oh, no, okay, listen. Baseball this opening day, because you've yeah. got the Sweet 16, which we will get into in just a little bit in those matchups. I know we haven't. Sweet 16, opening day baseball, this is all amazing. And then the Masters coming up soon. Um, opening day football, opening yeah. week of football, that's a big one, too. There's two amazing times, the best times of the year. <laughs> Name another one that I've said. Um, there's uh, times. I think there's definitely other times. That what's you've, your favorite? That you've I'll tell you this. I'm a big fantasy guy. If you have an in-person fantasy football draft, that's Christmas Day, fellas. Some I mean, people I, do like that. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I was in, about to uh, kick you off man, the mic for, uh, for an, an hour. An in-person but that, draft? Oh, people like fly to oh, destinations awesome. for that. It's so cool. Casey, yeah. uh, that's interesting. Um, all right, we got to get- going to kick him off? Uh, because I thought he was going to say, like, fantasy football is the greatest time oh, of the year. And I was going to be like, Casey, come on, we'll mute your mic, buddy. Uh, we can't do that, actually. Casey's in charge of all the mics today. He can mute our mics. We're not going to do that. Opening day, we're pumped. New turf at the Trop. I'm going to go step on it. It's really squishy. I'm going to go put my good luck all over that field. Everyone's like, no, don't touch it. The, remember the Jacobson Jinx? Yeah, no, yeah, everybody remembers the Jacobson Jinx. Maybe I won't touch it. Big 8 o'clock hour coming up on the other side. It's opening day baseball at the Trop. The Player of the Night, presented by Rivard Buick GMC. Let's hit the hardwood where James Harden had his way with his old team as the Clippers beat the 76ers last night in Philadelphia, 108 to 107. The Beard with 16 points and 14 assists, plus five rebounds to boot, is your Rivard Buick GMC Player of the Night. Rivard Buick GMC, no games, no gimmicks, no hidden fees. Check out that inventory easily at RivardBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. I'm Zach Globner, and of course, this is 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Rivard Buick GMC is the number two GMC dealer in the country, and they want to hold on to that number two. So they're going to keep doing what they've been doing to get there. Huge inventory, massive discounts, regardless of what time of the year it is. The middle, the end of the month, it doesn't matter. It's always a great deal. Unbeatable discounts. All you have to do is visit RivardBuickGMC.com. See for yourself. Try and find another dealer with discounts that insane on every vehicle. Rivard Buick GMC. GMC, we are professional grade. The best live thoroughbred racing around. It is at Tampa Bay Downs. Easy to get to right in our backyard. And on Wednesdays, it is free. And then Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, it's only $3. Gates open at 11 a.m. Post time for the first race, 12.15. You can get your programs there at the program stands for two twenty five. dollars It's easy. You get informed by reading those programs. A race day program, it's going to show you all the information you need. So for the betters out there, the inexperienced betters, that's going to help you out. Plus, they've got tip sheets for for the inexperienced bettors, so you can make some good bets and potentially win some big money. Always great things happening at Tampa Bay Downs. April 7th from 12 to 3, you're going to have the entire family having some great times out there on the track. Everyone's going to get to meet the track mascot, Mouse the Miniature Horse, and also the kids can enjoy the pony rides, bounce houses, a variety of games, all these great activities. April 7th, 12 to 3, only at Tampa Bay Downs. Check them out online, tampabaydowns.com. That's tampabaydowns.com. Aaron Jacobson 
Wisconsin here, and spring has officially sprung for the used car market, and you know what that means. Full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? GiveMeTheVin.com. They make selling your vehicle fast and easy, and that's all we want in this world, for things to be simple. GiveMeTheVin.com. They're A-plus rated by the BBB for a reason. Go check them out. When you log on to GiveMeTheVin.com, you're going to see why satisfied customers across the country, they're putting more money in their pocket by just going to GiveMeTheVin.com. They want to buy your vehicle right now. So go to GiveMeTheVin.com, put in your VIN number, a few pictures, and get ready. Yes, it is just that easy. If GiveMeTheVin.com can't beat your CarMax offer, they'll pay you $100, period, just like that. So check them out. Log on to GiveMeTheVin.com, put in your VIN or license number, a couple pictures, and get that instant cash offer. 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to, to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile, but you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium 20-inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. $46,699. We have a 100 of these trucks. Or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F-150s. Please note, during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during Trade-A-Thon 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The reigning, defending, and undisputed home of Tampa Bay Sports Talk for over 20 years. We are 95.3 FM W237CW Pendellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224B Brent. And the, and the mighty, mighty 620, 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey, hey Tampa Bay. Bay. Free has never sounded so good. Oh. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Live from the trough. Now back to Pat and Aaron. Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDA and AM620, live at the Trop for opening day baseball. And it's, listen, it's a great day to be out here. It's a great day to be uh, just watching baseball. And I'm excited about watching this team this year. And we've been talking about some of the trepidation we have with this baseball team, some of the concerns we have with this baseball team. And the path to winning the AL East this year is going to be more difficult than it's been for the Rays, in my opinion, in, in a long time. Not just because I think that the Orioles have gotten better, and I think the Orioles probably significantly better. I think the Yankees have gotten better, but I also think the Rays have probably, not even probably, the Rays have taken a step backwards. When you lose a Shane McClanahan, when you're missing some of the arms that they are in, in this rotation, it is, it is, it is going to be a tough year. But the good news is, being a fan of the Tampa Bay Rays, there's a lot of teams where if they suffer the kind of injuries, if they have the kind of issues the Rays have right now, you could just write them off. You could just say good good night to their season. And we don't even mention, and I know it's like something that everyone's like, ooh, they said his name. 
uh, they're like losing a Wander Franco, yeah. right? Forget about the person, right? Well, I don't want to talk about the person. We all know what, what we feel about him right now. Um, and that's a that's a generational talent. Yeah, that doesn't come along a long time. So for the Rays to even be able to finish off their season last year, get to the playoffs, and we're talking about them with a chance to compete. And when we talk about them losing guys, we're talking about the starting rotation. And like it's either we forget because we trained ourselves to forget, but we are still not even a year removed from our generational shortstop, generational talent that people just don't get at the beginning of his career, who was locked in forever. We didn't have to worry about a contract. His career, poof. Yeah, but that at least coming into this year, right, like we knew that was the situation. There's a lot of with the injuries yeah, but when and you, some no, of no, stuff. No, but when you talk about taking a step back. No, I know. Like you lose a generational, t- that's the conversation. Did they take a step back? That's what you mentioned. And people don't mention a lot that with that taking a step back, a lot of it is due you know, you you lose. You're you're fighting to get back into it. We're talking I mean, about an unknown with Jose Caballero when we could have been talking about a known with Wander Franco. Sure, but if Shane McClanahan's here, if Jeffrey Spink- Springs is here, if Drew Rasmussen is here, we're not that worried about Wander Franco not being here. That's the reality. Like it's yeah, he was a generational talent and he, the best player on this baseball team. But if they've got the pitching that they could have, we're not worried about it. But to finish what I was saying uh, to begin with was. The good news is, as a Rays fan, you are a fan of a team and the Rays with Kevin Cash, who have done this time and time again. They have found different ways to win. They have found unique ways to win. And whether it be the opener, which I don't, I called it ridiculous when they started using the opener, right? Or or the shift, which of course is is now pretty much not there anymore. You certainly can't do the exaggerated shifts that they used to do. But they've changed the game of baseball multiple times. And when it looks like whether it be the pitching or something else, when it looks like they have something insurmountable in front of them, the reality is they find ways to win. So, it, yeah, there's a lot of reasons to be concerned about this year. I'm far from I'm far from confident that this team's going to win this division, or you know, worried if they can make the playoffs at all. But you've got a manager in Kevin Cash, you've got an organization in the Rays that have kind of been there and done that and always seem to find unique ways to win, even when they're behind the eight ball. We're going to have Richie Palacios joining us in a few minutes. We were, we talked with him earlier, but we're going to replay that for you because we really enjoyed that conversation with Richie Palacios. So that's going to be coming up in just a few minutes. If you missed it, if you're just waking up, the Lightning, huge win over the Boston Bruins, 3-1 to one yesterday at Amelie Arena. Now just two points behind the Toronto Maple Leafs for that final, that third spot in the division. Of course, now separating themselves at that top wild card spot. Really nice performance from them yesterday. Braden Point with the game winning goal, Nikita Kucherov with that empty net or late. Yeah, and catching Toronto would be great, but, you know, there's a scenario where they could catch Toronto or come close to catching Toronto, and it wouldn't really feel that important. If it looked like the way it's looked, and obviously it'd be tough to catch Toronto under that scenario, but if they were playing okay hockey and just kind of getting by finding a way to win you know win games and get points but like it just didn't feel that great it felt like they were kind of stumbling into victories you'd still look at it and be like okay but what can they do in the playoffs i've looked at this team through the majority of the season and thought hey they'll make the playoffs i believe they'll be in the playoffs what can they really do when they get there are they really good enough to compete in the playoffs when they get there and i think for most of the season i thought the answer was probably not and suddenly Suddenly, I feel like, no, they can compete with anybody, and that's a great feeling as a Lightning fan. They'll have the Islanders at home on Saturday. Then they'll be at home against Detroit on the 1st, and then April 3rd, they'll be back on the road, a huge matchup against Toronto. That's going to be a fun one. Remember, they've got that matchup against Toronto, and then the last game of the season, a matchup against Toronto. That is could be very, very interesting come time for the end of the season. Yeah, I know. Listen, this is it already is playoff season for the Lightning. We've been talking about that. They've had to play with that mentality for a while. But when you get to a final game against a team like that, if if there is anything on the line, because there might not be, right? By the time we get there, everybody might be in their spots. And at that point, it might not be a very interesting game at all because guys might rest more than you would expect, right? But it could, like you were saying, end up at a point where we're looking at that game and going, you know what? 
this game's going to be absolutely massive. There's no doubt they got a bump. We talked about it at the trade deadline, bringing in Dumba and Duclair, but also special teams. We heard from Coach Cooper after the game. If you missed it, Jay Retcher has some good stuff on his social media account. Uh, make sure you're following uh, Jay Retcher at Jay Retcher. Uh, did I get that correct, Jay? At Jay Retcher? That's right. Uh, so make sure you're following Little that. Little J, large R. You're going to get it right. Little J, R, uh, large R. Thank you. And then tonight, Pat. We've got some great games for the Sweet 16. We've been so loaded with opening day baseball and the Tampa Bay Lightning, we haven't even had time to get into the the madness and Sweet 16. Great games today. There really are going to be a lot of great games. And when you think about the fact that, you know, we love Cinderella, and we talked about this earlier in the week, right? We love Cinderella. We want Cinderella to win. But sometimes when Cinderella wins, you get a little later in the tournament and Cinderella gets waxed. And, and, and we don't necessarily want to see that. Well, when you've every team tonight... Is uh, lowest seed a is top, a six seed. Yeah, a top six seed. Uh, tomorrow you have eleven seed NC State, but that's it. Like I mean, they are the only double digit seed left in the Sweet Sixteen. It's gonna, the, be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All the one seeds are still in it. You got some two seeds still in it. The three seeds, the four seeds. I mean, this is a, a this is chalk. This is what we were talking about about how odd this NCAA basketball season was in men's basketball because during the regular season, so many upsets, so many top ten upsets. But we talked about it the other day. A lot of those happening on home floors where you had the home crowd behind you. Not so much now. Kind of neutral area. Of course, you have your traveling fans, but right now the best teams are. The the ones competing and contending. And our, our guy, Jerry Palm, saw that, right? When we had him on, I think it was about a month ago, you know, I asked him, we've seen so many of these upsets. What are the chances that we see the tournament look like a lot more chalk? And he and he predicted this. He said because of that home, field, uh, home court advantage for a lot of the teams that had won those upset games, he did expect the tournament to be a lot more chalk, and it certainly has been. Uh, we'll get a lot more into that tomorrow, certainly, uh, but we're live at Tropicana Field, and it's opening day. Earlier in the show, we were able to speak with with new Rays outfielder slash utility guy. We'll see him at second base a little bit. Richie Palacios joined the show. We're going to have uh, a replay of that so you can hear it coming up next here on the Pat and Aaron Show, live from Tropicana Field on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. Rick and Clearwater, southbound U.S. 19 near Bel Air has traffic jammed south of Countryside. Southbound Veterans, it's slow between Waters and the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Southbound 275, big problems near downtown Tampa. Only the right lane is getting by south of I-4 due to a crash. And traffic jammed up from Fletcher Avenue, westbound I-4. Also on the brakes from before MLK to 275. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by... Allstate. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. After more than four decades in the diamond business, International Diamond Center owner Keith LeClaire knows a thing or two about diamonds. And a big concern he has right now is the influx of man-made or lab-grown diamonds being sold at retail stores all over. Keith says these diamonds may look like the real thing, but they're being mass-produced and are losing value by the day. Why would you put your money in something that devalues faster than food you eat? Keith says they may look nice, but you can grossly overpay. For example, a man-made two-carat diamond costs next to nothing to produce. A two-carat 
carat lab grown diamond will cost $320 today. But you'll see it in a store showcased with an insane markup. They're selling it for probably $2,000 to $8,000. Two years ago, it was in the $12,000 range, and today, you're talking about a $320 diamond? Come on. Your mama didn't bring you up that way. If you're considering buying a lab grown or machine made diamond, get the facts before you write that check. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. A fraction of a raindrop, three grains of salt, at up to 100 times more potent than morphine. The tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose. Fentanyl can be mixed into heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, meth, and other drugs. It could be in your drugs, and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. Aaron Jacobson here, and spring has officially sprung for the used car market, and you know what that means? Full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? GiveMeTheVin.com. They make selling your vehicle fast and easy, and that's all we want in this world, for things to be simple. GiveMeTheVin.com. They're A-plus rated by the BBB for a reason. Go check them out. When you log on to GiveMeTheVin.com, you're going to see why satisfied customers across the country, they're putting more money in their pocket by just going to GiveMeTheVin.com. They want to buy your vehicle right now. So go to GiveMeTheVIN.com, put in your VIN number, a few pictures, and get ready. Yes, it is just that easy. If GiveMeTheVIN.com can't beat your CarMax offer, they'll pay you $100, period, just like that. So check them out. Log on to GiveMeTheVIN.com, put in your VIN or license number, a couple pictures, and get that instant cash offer. 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. GiveMeTheVIN.com and get your check on the spot. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. I'm about to tell you a secret that'll make the insurance companies madder than a wet hen. Major insurance companies use a software called Colossus to tell them what the firm you hire is likely to settle your case for. Google it yourself. They know which law firms can lowball and take the last best offer, not us. Google our firm and see billions recovered from those very same insurance companies. They know who we are, and now you know it too. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell is introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with the new Cantina Chicken Burrito, Quesadilla, Bowl, and Tacos featuring their new slow-roasted chicken. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu today at a participating U.S. Taco Bell location while supplies last. Contact store for participation, which varies. Mostly cloudy early on this morning. 70% chance of morning showers. We should see sun in the afternoon. Our high right around 75. Overnight, clear skies, and the low will drop back to 57. Tomorrow, Friday, nothing but sun, but not much warmer. Our high, 76. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Your one-stop shop for all things opening day in Tampa Bay. Live from Tropicana Field. Now back to Pat and Aaron. All right, welcome back to the show. It's the Pat and Aaron Show live from Tropicana Field, and it is opening day, and we are fortunate right now to be joined by one of the new members of the family, one of the new Rays, Richie Palacios. Richie, first of all, thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, and uh, how excited are you for today? Oh, I'm super excited. Thanks for having me, guys. I uh, appreciate that. Sir, so uh, you've been excited, and I noted right away when you were traded to the Rays, you posted almost immediately a Photoshop picture of yourself 
in a Rays uniform. And I know for me, seeing you be so excited about joining the team, it made me excited to see you join this team. First of all, I heard a lot of great things from St. Louis fans about, hey, we had a crowded outfield, but this guy was clutch when he got opportunities. What was it about this Rays organization and this opportunity that made you so excited? Uh, yeah, I mean, a new opportunity is always exciting. Uh, and then you just look back at, at what the team has done and how good they've been and how much fun they've had. Uh, definitely, you know, grew interest in me when I when I heard I was coming over here. And then I had to hit up my good graphic designer to make a, a photo look really good uh, with a raise jersey in order to uh, post that on social media to get all, all my friends and family excited as well. Richie, take us through that moment, right? We're talking about the off season. We're talking about the beginning of January and you get the the call. You find out that you've been dealt from the Cardinals to the Rays. What does that do in your mind where you're working hard just to get to a level where you think you're playing uh, good baseball for the Cardinals, but you're getting traded. What was that like for you? Uh, we're talking about working hard. I was actually driving on my way to go work out when I got the call as well. So uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty funny with that. But yeah, it's always uh, awesome to be traded. I mean, obviously, sometimes it surprises you when you're just in the off season in grind mode and and planning for uh, going to spring training with the Cardinals. Uh, but definitely was an exciting thing to hear that uh, I was dealt to the Rays and and just wanted to get to camp and, and meet the guys. Richie, you didn't hit a home run in Cleveland two years ago. You had six home runs last year in fewer games and fewer at-bats. You had three over the spring. Our friend Doug Wechter earlier told us he almost had another one two days ago. Uh, what's going right with your swing? Why is the power picked up for you recently? Uh, well, first, I mean, last year with St. Louis, I was getting – you know, a couple more consistent at bats, so it was a little bit easier to get in the groove and, and take some some chances um, for sure. And then for me, I would say it's just like figuring out what the league is trying to throw you. And in that, you know, being able to, uh, you know, see the future sometimes and, and what pitch might be coming. And if it's not there, swing and miss and, and look for the next one. So for me, I feel like it's just understanding what different guys are trying to do to you. And in that, being able to to look for pitches that you can drive out of the park. Bat speed has been an emphasis for you in the off season, and I know Chad Matola uh, as well talking about good at bats you've had. Talk about the bat speed and how that has impacted your swing and the change in the in the approach for you getting that bat speed up and what that could do for you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it went to drive line this off season. My brother and I uh, we saw that. Uh, there could possibly be some some good gains there, and then we went the whole off season and saw some major gains in bat speed. And for me, that's that's going to help no matter what. I mean, you know, a smaller guy, I'm trying to hit the ball as hard as I possibly can, um, and in that, um, not changing my swing, just you know, picking a couple things to gain more speed in that, and in that, it's definitely produced more power and and some more uh, high exit velos in the past in the past spring training. Speaking with new Rays outfielder Richie Palacios. And uh, Richie, um, I saw a lot of the photos from Fan Fest. You were having a blast out there playing some ping pong with Rays fans and that sort of thing. This is, as you've already learned, I know yourself, a really fun Rays clubhouse. Seems like you're going to fit right in there with uh, how much fun it seems like you are. Talk about that experience of being here for Fan Fest and interacting with some Rays fans. And just, it, it, again, it just looked like you were having a blast. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoy, um, you know, I enjoy time with the fans, especially the, the young kids. I know when I was younger, um, it would mean the world to me for, you know, a major leaguer to even talk to me, rather sign me, sign my bat or my glove or my my ball or just, you know, play ping pong with me. So I know that, uh, that those moments have had a major effect on me when I was a kid, so I try to give back to that and, and enjoy it and show the kids that we're humans um, and we're fun and we're not uh, random creatures that they, they can't talk to. So I really feel like I was being able to do that in Fan Fest. Um, I, let the, I let the kid beat me, though, <laughs> in ping pong. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I definitely had a good time, you know, um, talking to fans and even uh, meeting some, some adult fans uh, throughout the Rays and throughout Tampa. Do you ever beat kids? Because I saw just a, a picture the other day of you losing an arm wrestling contest to a young man. 
So I was I was I was kind of I was cooking the kid before I got the video, and then uh, I had them take the video, and I took it easy on them. <laughs> I see. That's I hope they're not listening because they went home thinking they really wanted a fair match against a pro baseball player, uh, but in fact uh, they didn't. No, no, no. A lot of fun. We love that energy, and and it's one of the reasons I'm really excited. And by the way, if you're just joining us, Richie Palacios joining us on the show today, opening day. I'm personally really excited to watch you play because I love versatile guys, and that's what you have in, in, in your tool bag you can play really anywhere what's the position and i know and i'm sure you're aware of it as well the rays are probably going to place you in a lot of different spots what's the position you're most comfortable at uh honestly for me i'm comfortable at all of them i mean each position has its own perks and you know its own exciting opportunities so like second base you're in on the action uh you're right there on the infield uh, a lot of quick things. When you're in center field, you feel like a safety because you have the whole field in front of you. When you're at the corners, you're pretty much servicing to that center fielder in, in whatever way you possibly can, trying to make every play probably more opportunities to throw guys out. So for me, each of them has uh, their own perks, and, and you know I love the opportunity to play each and, each and every one of them. Do you have a favorite, though? Do you ever do you, When you look at the lineup card, do you see a specific position and go, yes. No, honestly, if I see my name in the lineup card, I say yes. If I see my name not in the lineup card, I still say yes because there's an opportunity I could come in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and also, you know, we talked about what you were working on the off season. If you had to say right now with a very good spring that you just had that there's a place you needed to improve the most on your game, what would that be, Richie? Uh, I mean, you know, the most successful major leaguers are just consistent in every facet of the game, whether it's base running, stealing bases, hitting, defense. So for me, I'm just trying to fine-tune and make sure that I'm as consistent as I can possibly be in every facet of the game. So that, that would be my answer. You can follow Richie Palacios on Twitter at Richie Mill with an E at the end of Mill, not like Meek Mill. Uh, but you can follow him on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, at Richie Mill. And I noticed one of the things you were asking, very interactive on Twitter, which we love and I know fans love as well. One of the things you were asking for over the off season, or like a month or so ago was suggestions for your walk-up music. So did you land on something that you're going to use during the regular season all the time? And did you get any uh, really fun or weird suggestions uh we got a ton of funny suggestions i'm not gonna lie to you and then we got a good amount of really good ones actually the walk-up song that i was prioritizing before i even posted uh, the twitter post someone actually commented it on my twitter post so my walk-up song is in there i'm not going to tell you what it is and i'm not going to tell the fans either and I'm going to tell them, hey, come to the opening day, come to the opening series, and then you'll be able to hear what it is. You don't want but to, it's in that Twitter post. You don't want to break it live on the Pat and Aaron show for us? No, I want the fans to come to the game. <laughs> totally, totally messing with you. Totally messing with you. Hey, and one thing, last one I want to ask you here. When you come into the clubhouse, I'm always interested for new guys coming in. Who's the voice that was already here in the clubhouse that you could tell right away, like, that guy's the leader, that guy's got complete respect and control of this clubhouse? Uh, for me, it was B. Lau and Fairbanks. They definitely seemed to, you know, everyone was going to them um, whenever they, the new guys, especially, to, to figure out how things were ran. So B. Lau and Fairbanks have done an amazing job on, you know, telling us how things run with this new team. And I love asking questions about that because I want to be as respectful as possible and, and know exactly what our team rules are and the way we go about certain things. So those are the guys that I continually ask questions to. Um, definitely been like the leaders of the, of the clubhouse so far that I've seen. Richie, I, I, like I said, you got us on board right away just with the tweet with you in the uniform. It was like, all right, this guy's psyched to be here. We're psyched to have him here. Love what you've been able to do so far in your career, but not a ton of opportunity, but you're going to get that this year. And I know I speak for Aaron when I say we're psyched to see it for you. So thanks so much for joining us on this opening day and uh, good luck this year. We're, we're looking forward to see your, seeing your success. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. That's new Ray Richie Palacios right there. When we return, a lot more coming up live from Tropicana Field on this opening day on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620.
The boys of summer are doing it on the diamond at Tropicana Field, and we're all over it. Get the latest Rays news, analysis, and more. We're your hardball hookup all season long. This is the home of the Rays. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. La vida es tan confusa. Deseará tener a alguien con quien hablar sobre cosas difíciles. He escuchado que beber es malo, pero no sé realmente por qué. No muchos de mis amigos lo hacen, pero los medios de comunicación hacen que parezca que todos los adolescentes beben y consumen drogas. Háblame, mamá. Puedo manejarlo. Estoy decidido a ganar. Si necesitas consejos para iniciar la conversación, recurre a Central Florida Behavioral Health Network, tu entidad gestora en cfbhn.org hoy. Comprométete a ganar con tus hijos. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan. I know being a champion means you're a leader in your field and you always rise above your competition. That's why when summer temperatures get extreme, our home has a champion air conditioning system that keeps my family comfortable and cool. Get peak performance in your home by finding a local champion dealer at championhomecomfort.com. Ask about our special financing options with rates as low as 0% and our factory-backed extended parts and labor warranty. Always leading, never compromising, championhomecomfort.com. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. WDAE with What's Up Tampa Bay. Bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks. Bowling for balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. For tickets and more info, visit 98rock.com. Join us April 5th through 7th at Armature Works in the Heights District for the WFLA News Channel 8 Outdoors Expo and Boat Show. Admission is free all weekend. Visit WFLA.com slash Outdoors Expo for more details. Stay on top of everything going on at 953WDAE.com. The College Basketball excitement has begun, and you could be on your way to see the championship game live on April 8th with Duffy Sports Grill's MVP Huge March Giveaway. Every visit now through March 31st will earn you an entry. The more you visit, the better your chances to win. So grab your MVP card and head over to Duffy's and enjoy their new courtside favorites, award-winning certified Angus beef burgers and two-for-one drinks all day, every day. And remember, at Duffy's, our game is always on. For the best live thoroughbred horse racing action, you don't have to go far. Right here in our backyard at Tampa Bay Downs. Free on Wednesdays, $3 only on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. They've got tip sheets for the inexperienced bettors, so check them out. The best racing around, tampabaydowns.com. Hey, Rays fans, for the best insights, interviews, and analysis surrounding the Rays, check out the Tampa Bay Rays podcast, hosted by your favorite Rays radio personalities. Just search Tampa Bay Rays for all the latest on demand on the iHeartRadio app and raise up with the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Come bowl with Big Rig and Producer X at 98 Rocks Bowling for Balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. Featuring bowling, food, and fun. Proceeds go to the Testicular Cancer Foundation. For tickets and more information, visit 98rock.com. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. 
Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening, opening day, day in Tampa, Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to Pat and Aaron. The Blender. Blender on the Pat and Aaron Show is brought to you by Mazda of Clearwater. We're not going to blend it up today, though, because we're out here at Tropicana Field for opening day, so you can dump that music, Jason Barringer. By the way, speaking of being out here for opening day, our coverage of opening day here on WDA is presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more information, go to cfbhn.org. Aaron, this is a big opening day, I feel like, especially for you. And I've been telling you for months now that you are a leader. You are leading many of us in our virgining uh, gambling experiences. And um, we're, we're trying to learn how to gamble. And you're supposed to be teaching us and sending us bets. And, uh, you know, just making sure we know what we're doing. And it's just it's a massive opening day because it's our first with the Seminole Hard Rock Sportsbook app. And you don't want my picks. <clears throat> what does that mean? I just put in a five dollar parlay to win over a thousand. Okay, Believe me, you that, don't want that. Thing. No, that I don't want. You don't and, want any part of that. And, thing. Neither, and listen, neither do the goons. But what they might want is a nice little in game parlay on the first game of the season. I feel like we should build one. I think we can. I just think it's so challenging early on in the season to see what's going to happen here. And how do I know this? Because I did it with the Dodgers and the Padres in Korea. In South Korea, it was very tough because. With the pitching, like you were telling me before the uh, we came back from break, you were looking at the strikeouts for Eflin. Mm-hmm. It was actually hits, I think. Hits, yeah. It or was hits. hits. Either and way. The strikeouts is right around the same number, too, Like, though. I don't know how long these guys are going to go. It's yeah. the first start of the year, and in spring, you watched it. Early on in spring, these guys don't go very long, and then they get stretched out. I don't know how, especially with Kevin Cash, what they're going to do with these guys this early in the season. It's it's a brilliant point, and you'd said that, and then I told Casey because he showed me his bet, which included hits for both pitchers, and I was like, well, we don't know how long they're going to go. So it's a, it, it really is a great point. So I think that just means we got to stay away from the pitchers. That's what I'm doing. Um, but Like, Yandy Diaz, I believe, is going to get a hit. If you feel comfortable... Do you believe he's going to get two, though? Because two. Yeah, I mentioned before mm-hmm. the break, Aaron, or I mentioned during the break to you guys, uh, both Yandy Diaz and I think Harold, yeah, Harold Ramirez... Yep. Both their over-under is one and a half hits. I wouldn't touch it because, obviously, I trust that especially Yandy can get have a multi-hit game. He did it so many times last year, but that's that's a it's not a great – it's tough to do in what, Major League Baseball to start your season off with two hits right out of the gate. What's opening day about? Optimism. What, what do we feel when we walked in the door today? Uh, half glass full. Energy. Yeah. Beautiful it's new an turf. Energy, man. So Who's an it, energy guy? Uh, Randy? Randy Rosarina. So what do you? What's his hit total? Half, just half. All right, Over so there you go. Hit for Randy half a hit. Let's let me get t- on that. Let, let me tell you where my mindset is, and you can go off that if you want to build it. Fine. Um, you're not going to bet with us. I am. You I have mine people? in, but I'm just helping you in where you're going to go because it's boring. If we're just like, should we put this in? Should we put this in? Let me run you through what I think could happen today because I think the other thing could just be boring. Uh, Yandy Diaz, great run great guy to drive in runs correct so my mindset tells me someone's going to be on base hopefully in scoring position for yandy diaz to get a base hit something we saw during spring training uh, continuously from him so if you want to go over on half an rbi with yandy diaz if you want to start off there i think that would be pretty smart um if you want to talk about guys getting hits who are guys that just gets bad on balls Isak Paredes. Isak Paredes is a guy who gets bad on balls. So I'm not going to go crazy and bet for a guy to get a home run today. I'm looking for little singles myself. And when I think about guys getting on base, I'm thinking about uh, Isak Paredes. When I'm thinking about guys getting uh, driving in runs, I'm thinking about Yandy Diaz. When I'm thinking about guys scoring runs, I maybe throw Brandon Lau in there. I think Brandon Lau is a guy we're not talking about enough. I think that he's a guy who could surprise us. He's flying. I under hope the, so. He's flying under the radar right now. Hopefully, a healthy Brandon Lau can lead to some production from him when their expectations for him are not as high as they typically are. I'm adding some juice to this, Aaron. I think Jose Siri with a stolen base. Jose Siri, maybe uh, Jose Caballero with a stolen base. What do we think about stolen bases? Every single player 
on the player props is point five stolen bases. I'm going. I'm going with Siri. Siri. Now here's the deal. Siri could strike out a couple times today. Siri's got to get on base. He's feast or famine sometimes. But a guy who we're expecting to, when he gets on base, to steal bases is Jose Caballero. So I'm going to go with uh, if if we're playing the 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 smart way and, and not taking a chance. I think the best odds, the best chance for a stolen base would be Jose Caballero. That's a, it's a good point. I, and in Siri, so many times when he does get on base, he clears them all because he's hitting a dinger. So, I mean, he's feast or famine. Yeah, sometimes he's, yeah. he's bring him in or he strike out and it, it happens with him he, he electric. And of course, when he gets on the base pass, there's always potential for him to do that. I'd like to see more of that. I'd like to see some, uh, him running the base pass and stealing more bases this year, but I'm going to go with Jose Caballero on that. Uh, once again, the home runs, a tough one. It's very challenging to predict who's going to home run. So yeah, you, if get, you must get great odds on it. Yeah, if you're building a parlay today, I would probably stick with hits, runs, RBIs, kind of stolen bases, kind of stay in that area is what I would do if you want to build a winner today. I did not do a run, so maybe I'll add a runs in there to my parlay. Um, and you got to look, honestly, you might want to wait until we look at the lineup, we look up and down the lineup and see where guys are positioned. That way, if you're going for Yanni Diaz to get an RBI, all right, who's ahead of him in the lineup so you can look for that guy to score that run. You can kind of place it together, play it like a little Tetris with it, if you will. And, and it's, you know, it brings up, forget about the betting, but just an interesting point in general because we've seen Kevin Cash do so many different things with this lineup. But we've got all new faces here. Not all new faces, but a lot of new faces. So what is the lineup going to look like? We see guys batting. I mean, we've seen Yanni Diaz lead, lead, lead off plenty of times, yeah. right? So uh, it's going to be interesting to see kind of where he sees guys playing uh, within the line, not just in the field, but within the lineup. So, I, I yeah, definitely I'll be building out a parlay today, but I will be optimism betting on the Tampa Bay Rays. It's opening day. One of the greatest, I say, I told you earlier, Pat, there's three greatest days of the year. And this is one well, of those days. Just yeah, down to three days. greatest times of the year. <laughs> this is one of the greatest times of the year. Uh, we were mentioning the Tampa Bay Lightning earlier. I forgot to mention the uh, Tanner Janot fight last night. With Trent Frederick, oh my gosh, Tanner Janot got after him. He drew blood. He drew blood. Love it. I mean, obviously, this is a guy, a gritty guy we talk about with Tanner Janot. You get nervous when you see him, you know, in those situations. You're like, just don't get hurt. Uh, but he's an enforcer, man. He's a yeah. tough kid, really tough kid. Great and to see that in a big game against a division rival in the Boston Bruins. I'm always worried about Tanner Janot getting hurt, except for when he's fighting. Yes. Except for when he, like, I'm not worried about him getting hurt in a fight. I told you, Aaron, that I wasn't going to go as uh, crazy with my parlay as yours. Um, but I, and I know this one doesn't feel crazy, but if it happens, I'll win five hundred dollars. So really, this is decent. maybe you do want to jump in. On what this you got, me. buddy? Over half a hit for Randy Rosarena, over half an RBI for Yandy Diaz, mm-hmm. over half a stolen base for Jose Siri, and then over half a run scored for. Richie Palacios. How do we not put Richie Palacios in our parlay today? Like I said, I'm going to wait until the lineup is out before I decide who's going to be that run guy. And also, I would probably go with Caballero over Siri with the stolen base, but I don't think it's a bad pick. Yeah, well, again, I'm just why I'm trying to, you know, trying, trying to, to juice it up. Yeah. Trying to juice it up. Trying to juice it up. But also, um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of curious when it comes to the lineup in general. Do you think that, you know, Palacios is going to play for sure. I think he probably plays for sure today. Yeah, but right like, field. I, this is what I'm I guessing. To ask, what I want to ask you. Oh yeah, he'll play in right field for sure. I would imagine. Um, but I just you know you never know who's going to play and who's not going to play on this roster as well. So with that said, for those of us that you're leading into gambling, Aaron Jacobson, um, if a guy doesn't play, he doesn't count towards the bet, right? Is that kind of like a push? Is that fair? Depends. Is that not- if he plays in the game at all, but no, if he does not play, I don't think it counts. All right. No, it does not count. Uh, that's why our guy um, in uh, Porter, uh, in, in Michael Porter Jr.'s brother, uh, is he, he, that's why he won the prop bets for his guys, allegedly, uh, because he, uh, John Tay P- uh, Porter, because he, he played play. like a little bit and then he got sick. He got a headache in uh, all those games. Listen, it happens. I got a headache right now. Listen, you said, uh, you know, if it doesn't count, if they don't play, guess what? Today counts. Today counts. We've been waiting all spring for it to count, and today counts when the Rays open up their season at 4 o'clock. We've got one more segment to go here from the Trop. Do you want to bet under on Kevin Kiermeyer hits? Uh, I would if I didn't know. Oh, Jay wants over. Oh, wow. Strikeouts. Okay, sorry. Strikeouts. Over on KK strikeouts. All right, I like that. I would have if I didn't already build my parlay. 
I'll do one separate. I'll just do a KK bet uh, over strikeouts, under hits. That's I kinda, what I'll do. I kind of like it. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, we'll give you that. I'll put that at, at Jacobson on air. One more segment to go. Hey, maybe we'll even do a little cross talk with Jay and Zach. They're coming up next. I know you're used to hearing Dan Patrick after us, but yes, it's opening day. We're on until 9 o'clock. Jay and Zach follow us, and then it's the debut of The Drive with Tom Krasnicki, all live from the Trop, leading into, of course, Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. That's all coming up all day, live from Tropicana Field on opening day on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. WDAE. Traffic update. Southbound 75, slow between Brucey Downs and Fowler Avenue. Southbound 275 between Fowler Avenue and Hillsboro. And we're still seeing delays in Clearwater on southbound US 19 from south of the countryside area to pass Gulf to Bay. Earlier crash near Bel Air, now clear. Westbound I-4, it's slow from MLK towards 275. And we're seeing delays on the westbound Selman approaching downtown Tampa. With traffic from Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell is introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with the new Cantina Chicken Burrito, Quesadilla, Bowl, and Tacos. Featuring their new slow-roasted chicken. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu today at a participating U.S. Taco Bell location while supplies last. Contact store for participation, which varies. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RivardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RivardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. We are professional grade. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Are you a victim of the Timeshare Trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original Timeshare cancellation expert, and I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-226-5454. That's 800-226-5454. Some things in life you can just rely on, like the faithful friend who always comes when you call, your fishing buddies, and the tried-and-true performance of a new Rude Home AC system. So here's to reliability, built into everything we do. Rely on Rude. Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rude Pro Partner. Go to RudeACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rude Pro Partner today. That's RudeACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... 
Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Mostly cloudy early on this morning. 70% chance of morning showers. We should see sun in the afternoon. Our high right around 75. Overnight clear skies and the low will drop back to 57. Tomorrow, Friday, nothing but sun but not much warmer. Our high, 76. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WTAE, live from the Trop. Now back to Pat and Aaron. That's right. One more segment to go, and then it's time for Jay and Zach, and then the debut of the drive with Tom Krasnicki later on the, in the day. We'll be here all day and all day, presented by our friends at the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more information, go to cfbhn.org. 4-10 first pitch today. Let's go. Gates are going to open at 2-10. And we've got Zach Eflin on the bump. Opening day. Nothing else like it. We're looking at the turf today. You're going to see it when you come into the trot for the first time. Whenever you make it in this season, you'll see it on TV, too. You may it's have beautiful. seen it, by the way, in pictures. I know our friend Doug Wechter posted some pictures of the turf. It looks good in pictures. I'm interested to see how it looks on TV I, I For me, it looks much nicer in the building. Once I got in here and I walked on it. By the way, I completely forgot my favorite tease of the day, Aaron Jacobs. And we were going to tell people while they'll be closer to the game than ever before this year. And that's because uh, the turf, at least for us, uh, it feels like it's higher. It seems like it's about a uh, an inch higher than the old turf. There you go. You so, got it in. Yeah, you, it you'll, you'll be a closer. Bit, uh, a bit spongy, if you that, will. And that's yeah. it. The biggest thing is the, the sponginess, you know. It is not, from my perspective, and I know every player is different, it's not as rock solid as it seemed in, in years past, which if you're an outfielder, you're anybody on the field, you don't want to be playing on something that's like cement. You want to make sure you have a little bit of cushion, and I think they did a great job. The turf feels really, I mean, we all felt it firsthand or first feet, and it feels uh, really good. I was excited, too, if you missed Doug Wechter with us yesterday, I was excited to step onto the warning track when we got in here today because yep. as Doug Wechter explained, if you didn't hear, it the warning track and the turf the you know the green part of the because it's all turf right but the warning track in the past it was all the same texture you couldn't tell and part of the reason they've got the sand on the warning track in most stadiums is because you can feel the difference it's a warning track yeah if you're if you're running to the fence you can feel when you get onto the warning track you know when you're almost at the wall at the trop in a lot of places with turf it uh, was a lot of times more difficult to tell so this new warning track now is filled with ground coconut tusk and you can. You can feel the difference when you go from the grass onto the onto the uh, warning track. And if you missed that, you can hear all of our interview with Doug. Well, the entire Wechter Wednesday hour with Doug. It's on the iHeartRadio app. It's free on the Pat and Aaron Show page. When I was in Little League in Sarasota, Florida, we used to have uh, shelves. There would be, like, shelves out there, like seashells. Oh, be, shelves. Like, yeah, shelves. I thought he said shelves. And I'm like, where were the shelves? Yeah, like seashells would be out there in, 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 as our warning track. You'd really know. You would stomp on it. You'd feel the crunch. I was going to say, was that, I feel like that would be weird That's or a, annoying. With, it was or, a good lesson for the kids. What about, like, were they super crushed up to yes. where, oh, all right, all right. Super crushed. I was thinking, like, it's going to take some weird bounces if it bounces yeah. off the seashell. You said this is your high school that had that? No, this was Little League. Little League. Okay. Yeah, I just gotcha. remember having shells. It wasn't like Shelly Shell, but it was like, I will it wasn't say, dirt. When, when I played high school baseball, we had a brand new field. The school that I went to, I started going in 2012. They built it in 2010, and they had a gravel warning track. Yeah. And let me tell you, that hurt. Well, yeah, that you really want to warn you, people. Uh, That's how you get yeah. the, the message across. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, Rays fans, every Friday home game, Randy Land. Randy Land is going to be for every Friday home game in uh, sections 141 and 143 out there in left field. So pretty awesome that uh, that thing has taken off. Last year was just a couple games. Now we got an entire season every Friday of Randy Land. I'll be out there Friday. Come see me in Randy Land. You, I'll be there. Oh, I'll be there. Yeah, at, that's where my tickets are when I'm going Friday. In Randy Land. In Randy Land. That's wow. right. So check your boy out. Got a boy. Check our boy out. Uh, you got to get a Randy Land shirt, too. Yeah, they do. When you get, when, I think with your ticket, you get the shirt. Yep. Yeah. I bet. Um, I, 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 those Randy Land shirts are very cool. I really want one of those bad boys. Not, not as badly as I just want to see the Rays get this season off to a good start, though. Um, obviously, and listen, 
Had this team been complete, like had they not been dealing with the injuries they're dealing with right now, even if Shane McClanahan was here, even if the staff is what I thought it was is going to be next year, like even if everything was right with this team, I would tell you they're not going to duplicate what they did a season ago. It's that difficult. What we were talking about, the 1800s and things like that had happened. Like they will not duplicate last year's start, even if they were better than they are. They would not duplicate last year's start. That said, I still think getting off to a good start is really important for this team. Yeah, and they're going to have to do it with some new pieces, and I'm excited to see some of those new pieces. Richie Palacios, if you missed that, you can hear that on the IAT Radio app as well, but Ahmed Rosario, where is he going to fit in? Um, now you're going to have some options. Jonathan Aranda, a guy who big loss because we expected him to be a big help in the lineup this year, but also a guy who's never really found his way consistently in Major League Baseball. Always a guy who's produced in the minors, never produced in the majors. So other guys are going to have opportunities. Jose Caballero is a guy who, without Taylor Walls in there for a while, you've got an opportunity where, listen, I love Taylor Walls. I've said before, one of my favorite defenders in all of baseball, but his offense just hasn't been there. So yeah. if you're Jose Caballero, I'm looking at this as an opportunity in my head to go, hey, heard, heard a lot of good things about you, Taylor. I'm excited for you to come back and help the team, but shortstop's mine. Take it. That is a job that you can say, I'm going to take it. And with Rosario on the roster as well, it's it's kind of like, where do you fit in, Taylor Walls? You know, because the defense is great, but you're going to need to score some runs. And I think this year you're going to need to score runs more than in years past because this, this rotation just, listen, I don't know if I agree with Leonard who called in earlier and said the worst since 07 or whatever. It's It's not as good as it has been in in the last couple of years. It's not as good as it will be next year. Certainly to start the year, that rotation's got a lot to prove. Got to stay healthy and you got to get guys back. You got to hope Taj Bradley can come back and produce. But until then, we're putting a lot on Zach Eflin. We're putting a lot on Aaron Savali. Those are the two guys that are going to have to be the horses. Eflin leading the way. Savali made a big trade to get him last year. Now it's time for Savali to have that big season. Yeah, it's not to me, it's not just about staying healthy. They obviously have to stay healthy, but these guys have to outperform expectations if this team is going to outperform expectations. But regardless, baseball season is here, and we could not be more thrilled about it. That's all we have time for. Jay and Zach are up next. Until uh, tomorrow, for Aaron Jacobson, who will be back on Tuesday. And uh, for Casey Warner, I'm Pat Donovan. Thanks so much to the men and women who serve our country and allow us to be morons for a living. Sorry, Mom. Not the rest of you. Later today is opening day. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate. It may go. On the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to, to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile. But you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F. 150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12 inch touchscreen, and premium 20 inch wheels, and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. 46699 We have a hundred of these trucks, or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F 150s. Please note, during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during Trade A Thon 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors led by Steve and you puts together comprehensive retirement plans, designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized
Guy's Inflation Adjusted and Tax Advantage Retirement Plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench, so call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, over 3 million people called Morgan & Morgan in their time of need. And with over a million of those calls coming from previous clients, friends, and family. My name is Jeannie. I was sitting in traffic and I was hit twice from behind by two different cars. My first thought was Morgan & Morgan. I was very surprised at how easy it was. I did not have to go into the office. I did everything by text. They needed documents. I could sign them. I could upload them. I could send them right back with ease. Call Morgan & Morgan. It's easier than you think. Thank you for trusting us. We've become the largest injury firm in the world because we've won a lot. The word is out. Size matters. Reputation matters. We're America's largest injury law firm for a reason. With over 900 dedicated attorneys and climbing, we're ready wherever you are, whatever you need. The choice is easy. We're just a phone call away. Injured? Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. We're going abroad for the first time in years to Spain. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Think you have to travel to New York or Los Angeles to get a deal on a five-carat colorless diamond in a one-of-a-kind designer setting? What if I told you people from those cities came here for these exquisite pieces of jewelry? Here to International Diamond Center. Welcome to the IDC Prestige Collection, a truly breathtaking array of large, rare diamonds, two carats and up, hand-picked for maximum brilliance and certified by the GIA. In addition, International Diamond Center is one of only 14 dealers in the world offering De Beers Forever Mark Exceptional Diamonds, featuring magnificent diamonds five carats and up, including the rarest and most exquisite diamonds on the planet. The IDC Prestige Collection and the Forever Mark Exceptional Diamond Collection are for the discriminating shopper with refined taste and uncompromising standards. No need to travel or have it flown in from a broker. It's all here, every day. One of America's most impressive displays of large, rare diamonds, along with the most sought-after designer rings in the world. International Diamond Center, your direct diamond importer. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. We've been driving for six hours, and I haven't coughed once. Well, you took Mucinex DM 12-hour, right? It gives you 12 full hours of cough and chest congestion relief. Really? 12 hours? That means you still get to enjoy another six hours of me singing road trip songs. Yay. Mucinex DM tablets have one immediate release layer and one long-lasting extended release layer to provide cough and chest congestion relief for a full 12 hours. Whoa, whoa, baby. Buy Mucinex DM 12-hour now for 12-hour cough and chest congestion relief. Use as directed. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio. A unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. Open the free iHeartRadio app, search Freeform Radio, and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think, you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. <laughs> For everyone who feels a cowbell is the only way to make noise. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellis Park, and the mighty 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Rays fans, free has never sounded so good. Live from Tropicana Field, it's opening day in Tampa Bay as we take you live and local to first pitch between the Rays and Blue Jays. Now, now, now J and Z on WDAE. It's high noon across Tampa Bay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Better strap in and get ready. 
because it's Jay and Zach, G Wrecker and Zach Blogger, 12 to 3 on DAE. Happy opening day, everybody. We are live here at Tropicana Field. This is Jay and Zach. Yes, our first show. Rebranded from J and Z to now J and Zach. That's Zach Blodner. I'm Jay Richard here with you before the Rays opener against the Toronto Blue Jays. We are so blessed to be here, and it's become an annual thing, Zach. Uh, we start the show and we come out of the gates firing with our guy, Rays assistant hitting coach Brady North, joining us on the show. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? I mean, every time we've done that, they've made the playoffs. That's right. So I'm not saying that us three are the reason, but I'm not not saying that That's on a true. beautiful day here at Tropicana. I'm excited. I know we're going to have a, a long show here, obviously, ourselves, uh, followed by the debut of The Drive with Tom Krasnicki. Um, it's crazy because the first pitch feels a little bit further away, but it's Closer than it's ever been, right, right. this year. So excited to chop it up and, and talk to Brady a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so we know how the schedule goes today. Pat and Aaron from 6 to 9. Zach and I are on from 9 to noon. And then, as he just alluded to, the drive from noon to 3. And then Ronnie Lane with his debut on the inside pitch from 3 to 3.30. Back to the normal schedule tomorrow where we're on at high noon and uh, hopefully talking about a Rays victory. We bring in our guy, Brady North. And Brady... Uh, Good to talk to you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. Opening day again, man. How does it feel? It's, it's like Christmas morning for us. How does it feel for you? It's the same every year, man. Exciting butterflies, just uh, ready to go. And, you know, woke up early this morning thinking, like, I've got to go to the ballpark. And my wife's like, I'm down. I'm like, i got to go. <laughs> um, <laughs> what time but, did you leave the house today? Uh, about 7.50. Nice. Yep. Do you have a – do you have a – I know you're not playing, but do you have a ritual, like game day ritual, game, like time where you have to do things, or are you just yeah, kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all, I think we all do. Yeah. We're all creatures of habits here, yeah. so like, you can kind of know where we're all going to be. Everyone's kind of got their own little process still. Do I have to text your mom and dad and sister <laughs> to let them know that you're on right now? No, not at all. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna kill me later on, Zach. You're supposed to text me and let me know. We podcast everything on all right, free so they, radio. They know, they know. Commercial they free. Know. So if you're not listening live right now as we talk to Braden North, you can listen to it in an hour, in 10 hours, tomorrow, whenever. That's the beauty of what we do uh, with the free iHeartRadio app. Brady, let's uh, let's dig into this team a little bit and talk a little bit about not just opening day but the upcoming season. Um, I know one of the things that Jay and I have been kind of questioning a lot of people on, just in terms of opinions, is weight loss, weight gain. <laughs> we saw uh, Diaz obviously has dropped a little bit of weight. Randy's put on a little weight. You know, from the hitting side, what kind of does that equate to? What are your thoughts on those guys? Again, one losing, one gaining weight. I mean, Yandy losing weight's probably only beneficial for him. He's so strong, anyways. It's not like he's losing strength there. Um, he's still hitting the ball harder than a lot of people, so no concern there. Randy putting on weight's awesome. And with our season, coming in heavy is probably okay. You're going to lose it over this long course of the season, and flexibility and stuff will increase, so no concerns there for either of them. Did you notice any? Do you notice a, a change? I mean, you're around them every day, so sometimes it's one of those things where yeah, and, you, yeah. and you know this, like when you're around somebody all the time, sometimes you don't know a slight change, but then when you see somebody that maybe you haven't seen in a couple months, you're like, oh, wow, you got a new haircut, or you dropped a couple pounds, or you're doing your facial hair a little bit. Did you notice it at all? Yeah, when they first came back, you're like, oh, wow. Like, Randy, you were like, oh, my gosh. Like, what are those arms? Um, <laughs> got the Yanni arms. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, but um, No, then once we get around him, it becomes the norm. You know, then yeah. yesterday he's sitting BP with the sleeveless hoodie, and you're like, oh, okay, there he is. <laughs> so... So model. he's noticeably, like, stronger, yeah, buffer-looking yeah. for you for guys. For sure. For sure. Uh, now, does that make the uniforms change? I know we were talking to you a little bit. That was such a hot topic on the front end of spring training. Everyone's like, oh, the pants, it's, you know, they're different. Every There were some complaints from some teams. I didn't hear anything bad from the Rays players or anybody at any point. Um, but in your time around the team in spring training and getting ready for today, have you noticed any issues with the uniforms? No, I haven't. And that's probably credit to Tyler Thomas, uh, Nick Bond, who's, like, our team seamstress. They are... You know, they accommodate so well for the guys, so that's probably why you haven't heard from our guys. They're just so on top of things for them, making sure they're comfortable, and that's the main goal. <clears throat> if they want to feel comfortable in those pants, they make sure those pants are right for them. So, Love that. We had uh, Richie Palacios on the show this morning uh, with Pat and Aaron. It, love that guy, man. He just he seems to just – he's getting – he was flowing, going back and forth with the guys. Uh, what have you noticed from him? I mean, he talked about working – he went to driveline, working on bat speed. I mean, you can just tell, man. He's got a – Unique swing from the left side there. Uh, it just reminds me of like a Greco softball swing. So maybe after his playing days, he can come play for me on Wednesday night uh, with the Pindingos. Uh, 
But what do you, what have you noticed from him, and and what do you like about his game that you think is going to translate uh, to the team this year? Yeah, he's uh he's definitely invested in himself and his game, so he's learned a ton of especially some of the advanced things. So Chad and I have enjoyed talking with him and learning about the process he went through with drive line and the gains he made, and his routine is awesome. Like it's probably one of the more advanced routines that we have in terms of what he's doing on a daily basis wow. from you know overload underload work um so that's been really really cool to see because it's kind of new for us here um but yeah he's been really good he's talented when you say overload underload is it like heavy bat and then like because i remember back in the day overload we used to swing with a real heavy bat underload we did like a pvc pipe kind of thing is, yeah it's something like that it's something like that but now we can actually hit with them there's now oh, wow. technology where we can hit and we're not swinging PVC pipes nearly <laughs> as much. So. Love that. Uh, we do stick swing broomsticks, though. Yeah, okay. we, st- yeah. we still do that. Definitely helps. You play like Chapita, Bitilla mm-hmm. and stuff still, yeah. so just keep it fun. There's some things that still work, right? I mean, we can yeah. add technology oh, yeah. as much as we want, but there's some old school stuff that still really applies, I'm sure. There's roots, man. You got to stick to the roots, and then, you know, you can't get adapt or die, but you got to stick to your roots. A little nice little mix there, something the Rays do really well, I think, across the board. Um, another guy I'm curious to get your thoughts on, Rene Pinto. He's going to be playing a lot more this year. Obviously, I know how important it is for his relationship with the pitchers, but on the hitting side, you know, what is his approach like at the plate? What do you think we can expect from him uh, from a hitting point this year? Yeah, I think Pinto's going to settle in this year. I really do like the spring, his work. Um, he's matured, and I'm really excited for his year. Um, the talent's there. You know, he's got big power in that bat, so really excited for this year for him. Deserving of that opportunity, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And he manages that pitching staff really well, so. What about Jose Caballero coming across from the Mariners? I know this is a guy that, you know, I got to be honest, I had some questions. Hasn't played (laughs) over 100 games at shortstop in the big leagues. You know, he's coming in this year, and shortstop on this team is very important because you're so reliant on pitching and defense so it's just one thing i know i'll be keeping an eye on but from a hitting side like what have you seen from him because he seems like a guy when he gets he's not afraid to take a a hit by pitch and when he gets on base he seems to like to cause havoc yeah no he's awesome so when he first got here we kind of it was interesting you know he had all this big drill set and we're kind of talking and then finally he just was like this isn't who i am and we're like well who are you and we're like let's be that guy let's let's take chances let's hit the ball hard let's not try to fit in a mold. So what was he doing? Uh, he was just kind of being a little more defensive, more passive, and kind of... Defensive hitting. Like kind of. guiding the ball yeah. to places rather than let's just hit this ball hard. You nice. know, We're really big on hitting the ball hard. Hitting the ball hard is king, whether that's pull side or not. Don't think about direction. Hit the ball hard. Um, and he's really grabbed onto that, and his BPs have changed drastically. His game swings have changed, so it's been really, really fun to watch. Excited for him, too. Yeah. That's how I approach my golf game, by the way. I just hit it hard. I don't worry about where it's going to go. Uh, yeah, the, rest, the rest of the people on the course are not yeah, happy with that. I, I didn't say it was a good thing. Yes. I'm just saying that's been my approach. Um, I, I want to ask you about a guy that, that won't be here today and, and just where he can maybe grow in Junior Caminero because we saw him a little bit last year, and Jay and I were talking about the first day he was up listening to that BP and the sound of the ball hitting his bat is one of the louder booms uh, that we heard. What can he work on? You know, obviously, before he gets back with the big club and the minors to, to kind of better prepare him for the opportunities he'll see this season. Um, you know, you got to talk to Chad about in Toronto, mm-hmm. Cammy got a standing ovation during BP. To ask Chad Matola about that story. Okay. I was inside, so I missed it. But he got a standing ovation. So just credit how hard he really hits the ball. You don't see that. Right. Standing ovation BP is incredible. So in Chad, Toronto. In, in, the in AL East. Toronto. So that sure. Think about all the hitters. About that. I missed it, but wow. he told me that. He said he'd never seen it before in all his years of baseball. Uh, but Cammy just has to keep working. He's yeah. just got to keep growing. The game will will help him develop. And being in AAA, I think, with some, some veterans and some older people have been around. Uh, Morgan Innsberg, he's now the manager there. Played a long time in the big leagues. Played third base in the big leagues. I think it's going to be a great fit for Cammy just starting there and just continue to work and when the time's right, the time was right. We're so excited about him. Yeah, we don't don't want to lock him into any position, but I know, like, coming up, everybody thought shortstop, but it seemed like in the last, towards the end of last mm. year and kind of throughout the offseason, it seems like third base seems to be, you know, where he's settling in. And I guess with Morgan Ensberg, longtime third base on now for Houston Astros, among, amongst other teams. Does that seem like, from what you've heard, like third base may be the future for him there on the hot corner? Honestly, with positioning, I don't know. Yeah. We, every, our guys play everywhere. Yeah. I mean, Paredes has played shortstop for us in the big league. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's a position-specific thing for him. True. 
Yeah. And we've had that conversation, too. <laughs> people ask, like, why do they only draft shortstops? And I go, because it's a lot easier to start in the middle everybody. and go out right. rather than start from the outside and go in. Yeah, I know. Uh, and even Randy played center field a little bit in spring. Like, yeah, I, 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 nothing's off the table when it comes to the Rays and versatility and where guys are going to play and how they're going to play. I mean, I don't think they're going to throw outfielders behind the bump and, you know, or on the bump or behind the, the plate catching. But outside I don't know, of Luke Rayleigh really pitched last year and Brett Phillips, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. logged some innings. You're right. I'm going to take that, what I just said, and throw it out because you're right. They'll even throw them on but the But nothing mound. behind the plate. You don't want to do that. Behind the plate is the, the that. off the, uh, yeah. that, that's off the table. It's the only thing is catching. Um, a guy that was really hot this spring and, and sucks to see him get a little banged up, Johnny Aranda. Everybody that Jay talked to, I talked to, everything that we heard was that he was having like the best spring on the roster. Sucks to see him get a little banged up. I know we'll still see him this year. But talk about what he was able to do in the spring and why we can be excited about when he does return healthy, uh, be a part of this lineup in some capacity. Yeah, I think he was just more confident this year and almost more comfortable in the big league setting, if that makes sense. And mm-hmm. obviously it's spring training, but that matters. Uh, just the way he approached his work, there was never panic. And that's the Johnny we knew, like, in the minor leagues and stuff, in the AAA. Like, that was the – that's the Johnny around we all know. So, like, I think we're about to see what he can, can do. What have you noticed? Because you've seen the progress, right? You've seen the minor league system, now the big league level. And there's a lot of guys that, you know, they get to AAA, they do well, and then they almost, you know, for lack of a better term, they become that quad A, that 4A guy, because they can never translate it to the big leagues. What do you think is the biggest inhibitor to guys like that? When when they can't get from that AAA level where they're batting 310, 315, they get to the big league level and they can't crack the Mendoza line. Is it a physical thing? Is it a mental thing? Uh, uh, what is that like thing that blocks them? And then also you in your position, what do you try to do to kind of dispel that? I mean, I think it's a combination of both things. But in all reality, the jump from AAA to the big leagues is bigger than it's ever been in terms of just the product that's being rolled out there. I mean, the stuff up here is ridiculous. Fastballs are just 95 here is not the same as 95 down there. There's just something different. I don't know what it is. You can ask some of those young guys. They learn it <laughs> quick. Like, something's different here. Um, but for us and our roles, we're just trying to make sure they have their process and not panicking and just sticking to it, understanding, like, hey, we got to keep going, make the adjustments that are needed, and don't try to be the player you were. You know, keep growing as a player. Another guy, obviously, I think one of the leaders in this clubhouse, Brandon Lau, who – Another injury late last year, right, breaks the hand. And, and I'm so tired of talking about injuries, but he's a guy who we know, you know, when he's hot, he's as good as anybody at the plate in baseball. Have you kind of seen him take on that leadership role more? And what do you think we're going to get out of Brandon this year? Yeah, I think Brandon Healthy is is clearly the best version of Brandon. We would love to have Brandon Healthy all the time. Um, but, yeah, I definitely think he's taking on more of a vocal part of it, just leading by example a lot more and stuff. So, yeah, excited for Brandon. Yeah, and he's a guy, and he knows. I mean, he said it too. Like the the at times, you know, he goes on a little bit of a slump, and then there's other times where, like, he can literally carry your offense for two weeks. Yeah, it's it, crazy. eight home runs in ten games. Like for guys like that, especially when they get, it's one thing you mentioned the young hitters, right? But when you get the guys that have been in the league six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, and they're like that. Is it more of like let them come to you kind of thing, or is it just kind of stay with the course? Like, what's the mindset? What's the approach to sometimes the veteran hitters that may go through kind of the ups and downs? Yeah, I think just kind of knowing what their ups and downs are. Like, when they're going bad, like kind of having that earmarked, and then when they're ready, be ready for them. If that makes sense. Like, when they come, yeah. you, you got to have something for them. And when they're good, it's like really idea you that and saying, hey, we're getting away from this a little bit. Let's get back to this. What, uh, you know, real quick, yeah. the, Chad Matola just broke he didn't break news because you broke it with us last year in studio the barefoot stuff Are you guys still doing the barefoot hitting in 2024 oh yeah it's yeah <laughs> actually me did it the other day i took a picture sent it to chat it was like he's converted <laughs> so uh, uh even the aussies I was are gonna doing say, you got no. the australians so on when does that happen when does the barefoot hitting happen game day practice day how early like when is it chad only has shoes on during the game <laughs> <laughs> and during like bp so yeah. It's, what? What is that? Where does that come from? It's just honestly, you just feel like you know, it's a false sense of stability in the shoe, and it's amazing. Like you take a guy's shoe off, you see how he holds the ground completely different. Like he applies pressure in different parts of his foot because he can't rely on a shoe, and so that's why Chad's always walking barefoot just to let him know, like, hey, just try it. I bet you something's gonna change. Where the heck did that come? Did, like, have you ever? You've been around baseball your entire life. Have you ever seen anything like that? Well, I mean, believe it or not, my dad like. I took ground balls and turfs and stuff all the time, never cleats. Yeah. Because he wanted me to use the ground. Nellies. Put my feet into the ground. And so, like, not giving him too much credit there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, Nelly. Um, 
But yeah, so I think it make and like when they lift, they do it barefoot all the time. Guys deadlift and squat all the time barefoot because they have to have the contact with the ground. So I don't know where Chad got it from. Chad's been around a long time, so the ideas are just flowing. So. I was gonna say you you have to be around for a while. You can't yeah. be a you can't <laughs> be a first year hitting coach like guys take your shoes off. It's not a new what? age uh, yeah. thing. We, we you know where we see it too a lot is in football. We see a lot of those guys go out mm-hmm. pregame. We, especially with the Buccaneers. The Bucs O-line. They always saying. go outside. Yeah. So I think there is something about, like, to be said, grounding yourself literally and figuratively yeah. with no shoes on. And Hey, man, whatever works. I mean, that's what it comes yeah. down to. You want to hit barefoot, hit barefoot <laughs> if you're going to hit 20 homers. <laughs> right. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I could see Randy walking out there. Oh, well, he's cowboy boots. And they're going to, sir, you're going to have to put some cleats on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit about, and I, I know you don't set the lineup, obviously, but like how different it is to kind of have guys moving around versus stability and we know kevin loves to play with the lineup and switch things up in the batting order um we saw yandy diaz obviously one of the best leadoff hitters in baseball last year you know what are your thoughts just on like that like stability versus like mixing it up obviously with injuries you don't have a choice when you have to move guys in and out but stability in the lineup versus getting creative with it throughout the season i mean i think our lineup and our roster is built to be creative with it our guys are not guys that have to be in certain spots to hit um yeah, so like some stability, like knowing you're going to play and stuff, but our lineup's built to everyone's going to contribute. So that doesn't really come into play with us. Like if we had nine guys that are going to play all day, I could maybe argue like, yeah, we want to set lineup, but everyone's going to contribute. You're going to play every day. So from that standpoint, the creative part is what makes it special. Other than being uh, on TV pretty much six or seven times a game, uh, what, how has your role changed for 2024? Uh, not much has really changed. Just the same same thing. Um, definitely in game, just helping with the scouting reports and you know being there for the guys to let them know what's going to happen out there with the pitcher, um, and then just being available. Who is uh, who's the guy that's kind of the most analytical? Like he wants to know everything. Because I know there's certain guys like yeah maybe a little bit here. Is there one guy? And we don't want you to throw him under the bus. But is there a guy that I, see? I'm that type of guy. I want as many inf- give me as much information as you got. I'll use what I want and then discard the rest. I can say, I mean, everyone wants their certain thing. Like, mm-hmm. there's certain guys that want certain information and only that information. Whether that's, I just want pitch type velocity on fastballs, nothing else. I don't want you to describe the fastball. I just want to know, does he have a fastball, a slider, change up? End of story. There's other guys that want to go through the whole thing. Um, I have seen the guys that have come from the minor leagues are definitely more educated now. The minor league, the player development has done a really good job of exposing them to the information, educating them how to use the information. So now they're getting here and they're having a much better idea of what this information needs and how they can apply it to their approach and their plan for that night. I know uh, Randy last year, that was one of the big things yeah. we talked about, is that he was a guy that yeah. didn't want to know every, anything, and then he switched to wanting to know stuff. And I would say it worked out because he was an all-star last year. Obviously, coming off the World Baseball Classic, he hit well as also. I, I think it's interesting because guys do switch up too, right? It's not the same necessarily every season with their approach to what they want to know versus what they don't want to know. Yeah, no, I mean, Randy asked for the same meaning again with the updated version. That he made some tweaks to some of the information he wanted mm-hmm. uh, going into the, the season, so that's definitely something that definitely, like, it's a living thing where, yeah, hey, it's ebbs and flows, I want this, I want to take this away, and I think that's the power in, in our setup here is we're so fluid with them and give them what they need. Is, awesome. there, is there a guy that is flying under the radar a little bit uh, that, you know, you look at this year or maybe made some tweaks or, like, you're excited to see his development from the offseason to now? Oh, Rondo, I was really excited about yeah. Johnny. Yeah, um, man. I would say DeLuca. DeLuca really has some stuff in there. Um, he was exciting. Um, and Mead. I'm excited for Curtis Mead. Yeah. Yeah, what He's, have you seen from the Aussie? Because I know he was... Zach loves the puns. Booming onions, baby. He loves All the day. puns. My guy. I, look, his... He's a fun batter to watch when he's up there. He is, and we saw that late last year. Um, and in the spring, too, I feel like every other game I watched, he was putting the stick on the ball. So, you know, what what is it about his development or being able to see him up close that's been, you know, fun for you? I, I think Curtis is, is a really fun batter to watch at the plate. Yeah, I think now just him being exposed and, like, being there and now maybe getting some more consistent at bats this level and just kind of getting his grounding here, mm-hmm. I think you're going to start to see kind of like the Ronda thing where now you're going to see who we were expecting to see.
Beautiful. Ray's assistant hitting coach, Brady North. Brady, we always appreciate uh, you coming and You're joining man, us Brady. on the show. And especially you here, you know, I think it's our second year in a row that you kick off the show, man. So I appreciate it and uh, give uh, our love to the entire family. Now you guys got to find a better way to kick this off. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> there's, think so. There's got to be someone Hey, we're, me. we're setting the... Uh, hey, if it ain't setting, broke, that's <laughs> don't right. fix it, baby. If it ain't Brady, uh, don't fix there it. There you go. Right. Actually, uh, this guy, he's rubbing off on me with the puns. <laughs> when we come back, more reasons to be optimistic about this Rays team here in 2024. Don't go anywhere. We're live from Tropicana Field. It's Jay and Zach here on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Play ball! What happened last night at the Trop? We can't wait to tell you. Get the latest Rays highlights, news, analysis, and more all day, every day. We're your hardball hookup. This is the home of the Rays. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE traffic update. A wreck in St. Pete, northbound 275 near 54th Avenue North. Right lane is blocked here and traffic already slow from 22nd Avenue North. Delays in Tampa, southbound 275 between Fletcher Avenue and Hillsboro and southbound 75 between Bruceby Downs and Fowler Avenue. Crash on westbound Adamo Drive near 50th Street, blocking a couple lanes there. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. At International Diamond Center, you can take your time and design and meticulously create the most unique, most exquisite ring imaginable. But if that's not your thing... We understand, and that's why we created the IDC Signature Collection. Ready-to-wear rings at every price point. It's a complete ring that's already done. We pick out the small diamonds, and we pick out the center diamond, and it's assembled, and it gets our stamp of approval. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. People like this because of the value that they're receiving because they're getting a complete ring without having to piece it together themselves. Even if your budget is $1,000, IDC has a ring you can take with you today with a quality, stylish setting and a GIA certified diamond. We did all the hard work for you. Listen, we're the experts. Our job is to pick the right diamond for the right setting at the right price point, and I think we do a pretty good job of it. Discover the No Stress IDC Signature Collection. Buy it today. Propose with it tonight. International Diamond Center. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota and online at shopidc.com. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Riding season is here. Take advantage and learn to ride at Harley-Davidson of Newport Ritchie, Tampa Bay, and Wesley Chapel. You can learn to ride or ride better the HD way on a genuine Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Feel the goosebumps rise on the back of your neck as the wind hits your face and break into a smile. Schedule your class at hdflorida.com or visit us at three convenient locations in the Tampa Bay area. Harley-Davidson of Newport Ritchie, Tampa Bay, and Wesley Chapel. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. 
I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Enjoy lunch or dinner today at Kelly's Roast Beef, the iconic taste of Boston, home of the original roast beef sandwich. Plus, authentic New England seafood, chicken sandwiches, burgers, dogs, ice cream, kids' meals, and more. All freshly made with gluten-free options, too. Dine in or drive through today at Kelly's Roast Beef. Mention this ad and get a free Kelly scratch card for special discounts or free food. Stop by today at University and Honore in Sarasota and just northeast of Pasadena and Shore Drive in St. Pete. Kelly's Roast Beef. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Don't be impressed when you hear someone settle their case for what may seem like lots of money. 500000 seems like lots of money until you learn they lost both legs, had a brain injury, or were paralyzed and can never work again. All law firms are not the same. To see what your case may be worth, go to ForThePeople.com and look at our verdicts and settlements for cases just like yours. Look before you leave. Hire the right lawyer. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audible Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audible Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to JNZ. That's my cue. That's Zach. your cue. <laughs> Jay and Zach here live at the Trop. I'm Zach Lobner. He's Jay oh, Richard. Oh, Lightning. Go Lightning. Uh, great game last night from yep. them, by the way. We'll talk about that in a little bit. There was a Rays connection there, too. There we will sure talk was. about that in a little bit. I'm excited to be here. Jay's excited to be here. We got John Dugas, John Mamola, Casey Warner still hanging out in the house. Um, and, and listen, there's always reason to be optimistic on opening day because everybody's even. Everything's still on the table. And all we're doing is projecting. But we start to get results. Day one here. And, Jay, one of the things that I'm – optimistic about one of the things i feel good about and we did this yesterday but it's the guy on the bump today a different zach uh, zach number two in my terms zach efflin as he takes the mound and look i know we have a lot of questions when it comes to the rotation a lot of questions about this team this year just in terms of you know what are the the strong points the weaknesses i think we can both agree that zach efflin should be one of the bright spots at least here on opening day to start things out yeah, and, and I look back to what happened last year with Zach Eflin and how he was able to so easily assimilate himself into this rotation, and he took that leadership role very early on in 2023, and now they're going to be relying on him as a leader. Last year, back of the rotation type of guy, you expected him to just kind of ease his way into it because you knew you had Rasmus and Springs, McClanahan, and Glass now on the way. Now all eyes are on him. Like, this is you, and you saw him... Get one of the starts last year in the postseason. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well. But, man, one thing about him is regardless of the physical, you know that the moment's not going to be too big for him today. The mental, that mindset that he's going to have going into this start against Toronto, I have no issues, no qualms with him being on the bump today, and I expect him to have a good performance. 
Yeah, I agree with you. Um, he's a guy that we can feel comfortable about, comfortable about, good about heading into today's action and the end of this season. And that's on the pitching side. That's on the starting rotation side. On the bullpen side, and he ironically called into the Ronnie and T. Crash show yesterday. We were just talking about it. Pete Fairbanks, right? In terms of this bullpen, Jay, and, and we always expect it to be one of the best in baseball, despite whatever faces change, whatever newcomers are here. But that's a guy that has been around now for a few seasons. And outside of the Raynods and the cold with his hands, uh, very reliable arm in that bullpen. Pete Fairbanks, another guy that is a flamethrower. They don't name closers on this team, but he's their damn closer. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with you. And if there's one position group that I am worried about the least, it's going to be the bullpen because they're always going to find a way, the Tampa Bay Rays. As much as we talk about the starting rotation and the lineup and how versatile everything has to be and the way that they are able to accentuate the strengths of guys that may not have played as much on other teams, the bullpen for them every single year is always going to be a work in progress, but they find a way. I remember Matt Whistler a couple years ago, all he did was just kept throwing curveballs over and over and over and over again. But it worked. Like, it worked out for him. They find ways to bring guys in here that look like they're kind of, you know, they're dead. Their careers are over. Jake Diekman, a lefty who, man, he was such a good reliever there in Chicago, but it looked like his career was done. He comes here, and he's damn near unhittable. He parlays that into a contract. How about Big Bob? Robert Stevenson last year, a guy that they're able to pick up in a trade, and, man, he was just absolute money for Tampa Bay. Now he's making absolute money. (laughs) But that's, listen, that is one of those things where you put that out there. You put that out there that you're a team that, hey, bring me some of your guys that aren't pitching so well but have some talent. We could bring them in here. Kyle Snyder and this pitching group gets their hands on them. They figure out what works for them, and then they succeed. So this is just a a revolving door of positivity when it comes to the race. The bullpen, they are just so succinct in knowing what they're going to do with these certain guys, eliminating pitches that don't work adding pitches that could benefit their repertoire. And those guys have success year in and year out. It's fun to watch. Their bullpen is so good that it actually supplements their starting rotation. (laughs) As we see guys get stretched out, obviously, with Rasmussen Springs, now Zach Littell uh, is going to be the guy. And I'm sure there's at least one, if not two, of these cats in the bullpen that will get opportunities to become a starting pitcher in some capacity this year. You and I, one of our favorite things to do on opening day is to look at the bullpen and say, all right, which of these dudes are going to get stretched out? Which of these dudes are the next Drew Rasmussen? Or in this case, Zach Littell, because he's the guy that actually is uh, is healthy at the moment. And there, I know there's a couple on there um, that could definitely be stretched out. I, I, at this point, because of the way the Rays do business, would be more surprised if there wasn't a bullpen arm ending up as a starter by the end of the season than, than if there you know, was the other way around. Yeah, I, I, whether it's a Wagaspak kind of guy or I, I don't know if it's going to be a Davinsky. Those guys have to have, you know, three-plus pitches to be able to go out there and to be able to do that. If you're just a two-pitch guy, you're going to get through the order one time, maybe two times, three, four innings. I don't know if that's going to work. So See, maybe this, a guy like Tyler, yeah, Tyler that Alexander. That popped up a lot. That's the guy that stands out to me. He's 29 years old. He's looking at his career wondering, what can I do? How can I rejuvenate what I've done and how I've started my career and find success kind of in the back half uh, of my time. Todd the Painter. I like that nickname (laughs) right there, buddy. Uh, TCU, drafted in the second round back in 2015 of the Detroit Tigers. Uh, That's the guy for me. When you ask me who could be the candidate, I look at Tyler Alexander. Todd the Painter. Or was it Ty the Painter or was it Todd the Painter? I, I don't know, but no, that stash is clean. Nickname. You need to send that picture with that stash to Chris Mathis nah, I'm so that he knows. Too much Chris Mathis talk on the show the last couple of days. Really? I'm joking. Oh, man. I'm joking. I'm as joking. long as Gonzaga's alive, I, ex- I guess. That's why. See, I was trying not to go there, and you went there. Yeah. You brought it up after you told me we, yesterday. We, you could bring it up if you want. I didn't bring it up. And then you brought it up. And then today I tried to. Oh, no. You were going down the street. I said, no. Hang a left at this stop sign. You blew through the stop sign. A stash. Woo, woo, you showed woo, woo. me a stash. You're getting pulled over right now by the Mathis police. We, we broke bread you last him night. Up. We're you fine. Did? Yeah, we're fine. Who paid for the bread? Wasn't him. You did, did you? Uh, Mole, did you pay for drinks to these guys at the bar, the L bar? They look at the Mola. No, I should have got the good whiskey. Um, Step it up. What'd you drink? What'd you have? I was drinking. A lot. I was having ultras last night. It was a school night until dinner, and then they, they just, we, wild time at dinner at Council Oak. Wild times. Just, just. I had the. I had a smoke old fashioned. Um, 
So, uh, come on, bud. So, <laughs> yeah. come on, bud. So you have to hit a certain uh, threshold financially at Council Oak with a bigger party. Oh, we had, we had a bigger party. So to hit that threshold, we had to order some drinks at the end, but we were ready to go. So some celebratory lemon drops were ordered, not by me, but I, I do partake because I'm a team player. Um, just not the way that I saw the night going. I didn't think my right. night celebrating Ronnie and Tom would. Which I'll you tell you, it didn't gonna, start with lemon well, that, drops. It ended not, with them, that's though. That's naivete on your part, then, if you didn't <laughs> think that's how the night was going to end. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Uh, I know when I left, Ronnie was, was going to sleep. He was calling it a night. T. Crass was He was me. falling asleep? He, well, he had, they had rooms there. Had oh, rooms there. he was yeah, yeah. leaving. I he thought you meant he was falling asleep. No, no, no. Like, you no, sitting no. at the table. Like, yeah, we watched the Kucherov. Uh, big booty. We uh, watched the Kucherov uh, wraparound goal, and then uh, he was like, all right, I'm outie. And well, we're going to talk about that in a second. I felt the same way. On the way out, though, I did find one. Dr- the drive host, Tom Krasnicki, at one of the tables it was not going his way. Really? Yeah, so. I mean, look, that's. that's Loads well for today. That's gambling, folks. So I'm going to find out whatever his parlay is today and, and go opposite. Oh, I'm already in. I already got a four-legger. I heard you guys talking about it. Did you set up Mamola's or is that Mamola's? No, on his own? I got a four-legger banger. S- so I want to wait. I like what Jacobson said. I'm going to wait until the official lineup comes out okay, to, so to kind of make my decision. Caballero's going to start short. So all of my guys are going to be in the lineup today. So yeah, I'm going to go yeah. But over. you don't know where they're batting yet, right? That don't matter. Uh, <laughs> well, don't. I mean, they're going to hit. Brady North literally just said did say it doesn't matter. So yeah. you do have a point there. Dang it. That's, that's my guy. That's fair. Uh, over seven and a half runs. I think there's going to be some offense total. Today. The Total, right? Yes. Um, a stolen base for Caballero. That bumps the whole thing up. Mm-hmm. He's going to try to make something happen. He's got to get on base first. Yes. He's going to make something happen today. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hit by a pitch and steals second base. Uh, and then over... Uh, half a strikeout for Kevin Kiermeyer, under half a strikeout for Yandy Diaz. Ooh, under. That's like plus twenty two fifty, bro. That's a good bet. That's solid. Five bucks to win That's a solid. buck seventeen. Nothing with uh with Randy today, huh? Randy's feast or famine. I know it's tough for me. They were pumping him up though on uh, Pat and Aaron because of the energy, the vibes, and I I could follow that line of thinking. Yeah. This is the type of uh, that's betting with emotion. I'm betting with facts. Mamola threw a George Springer prop in there, which Mamola's I thought was bets, a, Mamola does I nine like Mamola does nine like parlays to win seventeen dollars. The last time I tailed Mamola, a Chicago Bull blew up a parlay, and I'm never going to do it again. Why would you do that? I he know. doesn't even know who the coach of the Chicago Bulls is. <laughs> he talked about it so fluently. Chomp chomp, by the way, on that. Chomp um, chomp, Billy D. Back to things we're optimistic about when it comes to this race. Oh, team. I got one. We just talked a little bit about the pitching side. On the hitting side. I think speed, stolen bases, is something we haven't really talked about a lot, at least leading up to this opening day thing, situation, this game. And I, I know that it was something so important to this squad last year. And regardless of you know how we feel they've, they've kind of put this roster together where there could be some bumps, some upgrades, I think the speed is still there with the additions they've made this year, Jay, and I expect them to steal a ton of bases again. Got to be on base to do that, as yeah, I said. Yeah, I mean, but. my issue with that is that a guy that steals bases and is not in the lineup is Josh Lowe. Wander stole some bases. Mm-hmm. You're not getting stolen bases from Pinto, Paredes, Yandi, Harold. Is B. Lau going to steal? I don't know. Think about the, the new guys, guys you just mentioned. I know, but though. that's five guys out of your nine in your starting Those lineup. Those five guys were here last no, year, though. I understand that, but you had other guys that were going to be able to get on base more. So now, like, all right, so if Palacio starts, right, mm-hmm. he can probably swipe a bag. You know, yep. Caballero can swipe a bag. DeLuca's got some speed when he's healthy. When he's not healthy. So, but I'm talking about those two guys in particular. They're not going to get on base, you don't think, as much as a guy like Lowe and Franco do. So you got to be on base to be able to steal them. And then also, you add one of the guys we didn't mention, Randy Rosarena. Now, Brady doesn't think that it seems to be a big deal that he put on some weight, but if it's going to inhibit him in any way, you would think it's going to stop him from swiping as many bags. He may hit more home runs, but it might slow him down a touch. We shall see. Dude, but- okay, so that's that's the results of it, what, and I should have said it differently. I think they're going to continue to be as aggressive as they've been. Do you think Cash, because of the changes that you just referenced, is a little, even if it's not noticeable, slightly less aggressive this year on the base paths? Uh, no, because it's not wholesale changes, right? Okay. It's just, a, to me, it's a slight step back in a, in a multitude of areas. You may, it, it may go the other way. It may go the other way of, like, those guys aren't getting on base a lot as much as the guys that they're replacing. Right. You may have to be a little bit more aggressive yeah. with them. Yeah, when you get opportunities. Yeah, so 
you're not going to change your entire fundamental game plan when your roster offensively doesn't have wholesale changes to it. You're going to go into the season going, we're going to be aggressive on the bases, and even if we may not be able to get on base as much, that's not going to necessarily change our game plan. But uh, to me, I'm optimistic because of the guy that's setting the table. Yandy Diaz. Uh, he's got a slump-proof swing. He's so intelligent at the plate where when he's ahead in the count, 1-0, 2-1, 3-1, man, he goes up there and takes an absolute daddy hack and tries to hit <laughs> one of the banners up there uh, that's going to be a reveal today. And I'm sure that's a topic of conversation a little bit later on. Uh, but also <laughs> with two strikes, he does such a good job of letting the ball get deep, hitting the ball to the right side, putting the ball in play. When you have a guy like that at the top of your order, okay, he's not a traditional Ricky Henderson leadoff hitter, right. but he gets he puts the ball in play, he gets on base. <laughs> When you have a guy like Yandi that's going to get on base almost 40% of the time, that is always going to give your Rays offense, give your offense an opportunity to score runs day in, day out. Are you down with OBP? Because I'm down with OBP. I mean, it's, it's huge. And that's Diaz. Get on base. I mean, you talk about putting it in play, but he doesn't even necessarily have to swing the bat to, to be effective. He'll and that's take a walk. It, better than anybody I think we've seen on this team, I, I don't even know, like a, a comparable Ray in the last half decade, this playoff. Uh, you know, run that they've had the last five years, Jay, that, that can kind of compare. He's great at it. I I think one of the keys to the Rays season is going to be the link between Yandi and Randy. Mm -hmm. I said yesterday that if I'm pitching against the Rays, mm -hmm. I'm pitching around those two guys. I'm mm -hmm. going to let every single other guy beat me. I don't care what it is. Yeah. Ahmed Rosario, hit the ball 450. I yeah. don't care. Siri, you want to get yours? Get yours. But how Lau, they see if you can get yeah, exactly. more consistent. All right, Mr. Lau, you want to stay consistent. All right, let's see what you can right, do here. Right. But how they link Yandi and Randy is going to be pivotal to their success this year. Because last year the linchpin was number five. Mm -hmm. And you knew that if you got if you walked Yandi, right. you were in trouble because here comes Wander, he's a switch hitter, and there's nothing that you could do. There's no guy you can bring out of the bullpen to put him in a disadvantageous position. And then oh, you pitch around him, here comes Randy with a couple of guys on. Those and I'm curious to see how they structure the lineup now that Wander's not in there. When you have Yandi one and let's say Randy four, mm -hmm. those guys that are batting two or three, they can't strike out. They got to put the ball in play. And if you have a first inning like you do today, you got to be able to move that lineup, pass the baton to the next guy, and get Randy up with runners in scoring position. If they can do that, you'll see a good offensive output from the Rays. When they struggle and you see them, hey, they get shut out in three or five games or something. Look back to those two spots in the order, and if they're struggling, I guarantee, I guarantee you that's a reason why. Yeah, and I think we talked to so much last year about getting off to a great start. They did it, 13-0, and and that's the something best, yeah, we, we the best start. I think with this team, because of the AL East and the way they're, they're put together, we typically say that. I don't expect them to get off to a hot, hot start this year, but this is a team that you know should be healthier in a month, should be even healthier in two months. So I, I think that that's an area where as long as you kind of ride the waves and you don't get too deep into a hole in the first couple months you know we might see them play their best baseball uh or start to at least in the summer where last year they dipped so maybe an inverted that's a ride to the season this year especially getting guys back from the il right on the pitching staff uh, side as well maybe different isn't a bad thing for this race team that's looking to not just make a postseason but make a run talking about the raise of the bucks Put it all together. We can talk about them. We can also talk about a team that's made some deep runs, but not last year. The Tampa Bay Lightning, they played another playoff team last night in Boston, but it went as well as everything has on the Lightning side of things. And a nice raise tie at Amelie Arena here on Jay and Zach. We'll be right back live from the Trop here in St. Pete. Later today, join WDAE as we welcome in a new day in Tampa Bay for your ride home. Buckle up. For the drive with, with T-Crass. A fresh beginning for a new era of Tampa Bay sports conversation. Rays, Rays Bucks, 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 Bolts, and more. and more. Join us, punch the preset, and lock, lock in, in for the debut of The Drive with T-Crass. Live from Tropicana Field on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and skip the hassles of a traditional home sale. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here, and I'm here with my friend Mark Spain. And Mark, how does the guaranteed offer make selling a home stress-free? The guaranteed offer is simple and stress-free because it's all cash which means that you don't have a buyer sitting in limbo hoping to get a loan. You don't have a home inspection after you go under contract with somebody coming in and making you or asking you to make costly repairs. It's real simple. It's all cash. You choose your closing date, typically within 21 days. 
and you move on to the next chapter of your life. It's the easiest stress-free way to sell your home today which is why we created the program. With nearly 11,000 five-star reviews, you can trust the most experienced real estate team in the U.S. to sell your home stress-free with the strongest cash offer in the industry. Their guaranteed offer keeps you in control. Find out what the guaranteed offer would be on your home today. There's no obligation. Just go to MarkSpain.com for that guaranteed offer. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's 5000 50000 or 500000 we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6759. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at TRA.com or call 800-575-6759. That's 800-575-6759. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. When doctors recommended a fifth knee surgery to Bill, he was desperate to find another solution for his chronic pain. Having children, being close to 50, I started getting a little nervous going under anesthesia. That was one of the biggest proponents for me to try this. Bill discovered QC Kinetics and the all-new natural biologics that help the body heal itself, restoring damaged tissue, addressing the root of the problem head on. I did it on the knee. It really became life-changing. It has brought me back to an effective age of almost in my 20s and 30s. Turn back the clock and experience the relief that QC Kinetics provides patients for aching knees, elbows, hips, and back. Modern solutions that don't involve surgery or steroids. Right there in the office, no downtime. You know, I don't feel 50. I feel a lot younger. There are other solutions for your pain. Call QC Kinetics, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, Bradenton, and Tampa. 813-305-3000. Life's a con- constant swirl of shopping groceries clothes gifts the occasional self-care splurge you know how it is that's why you should get the drop app with drop you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards last year i scored 150 dollars in gift cards alone make sure to use code drop 23 when you sign up and get five dollars in drop points that's drop 23 get rewarded for shopping and download drop now for free on the app store or google play RiseCon 2024 is back and better than ever. Global entrepreneur and Tampa's very own Vic Tipness brings together the world's most elite event for entrepreneurs to Tampa to help people live their max life. On April 19th through the 21st, join Vic along with MLB All-Star Alex Rodriguez, NFL Hall of Famer Deion Sanders, political analyst Tucker Carlson, and many more. Get your tickets at theriseconference.com. Invest in yourself and watch your life transform. Get your tickets at theriseconference.com today. You do not want to miss this event. We sold our home for substantially more than we bought it for and skipped the costly renovations to fix up our home. Thank you, Mark Spain Real Estate. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here, and Mark Spain Real Estate, they're helping homeowners just like our listener, Caitlin, there, sell their homes fast and for maximum profit. If you're like Caitlin, you're ready to take advantage of this hot real estate market. My friends at Mark Spain Real Estate, they're the most trusted and experienced real estate team in the country. Find out what the guaranteed offer on your home will be today. There's no obligation. Go to MarkSpain.com, get a guaranteed offer. Offer. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. Because injuries to muscles and ligaments don't show up on an x-ray, the insurance companies will use it as an excuse not to pay. But we work with doctors who can see what x-rays can't, giving you a case insurance companies can't ignore. Farrah and Farrah, here for you, here for good. Tampa. One, two, three. 
Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Buccaneers fans around the world. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Live from the trough. Now back to JNZ. Opening day in Tampa Bay coverage on WDA presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk, they hear you. For more info, go to cfbhn.org. We are live here at Tropicana Field before Ray's opening day. It's Jay and Zach here on 95.3 WDA and AM620. But listen, it is a victory Thursday here today because of the win last night at Amelie Arena for the Tampa Bay Lightning. 3-1 to one over those stinking Boston Bruins. God, it feels so good to beat them. I don't care if it's a preseason game. I don't care if it's an all-star game, a regular season game, postseason. I don't care if the guys are playing beer pong at a party I'm at. I just love beating anything Boston. And you saw that last night. The first place team in the Atlantic, the Bruins, they go down to the Tampa Bay Lightning by a score of 3-1. to one. Yeah, and again, I didn't get to watch a lot of that live being at Ronnie and T-Crass finale at the Hard Rock, but we did catch uh, the second half of that third period where we saw Kucherov get the wraparound uh, empty netter there. I, I don't know, Jay, but I said that that was maybe the easiest goal he scored all year. Yeah, it looked like they were going to catch him, and then he was just <laughs> like, nah, you're not catching me. And it's wild, too. So, a little wraparound action. A little wraparound action. Because when you're watching it from our vantage point in mm-hmm. the press box, the lightning iced the puck, so you're just thinking, all right, here comes a face-off in about 20 seconds, and all of a sudden, here comes Kucherov. He's the only person skating the puck. I go, okay, defense optional here at the, at the uh, tail end of the game. Listen, Zach, last night, you could argue that the they scored two of the three goals, but you could argue that the worst line for the lightning last night was Braden Point, Nikita Kucherov, and Anthony Duclair. And for all the talk about, and again, we got to move on. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. We got to move on from, all right, the Lightning are only playing better now because of Anthony Duclair and Matt Dumba. It's more than that. It's more than that. You got to go deeper. You have to look and watch what is going on with this team. Yes, big time contributors, Mm -hmm. big time. But you have to see what's going on with this team and why they're playing well. The number one reason why is because number 88 between the pipes. Andre Vasilevsky was locked in last night. You could have taken 100 shots. I don't think you're scoring two goals on him. He was fantastic. That is why we had this conversation last week. This is why teams are going to be petrified playing the Lightning in the playoffs because Vazzy's finding his groove. And then how about the bottom six guys? You get a goal from Mitchell Chafee. Listen, Connor Sherry. How good has he been, I don't think Connor Sherry's getting back in the lineup. I I, I just don't see that happening. Mitchell's too good. That third line with him, Nick Paul, and Asimont, money. And then the fourth line last night, I love Tanner Janot with Glenn Denning and Tyler Mott. Glenn Denning and Mott, super IQ guys, speedy penalty killers, and Janot was an absolute force. And you dumbass. Trent Frederick, you think you're a badass? You want to fight everybody? Bro, look under at his the head buried. We're watching the video right now, dude. He isn't. He want. He wants nothing to do with those fists from Tanner. I don't think I've ever seen a guy regret dropping the gloves quicker in my right. entire life than Trent Frederick. Oh my, dude! Trent Frederick goes out and he thinks he's some badass. And later on in the game, Oof. Charlie McAvoy and Anthony Sorelli are kind of scrum it up a little bit, and he's over there trying to take pot shots. I'm like, didn't you just learn your lesson? He goes out and drops the glove first with Tanner Janot. Tanner almost falls over at Linus Yolmark last night. And then they eventually square up. They grab a hold of each other. And the first punch from Tanner Janot. I'm talking a Roy Jones Jr. 1997 uppercut right to the face. And Frederick, boom, draws blood. He doesn't even throw any more punches. That is one of the biggest bitch moves I've ever seen when it comes to a fight in the NHL. You started the fight, and then you didn't even throw any punches because you got uppercutted. Mm. Boom! I said he put, uppercut. He it was like Street Fighter. He, he put his Street head, he buried his head into Janot, and I, I love it. This is Look, these are the types of things that Tanner brings to this team when healthy. He is a force. force. And, oh, man. I Any time Tampa Bay can bully Beantown, bully Boston, we're all in, baby. We're all in. I hope, by the way, 
everybody at the game last night, yourself included, took two showers because I know how stinky it gets around I did. those Boston folks. Uh, took a shower guy, last night? Took a shower today? You have to. It's like a, a, you, whenever you're around that many Boston people. Um, you were also around a Ray last night. One yes. that will be at the Trop today. I got a uh, word early on that the one and only Ryan Pepio was firing Pepio. off the te- Tesla coils, and that was so cool. What I really like about him, it, listen, he's done a great job on the on the mound so far for the race. Hopefully his success in spring training can translate to the regular season. He's immersing himself into Tampa Bay. Like, he gets it. Like mm-hmm. He's a part of Team Tampa Bay already. He hasn't even towed the rubber one time for the Rays yet. I love that. And that just gives me a lot of hope that he is going to be a contributing factor for this team, not just in the short term, but the long term as well. I want to get to this text here real quick before we hit this break. Mike in Tampa. Lilleberg with the best game of his young career. I couldn't agree with you more. You want to talk about a guy that went down to the minors, licked his wounds, came back up here, and is a guy that you can't take out of the lineup. That's Emil Lilleberg. On the point goal last night, there was two absolute hammers from the blue line. Lilleberg was shooting it, and Bobby the Chief Taylor and I and Eric Erlinson, we looked at each other like, damn, that young man can shoot the puck. He's got some skills back there. He's a physical presence. I just like the way the Lightning are playing right now. Back in action Saturday night. That gives you a lot of hope going into the postseason. Ten games away, Zach. And you know what? They're only two points behind the Toronto Maple Leafs for third place in the Atlantic Division. And they play them two more times this year. You know, after the game last night, Toronto does have a game in hand. But I love it. I think this works out so well for them. Yeah, I got to get on that meme, the objects in the mirror are closer than they appear, and it's the lightning coming after Toronto. You got that We're right bullying there. Beantown. Time to bully all of Canada next. That's right. Speaking of bullying Beantown, they're going to be the punching bag this year in the major leagues because that Red Sox team is stole a player. Dookie, Green Day style. <laughs> we'll come back. We're going to preview the entire AL East, Yankees, Orioles, Rays, Blue Jays, and that team from Beantown. Maybe we'll do that, too. It's Jay and Zach live here from Tropicana Field. It's opening day, baby. 95.3 WDA and AM 620. Welcome and happy opening day to everyone. The Texas Rangers, for the first time ever, are World Series champions. The World Series champion Texas Rangers welcome Cody Bellinger and the Chicago Cubs. Coverage begins tonight, immediately following Rays Baseball on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. North and southbound 75, a bit slow just north of I-4. Also, we're seeing delays on northbound 275 near Dale Mabry and a crash being cleared on southbound US-19 near Highlands Boulevard. One on Belcher and Drew and northbound 275 in St. Pete. It's a bit slow near 38th Avenue North. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. Real people are getting real and lasting pain relief at QC Kinetics. Who would have thought that I would be in better shape now than after I got out of the Marines at 22? It's great to be active again. I've played 36 holes multiple days in a row without pain. Everything is great. Are you tired of living with chronic joint pain? QC Kinetics uses cutting-edge regenerative medicine to restore and repair damaged tissue, natural healing agents from your own body, so your body can heal itself the way it was designed. With no pain pills, no steroids, no drugs, and no downtime. was super successful, and I recommend everyone seek out QC Kinetics as an alternative to surgery. Thanks to QC Kinetics, quality of life is just a lot better. Definitely changed my life. Call now to see if regenerative medicine could be the answer you've been looking for. The local medical professionals at QC Kinetics have proven protocols that can give you life. Lasting relief now, and the consultation is free. Call QC Kinetics, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations including Bradenton, St. Pete, and Lakeland. 813-305-3000. If you're celebrating a milestone anniversary this year, or just starting the process of picking out that engagement ring, welcome to International Diamond Center. At IDC, we're one of a few jewelers around the world with direct access to exquisite diamonds from Namibia. These are the highest quality, most brilliant diamonds on the planet. And with IDC's connections with the cutters, you can be assured of the ultimate in value with no middleman markups. And just as important as the brilliance of our diamond is the source itself. An IDC diamond comes only from specific mines that follow 
through strict international laws and environmental standards. Not only do we guarantee conflict-free diamonds, we are proud that when you purchase an IDC diamond, you are helping provide dignified employment, much-needed education, and necessary health care to African families. So come and shop with confidence at IDC. Confidence in the quality, the value, and the integrity of our diamonds. International Diamond Center. Transparency, honesty, responsibility. Learn more at shopidc.com or visit our showroom today in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Men. If you're suffering from erectile dysfunction or PE, Prestige Men's Medical Center has helped thousands improve their love life. Their breakthrough medical treatment, the Restore Wave Protocol, eliminates ED and PE without pain or surgery. Here's a specialist in men's health. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Have Viagra or Cialis let you down? A Restore Wave protocol at Prestige Men's Medical Center has men lasting longer than ever. 98% of patients see instant results on their first office visit. Prestige Men's Medical Center eliminates ED and PE. Their proprietary Restore Wave protocol restores your sex life fast with powerful results. Your consultation is free. Plus, the first 37 callers qualify for a free first treatment, and you'll see instant results right in the office. Call now. 813-288-2203. 813-288-2203. That's 813-288-2203. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Is switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon easy? Totalmente. And you get unlimited 5G data, $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan, at an amazing price with no contracts. Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely. Uh, I mean... Totalmente. Find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay, plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentice is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. After suffering an injury, you may face many hard questions. What will tomorrow bring? Which firm should I choose to represent me and my family? At Morgan & Morgan, we will hold your hand every step of the way. From our one-click sign-up, mobile apps, and 24-7 availability, we make it easy to get your case started right from the comfort of your couch. All firms are not the same. The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Injured? Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. An iHeartRadio sports report presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. For those who stand together and be the thunder each and every night. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellis Park. And the mighty 620, WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Lightning fans, free has never sounded so good. 
your one-stop shop for all things opening day in Tampa Bay. Live from Tropicana Field. Now back to J and Z. We are just over six hours away from first pitch. The countdown clock. They just put it up here at Tropicana Field. Jose Barrios and Zach Eflin, your starters today. It's opening day here at Tropicana Field, and we are live right here on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620, your home of the Tampa Bay Rays. It's Jay and Zach. That's Zach Blobner. I'm Jay Retcher here with you. John Dugas and John Mamola also here on site with us. We are live until noon today, and then the drive with Tom Krasnicki from noon to 3, and then we've got the inside pitch with Ronnie Lane from 3 to 3.30, the pregame show with Chris Adams Wall at 3.30, and then first pitch, 4.10. Andy Freed, Neil Solons again, right here on the home of race baseball, WDAE. How you feeling, Z man? I'm getting there. Uh, getting there. Got some water down. I'm gonna get a little hydrated. Water. Try to find caffeine and a bite at some point here, water. hopefully soon. What time the concession stands open? You got time, buddy. <laughs> yeah, plenty of time, but there's some good spots. I like the uh the daddy donut spot. Crush some donut. A donut sounds so good right now. Um I think I'll probably find my way over to Ferg's. Uh, probably closer to one, obviously. One, one, three. you. Yeah, we'll see. I got to, right now, I'm one minute at a time. <laughs> I'm just trying to, to get to, uh. Oh, we know. Get through it here, so. I blame Ronnie Lane. Yeah, I mean, it's just pretty standard. You're right, though. I, it's, it is on brand. I should have expected it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, shame on me for not. But we're here. We're ready. We're here. We're staying with the positive state. Let's take a trip around the AL East now, and let's look at some of the, on the teams. Listen, what, that, are we, what are we doing? Is it a horse? Is it a train? Is it a car? Sports car? Uh, What's our drive We're going to take a trip around the AL East. We are going to we're gonna go to a private jet. Oh, we got a we private do, jet? Come on, man. It's ain't, okay. no Mickey, it's ain't no Mickey Mouse out here. Okay. we got to go to Toronto. We're not taking a train from Tampa to Toronto. Yeah, you're right. Not happening. You're right. We're flying in the private jet, and we're going to go first – Let's go to Boston, okay? Get we'll go to Boston. For, let's just get it out of the way. Oh, there's stinks. that smell again. It there's that smell again, again, Jay. Oh, God, it smells what? like stale ass. Oh, it's terrible. Speaking of ass, God, the I Red think. Sox season, uh, they did steal a Ray yesterday, though. Dugas, what do you what do? You, do? you broke it to me. It was, you broke it to me yesterday. Uwasawa goes to the Red Ugh. Sox. Ugh. Good luck with that, folks. Have fun um, with that, bud. Look, I was excited that the Rays were able to scoop him up. Clearly, his spring was underwhelming, and he wasn't going to start, you know, with the big club. So he had the option, the clause, I should say, in his contract, where if that was the thing that happened that came to fruition, he would have the opportunity to look for another gig elsewhere. He did so, and he stayed in the division, and he went to Boston, a team that has opportunities out there because they're just not that good stacked this year in terms of their team, Jay? This is going to hurt, but I'm actually going to try to say some nice things about the Red Sox. Why? All right, Because I'm a professional, damn it. Uh, okay, there's some good things in their lineup, okay? okay? You're going to get this on video. This is me saying good things about Boston. If you're doing this video, you're damn wrong. I am not going to say a damn good thing about them. It's not happening. Sorry. Damn right. Last place. Rafael Devers, he's a hell of a player. I'm not even going there. I think Sorry. it starts and ends Ra- there, though. Rafi, you know what Rafi Devers is right now? What he's is he? Will Smith in that meme. <laughs> he's standing in the living room. There's no furniture. Xander Bogarts, where are you? Mookie Betts, where are you? All those guys are gone. He's just standing there looking around like, remember when I was a young kid and I was hitting home runs off of this Chapman, throwing 103 miles an hour? Now I'm stuck in a lineup where I'm batting second. And you got a guy named Connor Wong as the catcher, batting ninth. My starting pitcher on opening day is going to be Brian Bayo. It, listen, I hope that Boston fans out there are holding on to whatever the Bruins are doing, whatever the Celtics are doing, because the Red Sox are trash. The Patriots are drafting third. I'm not crying for them at all. But you better help. If you're a Boston fan, you better hope, because the Bruins ain't winning the Cup. But you better hope the Celtics win Celtics the championship this year. Good. They're phenomenal. They're great. Squad. But you better hope they win the championship this year, because if if that doesn't happen and they lose, let's say they lose to the Knicks, mm-hmm. ooh, that would feel so good. That would taste. That would smell so good. If they got bounced in the first round, and a one seed losing to an eight seed, and then they have to sit through the entire summer of that stank. 
up there at Fenway Park. Oh, God, that would be so great. I, I just got a message from the flight attendant. The jet is refueled. We didn't even get off the plane. We're leaving, Boston Jay. I That's know right. you're happy about it. Because as soon as you open the door, it smelled like straight ass. <laughs> and now we're going up to Toronto. Oh, I'm already happier. Just much to be better, in the sky. Right? Oh, look, at, look, it's cleaner here. It it's is. It's nicer here. It is much There's cleaner. actual Blue Jays flying around. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, Toronto is a very nice city. Uh, I got a chance to go there for the All-Star game. Mm-hmm. And uh, when people say, oh, it's like a cleaner New York, uh, I wouldn't agree with that. I think it's completely different. But it's super nice there. And I'm actually higher on the Blue Jays than maybe some other people are. I think this is the year they kind of take their game to the next level. I don't know if they're going to be world beaters as far as like contending for a World Series, but you look at the guys that they have in their starting lineup, now is the time, right? Bo Bichette, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., those guys probably batting 2-3. It's enough, right? That's enough. Like Enough with the, all right, you're too young, you're still learning on the job. You got George Springer, when he's healthy, one of the best leadoff hitters in baseball. I like the additions of Justin Turner. He's a professional. He's a professional hitter. He's going to help those guys. And also Isaiah Connor falefa He is a dude that when he played with the Yankees, I thought he was miscast. He's not an everyday player. He's not an everyday shortstop. He's the guy that can play a multitude of positions. And I think when you look at it, they may have the best rotation in the division. Gossman, Barrioso, we'll see today. Chris Bassett, Yusei Kikuchi. Uh, and their bullpen, anchored by a guy like Jordan Romano, I kind of like Toronto and where they're at. They're flying under the radar, and that's why I had them as a wild card team in the AL East. Look, again, I think their floor is so high because of their starters in the rotation, because of those big bats we know that show up in the lineup. The question, I guess, for them in terms of taking the next step, and I'm just basing this off of the one thing you and I were more critical about when it came to them last year, is their struggles on defense at times. Yeah, They're a team that you know maybe... They're fun, but they don't necessarily have the fundamentals through 162 to help them, you know, win the bigger series against the squads that are going to be competing for a World Series title uh, come October. And I don't know if that's going to be something we see necessarily improve. I'm with you. Like, I, that rotation is strong. Mm-hmm. And we know what Vladdy can bring and some of these guys in Bichette and the lineup and Springer and all that. But are they going to be better defensively? The one thing I'll say to that, though, Jay, and I do want to hear your thoughts on this, that is an area where hard work can improve it. Right. So if they put no. in the work, it should should be better. I'm really glad that you brought that up because I haven't really thought too much about that. Um, we talked about it so much last year. But, yeah, I know. And here's the thing. Matt Chapman's not there anymore. Yeah. So you have Isaiah conor Falefa, who looks like projected he's going to start at their yep. base. Um, and that's a downgrade. I don't care if he's going to start there or Agreed. not or you have somebody else. Agreed. Matt Chapman, is a, you're talking about an elite fielder. He's not mm. a good fielder. He's not a great fielder. He's an elite third Agreed. baseman. You're talking about a guy that, you know, Nolan Arenado is one of the best. And Arenado says, no, Chapman's the dog. Like, he's that, he's that dude. And now he's out. And I've been on record to say I think that's one of the biggest holes in Bo Bichette's game yep. is playing shortstop. He makes too many errors. His range factor isn't great. I... I think now's the time to maybe start looking to push him to second base, maybe getting a guy that can pick it a little bit better at shortstop. We'll see. I mean, they're going to need a lot of strikeouts, a lot of punch outs from their from their starting rotation. But, yeah, I, I didn't even factor that into it, but that's something to certainly keep an eye on. It's their Achilles heel. I mean, again, you can look at the rest of their roster and feel really good about it. I feel really good about getting back on this plane, though, and getting the hell out of Canada and back yeah, to the States. let's do that. All right, let's fly to the Big Apple and go to New York and see what the Yankees are up to. We uh, land, where are we landing again? Is where, LaGuardia? Where, where we, do you want to land? Well, we I, can go to LaGuardia. I, I, we can go. There's multiple places. Listen, we're not going to Newark. No. We're not flying. It's, it's LaGuardia or JFK for You us. want to talk about a place that stinks, okay? If you were ever a kid like me, there's Sugar Shane in the house. Horns up, baby. Sugar Shane in the house. You want to talk about a place that stinks? You want to talk about a place that smells? If you ever drove through Newark as a kid like I did, oh, my gosh. One of the worst smelling places on the planet. So, no, we're not flying into Newark. We're flying into LaGuardia. We're flying into JFK. You know what? Let's fly into Iceland. We'll go to my parents' house. Okay. I'll get you a bacon, egg, and cheese yeah. sandwich. John Mamola knows all about it. I'm in. Stuff a bagel. Mary, she's been working there for 30 years. She's going to take care of us for breakfast. We'll take the Long Island Railroad. We'll go out to the Bronx. We'll go to the Yankee game. And... Listen, Glaber Torres looks like he's going to start as the opening day leadoff hitter because DJ LeMahieu is banged up. This lineup, too many people are talking about, oh, they just got Aaron, uh, just got Juan Soto. It's more than Soto. They also picked up Alex Verdugo. 
their defense is going to be better this year because of Verdugo and also Trent Grisham. He came across in the deal with Soto that not a lot of people are talking about. Grisham's a damn good fielder. So now one of their Achilles heels last year, which was defense, especially in the outfield when you had Stanton out there, um, I think they're better than people are giving them the credit for. I have questions of the rotation after Garrett Cole, no doubt about it. But Strowman as your three? is a battler. I mean, he's a 200-inning guy. He feels his position. And the guys at the end of rotation, you may not know Clark Schmidt or Louis Seal, but those guys can throw. Clayton Beater might be in there. This team is better in a weird way than people think, but it's always going to come down to the injuries. Are they going to be able to stay healthy, and are they going to be able to put it together for 162 games? Yes, I agree. Um, I, I Again, I was high on them last year, so I think, and I know you always say, don't use last year to kind of make you feel good or bad about this upcoming season. I, I do worry, though, about how big of a step they can take forward. I love Juan Soto. I think he's one of the best players in baseball. That addition is going to help the club, period, point blank, Jay Retcher. That being said, I, I'm not as high on Stroman. I, I know he had some good things going last year with the Cubs before you know, the trade deadline, and, and he had a stronger season, but this is a guy who's been up and down the last few seasons overall. Right, uh, Nestor Cortez had a, a fantastic year a few seasons ago. I don't, Two years ago, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how good he's, he is these days. So after Garrett Cole, who won the Cy Young, and, and albeit is, is as good of an ace as you're going to have in this league, um, major questions for me on the pitching side of things, and Verdugo is another addition that I, I'm, I'm definitely not as high on. I, I just don't, I don't know how good these pieces are going to click, and and I wonder less about them on the field in terms of you know how they work as a baseball team. I worry about how they're going to be in the clubhouse under Aaron Boone and what the culture will look like. I just don't trust him from a managerial standpoint to rally this team, even with the addition of Juan Soto, in a way where I'm comfortable, you know, picking them to to. to to make a playoff or to, to be, you know, even second in the division. I certainly can see the route to it. Mm-hmm. I don't see a route where they're better than Baltimore. I, I just I think there's as many questions as there are answers still with New York. So I'm, I'm hesitant to, to buy in on the squad right now. You know, one thing, I, I, I think there needs to be a separation between Aaron Boone and his decision making when it comes to a manager and the culture fit. Because the culture with the Yankees, we haven't heard anything about that, any issues with that entire thing. And it seems like Juan Soto was, you know, they were at the Lightning game. Uh, were they at the Lightning? Yeah, they were at the Lightning game, a bunch of the Yankees, a couple of weeks ago. So uh, it seems everything is going well on that front. I look at this team, and I think a guy like Alex Verdugo is a big deal. I mean, this is a guy that has played under the big lights, playing for the Boston Red Sox. And the reason why I'm, I'm higher on Marcus Stroman than maybe other people, mm-hmm. he has experience playing in the AL East. He pitched for the Toronto Blue Jays. He had success there. And this goes into the argument that we had yesterday about Corbin Burns. Everybody's saying Corbin Burns is going to be a Cy Young candidate. Listen, man, when you pitch in the NL Central and then you get traded to the AL East, the best division in baseball, it's not an easy transition. A lot of guys struggle. So I have a lot more faith in a guy that's seen it before in Marcus Stroman rather than a guy like Corbin Burns who was pitching for the Brewers last year and you know is playing a bunch of young lineups in Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. I wouldn't be shocked if they had very similar numbers this year. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, again, I know I'll say this about the Yankees. They are logical gambles, I think, that they've taken, whether it's Stroman, Verdugo. Obviously, Soto's no gamble. He's a sure bet in terms of what he you can would bring. You would think so. But I, I think that the moves they've made are smart gambles from a roster standpoint. But they're still gambles. <laughs> and we'll see if they pay off for this club to, to, again, take a next step, not only to be a postseason team, to, but to be a dangerous one. And, you know, those are the new pieces. You obviously look at Garrett Cole and Aaron Judge on the pitching and hitting side. Again, as good as anybody in baseball in yeah. terms of that one-two punch. Uh, we got to hurry up to get on this plane. Cause Let's I, do it. I, I just got through TSA, man. I know how crazy it gets in these New York airports. We got to get out of here. Yeah, and a place that I've been to many, many times is the BWI, baby, the Baltimore airport. We'll head over there to see the Orioles, and this is a team that I think the consensus around Major League Baseball is that they're probably going to be the team finishing in first in the division. Uh, listen, their lineup is so good that they don't even need to rush Jackson Holiday up. You got Henderson. You got a bunch of these guys that can just do it all uh, offensively, defensively. They run the base as well. I am concerned about their pitching, though. I, I, I think that a lot of people are just looking at Corbin Burns, and they're going, oh, man, he's such a great pitcher. He did so well for Milwaukee. And, like, that's where it stops. 
Like, keep looking. Right, Grayson Rodriguez has got some good stuff, okay? But at times, he's a little erratic. Tyler Wells, Dean Kramer, Cole Irvin. Like, listen, Kyle Bradish, right UCL strain, he's done. John Means still recovering from his elbow surgery, and he was their ace a couple years ago. Will he ever be the same? I look at their 3-4-5, Wells, Kramer, and Irvin. I don't know. That, does, that doesn't necessarily scare me. It's not like you're rolling out that Phillies rotation years ago when they had Cliff Lee and Roy Holiday and Roy Oswalt and Cole Hamels, and you're like, you got four Cy Youngs. I mean, once you get past Grayson Rodriguez, I mean, are those guys three through five scaring you? I don't think so. Batista's out for the year, right, with an arm injury. So I, I think we need to keep things in perspective when it comes to this Baltimore team. Uh, I, I, I'm not – like, it's not as sure of a bet, I think, as people are th- are talking about. Again, I, I couldn't feel op- more oppositely. I think that the Orioles are going to be better than they were last year. And I think that you, you talk about the starting pitching – I don't necessarily disagree that there's trepidation to buy into what they are, but they've improved. And somehow they patchworked it together last year, and they were the best team in the AL East with a lot of the same names. Grayson Rodriguez should be taking a step forward this year. There's a lot of Baltimore fans that think by the end of the year he'll be their best pitcher. He'll be their ace, Um, ironically, even though they've added a guy like Corbin Burns. So for me, I look at that team. And obviously they're stacked. They're as good across the board hitting with as much. They have as much help as anybody in the league with their farm system and a guy like Jackson Holiday. So for me, it's just the lack of question marks. It doesn't mean that, you know, there won't be some struggles. Through 162, every team is susceptible to issues. And that doesn't even include getting banged up or injured where obviously you'll have to pivot and figure things out. I just think that Baltimore is built in a way where they can figure things out. And another aspect to their squad this year, Jay, we're talking about them on paper opening day. They're under new ownership. They're a team that can buy at the deadline. Baltimore's never been one of those squads. They've been like the Rays. Typically, they're you know picking here and there. Maybe they add a big name every once in a while if they're close enough, if they're competitive enough. With the new ownership group, this is a club that can already be the cream of the crop halfway through the season, get to the summer and say, we're also taking the best two free agents or the best two trade candidates, I should say. And that's new for them. That's new for that city. That's new for that team. So I, I just... Everything about them from ownership down to the water boy scares me about Baltimore this year. I do think they're the cream of the crop and um I, I'm not I'm I'm not worried about that narrative changing through one sixty two. Yeah, I just think a lot of their prospects come on the position player side. That's fair. And that's where I, I look at the pitching and listen, they were in first place last year. Mm-hmm. And they went out and they got arguably the best right-hander on the trade market in Jack Flaherty, and he didn't do much of anything for them. So they were in that position last year knowing that the new ownership was coming into play, got the biggest guy out there, and they didn't do anything in the playoffs. So, you know, eventually everybody wants to hop on the bandwagon of Baltimore thinking, oh, they're going to be the bee's knees. And I did pick them to win the division, but mm-hmm. I don't think they're flawless by any means. I don't. I, I'm, I'm not scared of this rotation. I have my doubts about Corbin Burns, and, and we'll see what happens. I mean, it's easy to look at a team and go, wow, man, look at all these different guys, and, and they're going to go out there and they're going to play their ass off and they're going to win the division easily. One thing we've learned about the AL East, it doesn't come easy. There's a lot of good talent. There's a lot of good pitchers. Uh, and, you know, you go on a little bit of a skid and you start doubting yourself early on in the season. It could be a very long summer. All right, good stuff there. Taking a trip around the NL. Uh, Can the we fly East. back to Tampa? I don't want to stay in Baltimore. We're, we're I don't want to stay in Baltimore. We're here in Tampa. We'll talk more Rays when we get back here on the other side. Man, we are broadcasting live here from wonderful Tropicana Field, five hours and 47 minutes away from first pitch. Here at the Trop, it is Rays and Jays. We'll have you, uh, there's our guy Jamie Ferrer. Hopefully Steve Carney will be walking around somewhere and we'll see him. I know there's a little cavalcade of stars up there in the press box now. More Rays talk on the other side. It's Jay and Zach. Don't go nowhere. Later today is opening opening day. day. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate. On the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. WDAE traffic update. Northbound I-75 has crashed south of Fowler in the right lane and another wreck blocking two left lanes north of Fletcher and traffic is backed up all the way from State Road 60. 
There are accidents on both shoulders southbound on the Veterans Expressway at Wilski Boulevard. A crash on Fletcher at 56th Street in Pinellas County. An accident southbound on US 19 near Highlands Boulevard in the right lane. See traffic problems? Call the traffic tip line at 866-545-9595. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. Guys, the weather outside is getting warmer. You want to be able to get out this spring and do the things that you want to do, but maybe your back or your knee or your shoulder is bothering you. That's when you have to pick up the phone and call my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, no downtime. Dr. Circuman and his team of professionals, they did a great job on my elbow a couple years ago, and then they did my right knee a few months ago. I feel great, as will you guys. You need to get your life back, courtesy of my guys over at QC Kinetics. Pro athletes have been doing regenerative medicine for decades. It's a life-changing treatment that is now available to you. So you can get out there, walk, run, hit the beach, play some golf. QC Kinetics can help you do it with no pain pills, no risky surgery, all natural solution. Get your free consultation right now, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon. 813-305-3000. Tell them T-Crest sent you. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hey, you got any gum? Yeah, check my backpack. What's this? Oh, that's naloxone. It can reverse an opioid overdose. I decided to always keep it on me after my friend almost died. It saved his life. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. That makes me want to have it with me, too. You totally should. Check the pharmacy. It was actually really easy to get, and it's easy to use. I definitely will. Thanks. Naloxone saves lives. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Annuity guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. DBA in Florida as Trajan Wealth Insurance Solutions. You pay your premiums, but the first time you try to file a claim with your homeowner's insurance, they won't pay. Don't give up. That's what they want. Instead, call for a free policy review. Fair and Farah, here for you, here for good. Tampa. The good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only at participating Wendy's. We sold our home for substantially more than we bought it for and skipped the costly renovations to fix up our home. Thank you, Mark Spain Real Estate. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here, and Mark Spain Real Estate, they're helping homeowners just like our listener, Caitlin, there, sell their homes fast and for maximum profit. If you're like Caitlin, you're ready to take advantage of this hot real estate market. My friends at Mark Spain Real Estate, they're the most trusted and experienced real estate team in the country. Find out what the guaranteed offer on your home will be today. There's no obligation. Go to MarkSpain.com, get a guaranteed offer. That's Mark MarkSpain.com and start packing. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at PinChasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun or it's on us. 
Ugh. After a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to JNZ. Welcome back to JNZ. Mac. I was going to say, so Dugas is in attendance here. Zach Blobner, Jay Retro, we're live at the Trop. We can't do it today because you're here, obviously. I want to get the Homer Simpson. Don't. And every time either of us says J and Z versus J and Z, you can just hit that uh, here. But we are at the Trop. It is opening day in Tampa Bay. Coverage on DAE presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drink, drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more info, go to cfbhn.org. J and Zach are live here at the Trop. And there are other games going on today, and obviously, you know, we've talked about, too, how the MLB season has technically already started because you had a couple games in Korea with the Padres and the Dodgers. We know that the Rays and the Blue Jays will be facing off today here on the Diamond in St. Petersburg, uh, but they're not even the first game of the day. We just talked a lot about Baltimore. They'll take on the Otani-less Angels. They still got Mike Trout oh, there. Oh, Otani-less. Otani list. I, I was trying to figure that out on the fly. 305 first pitch there to really get the day going, Jay, before that full slate of four o'clock games. I believe, too, John Walt says we don't read emails. I believe we have a game that is going to come on after today, right? We got more MLB coverage wow, following, look at you. following the Rays and the Jays nice today. Nice job there, bud. I believe it's the World Series winning Rangers, and oh, I'm right there. It's whoever they play. Chicago the Cubs. Cubs. Oh, the, the good team in Chicago. All right. Oh, and the birds are flying early are at flying the chop. Some boss you are, bud. Um, if you missed it yesterday, Jay and I actually went through the entire MLB season and gave our predictions and who we think. Uh, I believe we both liked, dang, now so good there for a second. I believe we both liked Atlanta out right. of the NL. And True. then I actually, again, makes sense because I was just talking to Baltimore. I like the Orioles to get to the World Series on the American League side, but you went with Old Faithful, Houston, who's been there a lot. Houston. Yeah, I got them winning the West and uh, representing the American League in the World Series this year before they fall to Atlanta. I just, I feel like complete teams. We both picked Atlanta to win as yeah, well in those I just, series. I like Houston's lineup. I think they play defense pretty well. Uh the starting rotation, it just seems like they have a bunch of guys that can go out there and give you six scoreless innings. And then I, I love the acquisition of Josh Hader. One of the more, under, I don't know how the best reliever yeah. on the market gets picked up and not too many people are talking about that. There's a lot of chatter about Texas and deservedly so as World Series champions, but that was 2023. This is 2024. A lot of people like Seattle. They, that's kind of the sexy under the radar pick in the AL. Uh, but I just look at Houston, tried and true. Strong up the middle. I, I trust Jordan Alvarez and Kyle Tucker. Houston's a beast. I They're would, a wagon. And I would say, obviously, outside of our game here at the Trop today, excited uh, for the Rays to get going and obviously the hometown local team here. The two biggest series today, probably Yankees and Astros. That's also a 4-10 pitch in Houston. And then, again, we'll have this game. But Cubs in Texas taking on the Rangers is a fun one at 735. So a night game there. But uh, would you agree those are probably the two biggest matchups on today's slate? Yeah, I, I look at those. I think they're pretty good. I, I look at San Francisco and San Diego. That's a okay. little bit of an underrated type of rivalry out there on the West. And, and I, I think San Francisco is going to surprise some teams. Uh, Logan Webb gets a start for you uh, against you, Darvish. So a couple of a decent pitchers there. Uh, 
San Fran, you know, they went out and got Blake Snell top of the rotation to pair with Webb. That's a, a dynamite matchup. And I also like St. Louis at Chavez Ravine to take on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Miles Mikolas on the bump for the Redbirds and then Tyler Glass now for the Dodgers. What what do they do? Like, what do the Dodgers do to start off the season? You're going and playing against a team. And we said this yesterday when we spoke about the Cardinals. A lot of good players on St. Louis. And they just seem like the last couple of years they've been underperforming. And when you have two cornerstones like Tyler, uh, Paulie Goldschmidt at first and then Nolan Arenado at third base, like you can't waste those years of having them together. Those guys were playing against each other in the NL West for so many years when Nolan was with Colorado and Paulie was with the Arizona Diamondbacks. You figure, man, that's dynamite. That's 250 run, runs batted in mm-hmm. every year. But what are you doing? Like how are you supplementing that power and that prowess that they yeah. have? Just they haven't done well enough. And listen, it's an important – Series for them to start out good, start out well. Saw the Dodgers too. Just extended Will Smith yesterday. Yeah, he's. I mean, he brought up a different Will Smith earlier, and it made me think of. No, him. it's true. I mean, what a <laughs> what a contract that Will Smith had. I mean, that contract slaps when you think about it. He was getting jiggy with it uh, last night after he found out that he made that much money. I mean, he's one of the best catchers in all of baseball. The guy's ridiculous. He's super solid, and he's a guy that can handle a multitude of arms: right side, left side. Guys thrown out of the pen like they always have legit arms even we talk so much about the Dodgers and how much money they're able to throw out there but they draft and develop so well Andrew Freeman's done such a great job where you can go out and bring up a Miller or Dustin May over the last couple years and you know they just do such a good job in their system of always replenishing the guys that they lose via trade or free agency yeah and and what I would ask you next I want to kind of this is off the beaten path but like I I, I'm not rooting for the Dodgers. I hate that they're stacked. I hate that Otani went there. Like, I, for me, there's so many aspects. And, and I can like individuals. Like, I like Mookie Betts. I like Freddie Freeman. I like Otani, even though he's, you know, got the gambling thing going on. Mookie Betts is probably my favorite player in the league. So, like, it's weird because I love all these guys individually. Glass now. Like, I want I want to see Glass do well. He's only been good to us here in Tampa Bay. And it, it wasn't like he chose to leave. You know, he didn't really have much of a choice in the situation. But, like, man, I do not want to see the Dodgers succeed this year. I want to see their players succeed, but not the Dodgers succeed. Like, how do you approach, Jay? And this is a good question for the text line. Barto, 4 GA text line, 82945. Players that go elsewhere. Like, I don't think anybody's going to be rooting for Uasawa in Boston. But a guy like Tyler Glass now, Nell in L.A. Like, do we still root for a guy like that? Is that something that you think race fans will be doing this year? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I think it's different when the guy goes from one league to the next. Okay. I mean, if you go and you stay, especially in division, Mm -hmm. and a guy from the, like when Crawford went to the Red Sox. Kiermaier's playing today for Toronto. I don't know because I think directly their success uh, kind of coincides with your team not getting, you know, uh, failing for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Red Sox winning, Yankees winning, it directly affects, you know, a playoff spot for a team like the Tampa Bay Rays. Tyler playing those games at night, playing the Dodgers, completely opposite the division. You go from the AL East to the NL West. Like, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Like, what is the Dodgers? They win 120 games this year. What does that have to do with the Rays? Really nothing. Yeah. No, I, I get it again. And, and I think it's always an interesting dynamic. When, it's a case-by-case basis. And I think with the Rays, obviously, because of how things are done here business-wise on the roster, like, maybe we're almost numb to it. I always – I actually, you know what I do, Jay? Outside of rooting, I almost treat it like a game. Like, how many former Rays can you name on the other team? Yeah. Because there's so many ties to Tampa Bay uh, because of, again, the way that they, they do business. Glass now is not even the only former Rays starting pitcher. Ryan Yarborough, obviously coming out of the pen for the Dodgers, but he's a part of uh, their bullpen, so we'll see him with them as well. Um, back to Blake Snell, a guy too, right? Like, Blake's a guy I'll be pulling for in San Francisco this year. I was pulling for him in San Diego uh, last season and, and, and since he's gotten there. So I, I, it's it's a fine line of like what to do with players once they were on your team versus where they go next. But I do agree when it's in division, I want nothing to do with it. Yeah, and you're right. There's like I, I wonder if you could construct a roster of all former Rays players, how good would they do? Like if you could say, all right, I got Longo at third. I got Kiermaier in center. My rotation is Snell, Glass now. Who else is out there? Alex Cobb. Like you got a decent team out there. Your bullpen of Stevenson, Diekman. It's a squad. Mighty Margot. Like there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot, man. Like I said, I, I like to turn it into a little bit of a game, right? Have a little bit of fun with it there, and um, I, I'm just happy baseball's back. You know, I I'm ready for my first glizzy. 
Did, uh, uh, did we get a? You, I know you were here earlier with Aaron. Did, does he have a final spring training count on the amount of glizzies that he had? I don't know. The I think it was count? the under. I don't think he hit as many as we were expecting. The glizzy count. Momola shakes his head. No. I think the glizzy count was suspended. Really? Yeah. You know what is suspended? What's the that? game on Sunday because the Rays they have a big time matchup with the Toronto Blue Jays. We got a four pack of tickets giveaway. Let's do it. We here. do impromptu. Uno, baby. dos, Let's tres, do right. cuatro. Let's do it. Four pack four of pack. tickets. To the game on Sunday between the Rays and the Jays, a 141st pitch. You got a question? 888-546-4620. Yeah, I got a question. What you got? If you were listening to Pat and Aaron this morning. Oh, we're going all the way back to Pat and Aaron. Which Rays player? I mean, Oh, man. Listen, our imaging is, if you're listening from uh, sunset to first pitch, even though I don't like the imaging, it says sunrise. (laughs) If you're listening to last night to today. uh, That's what you should be. I don't know. See, I got so thrown off. Uh, it says the sunrise. It's not the sunrise. It's just sunrise. But I should probably get that right. Uh, sunrise. From sunrise to f- uh, first pitch. First pitch, yep. Who did Pat and Aaron speak to today? What new member of the Tampa Bay Rays did they speak to today? You win that, and ironically enough, that was the same question that they used for their ticket giveaway. But Pat we are re- we are rewarding BJ people that pay attention and listen all day long here on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Who did they interview this morning on Pat and Aaron? Give us a call, 888-546-4620. Give our call, uh, give our guy Jason Barringer a buzz, and you could win those tickets. Uh, wrong answers, <laughs> not accepted. But some of the best wrong answers would be Carlos Pena. Carlos Pena. Uh, who else? Mike Zanino. Oh, definitely not him. How about uh, Anthony Bemboom? Boom, boom. Are we sticking with catchers? We'll go Travis Darno. Uh, we could go Toby Hall. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dan Johnson. Deoner Navarro. See, I, I'm trying to get away from them and try to go to the outfield. Uh, who's the guy we had for catchers? A, who's the guy we had for a game last year? Tapia? Ryamel Tapia. <laughs> Tapia. You got him? <laughs> Anybody have that Rays jersey? Uh, raise your hand. Yeah, that'd you be did. so great if somebody rocked a Ryamel Tapia. One game, jersey. right? Just yeah, in the postseason. I mean, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm going to go with BJ Upton. You see here? It's a, that's a good one. Uh, Wade Box. Fred McGriff. Let's go with Will McCracken. Oh, I, I Quentin McCracken. Or Quentin McCracken. Uh, how about my Pens. guy, Jose Canseco? <laughs> <laughs> Who brought up Jose Canseco? Oh, we were, we were joking about him yeah. yesterday. Yeah, he's a good one. Man, there's there's a lot. Um, let's go with Jason Bartlett. Oh, man, was he a fan favorite for a while His there. His double play partner, Akinor Uemura. There we go. It was so fun to watch there for None a of these answers are right, guys. Scott Casimir was my first favorite race player. Fantastic. Fun fact. Fantastic. How about Dewan Brazelton? <laughs> Brazelton. <laughs> That's a good one. Can we go uh, outside the box? Joe Madden. You could go th- that way if you'd like. How about Larry Rothschild? Want to go managers? Well, what if I do a little bit of both? Rocco Baldelli. Oh, never managed. Double dip, double dip. Never managed to raise. Well, we'll he take was, it. How about he was Charlie Mon- staff? How about staff? Charlie Montoya then? There you go. God, you, yeah, we want to break out from players. We can go through staffs. You're right. Is uh, is Click somewhere else now? James Former, Click, no. He was with Houston there. He has a World Series ring with the Strohs. Yeah. Click, Bendix. Bendix didn't even say goodbye to us. I'm a little he disappointed. Did. Andrew Friedman? The, uh, the OG, right? The On OG. On the front end there. They're still really tight. We, we heard that this offseason. Neander and, and him in the front office. How about That's Jim the, Hickey? Oh, love Jim. He he's lives locally. Best. He's retired, though, right? No, he came back in the game. Oh, he did. Back in. I know he's got a spot here locally. Uh, he loves this area. We love Jim Hickey. Uh, did we get a winner, v- JB? I was going to say Vince Namoli. Oh, team. man. Aaron just texted only two dogs. Real count starts regular season. Only two dogs? Okay. So that's, I told you, very underwhelming. He I'm, talks I'm For all that upset. smack he talked, I think very he had upset. less glizzies than I did this spring. Wow. Um, Glizzy, man. No, he had more than two because he had one with us in New York. So if That he, doesn't count. You it said spring training. Oh, it's got to be at a ball game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that doesn't count. All right. Well, then we're like, I think I had two. Aaron, can we get a glizzy count? Can we have like a Doug Wechter glizzy count for you? That's what I'm saying. You know what I was thinking about on the way in today, too, is uh, because I said this to you yesterday. I said if I'm counting Baker interceptions or if I'm counting quarterback interceptions in spring or not in the spring at training camp to slap me, I had a slap me list at the end of last season. I think I said if I if I get optimistic about the Rays come the postseason next year. Slap me. Oh, jeez. That was on the list. Those are the two things I think this on the slap just, me list. This guy loves getting slapped. Well, hopefully, I, so, that's your way of reminding me not to do those things. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you're not a great listener, so I don't know if that's necessarily <laughs> going to work. But you also, you 
You, what'd you say? That's a good one. You wanted to get hit by a golf ball so oh. bad at the Valspar. I still do. That's that's not on the slap me list. I'm not taking that off my dream. You know what's great is that we literally brought that up to every single person we spoke to at the Valspar. And we almost got a couple our way where you were sitting uh, you know who did? on the green on eight. Kevin Roy was like, don't do that. Dude. He, he had a good showing at the Valspar. Finished five, I think five under, did great. Yeah. He holed out a uh, long putt. I think it was on Friday on 18, which was great. Great time at the Valspar with, yeah, so the people next to my parents, mm-hmm. the, uh, one of the guys, like, the ball almost hit him. Oh, and that was like five so minutes lucky. before you got there. So lucky, dude. Yeah, it was wild. So so lucky. So does that, so my question is, is you want to get hit so bad with a golf ball. Yes. Does that apply to a foul ball today? No. Your dad asked me the same question. I'm like, great, baseballs. Great minds think alike. <laughs> must be genetic. Yeah. I was like, baseballs are way different, especially sitting here. I'm trying to think, like, if I was, no, because if I'm in the outfield and I get hit by a fly ball, that's just bad coordination. I'm not catching it. And I that, definitely don't want to get one, a liner screamer down the No, 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 but you're thinking line drive, okay? I'm yeah. thinking exit fila on a pop fly, because over here, you're yeah. probably not going to hit by a liner, but you're going to get hit by a fly ball. So, like, I want to get hit by a golf ball. I'd like to see a foul ball land on John Momola. I yeah. want to see how quick his hands are. Nice hands, feet. <laughs> All right. We're going to keep it fun, keep it lighthearted, because it's opening day here in Tampa Bay. Stay with us, Jay and Zach. We are live from the Trop. More fun coming up next. Later today, join WDAE as we welcome in a new era in afternoons across Tampa Bay and around the world. Buckle up for The Drive with t A new beginning for a new era of Tampa Bay sports conversation. Rays, Bucks, Bolts, and more. Join us and punch that preset for the debut of The Drive with t Live from Tropicana Field on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to, to be, be unbelievable. It's going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile. But you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium 20-inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. $46,699. We have 100 of these trucks or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F-150s. Please note, during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during trade 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. What sets International Diamond Center apart from those big box jewelry chain stores? The problem with big chain stores is that they're all run by corporate. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. That means the people at the store level just plain don't care much. At IDC, you're not dealing with a bunch of retail clerks. You're working with a true jewelry professional who's not on commission and not beholden to a bunch of corporate dictated rules and policies. When you're in big corporate world, everybody operates out of a manual or a big book of rules. At IDC, we don't have a manual telling our people how to deal with customers. We empower our people to take care of those customers in the way they would want to be taken care of. Get the respect, guidance, professionalism, and genuine care you deserve from people who put you first. We tell them point blank, do whatever it takes to make the customer happy, period. International Diamond Center, locally owned, internationally connected. We want them to take care of you, protect you, and make it the best experience that you could possibly have. In Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota, and always at shopidc.com. Guys, the weather outside is getting warmer. You want to be able to get out this spring and do the things that you want to do, but maybe your back or your knee or your shoulder is bothering you. That's when you have to pick up the phone and call my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, no downtime. Dr. Circuman and his team of professionals, they did a great job on my elbow a couple of years ago, and then they did my right knee a few months ago. I feel great, as will you guys. You need to get your life back. 
that, courtesy of my guys over at QC Kinetics. Pro athletes have been doing regenerative medicine for decades. It's a life-changing treatment that is now available to you. So you can get out there, walk, run, hit the beach, play some golf. QC Kinetics can help you do it with no pain pills, no risky surgery, all natural solution. Get your free consultation right now, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, 813-305-3000. Tell them T-Crest sent you. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6759. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-6759. That's 800-575-6759. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. La vida es tan confusa. Me gustaría tener a alguien con quien hablar sobre cosas difíciles. Escuché que beber es malo, pero no sé por qué. No muchos de mis amigos lo hacen, pero los medios hacen que parezca que todos los jóvenes beben y usan drogas. Háblame, mamá. Puedo manejarlo. Estoy decidido a ganar. Si necesitas consejos para iniciar la conversación, visita Central Florida Behavioral Health Network en cfbhn.org. Comprométete a ganar con tus hijos. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. What if every time you filled your tank, someone gave you a high five? Well, at Chevron, we've got the next best thing. When you download the Chevron app and sign up, you can save $1 per gallon on your next three visits with Chevron Rewards. You'll also earn reward points on every fuel transaction action and qualifying in-store purchases at participating Chevron stations. More earning, more savings, ultimate high five. Download the app to get started today. Terms and conditions apply. See ChevronTexicoRewards.com for more details. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports. Shouting go Bulls with horns raised for over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WTAE, live from the trough. Now back to JNZ. Opening day in Tampa Bay coverage on WDA presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more info, go to cfbhn.org. A very special guest joining us here at the table. I like to call him Esteban Meat. Everybody out here calls him Steve Carney, cp 9com What's going on, buddy? How are you? Happy New Year, boys. I'm, I I don't know about you. you. I know you guys have been out here since 9 o'clock watching uh, Taj Bradley and the likes uh, yeah. th- uh, play and catch as he comes back from his pec strain. But uh, I, I certainly, uh, this is always my favorite day of the year. It's like Christmas and my birthday rolled into one, and I get to watch baseball doing it. Yes, sir. And he came up with the motto <laughs> for the rebranded show that Go we're ahead, on Carney. right now. So, you know, this this show had been J and Z mm-hmm. f- since its inception. Mm-hmm. Right. And when I saw that you guys were rebranding mm-hmm. and you were going to call it J and Zach, mm-hmm. 
which I like. I, 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 I like that. But I was like, they're obviously bringing the cool factor back because they're restoring the AC. Ooh. All of it. JB clipped that. We're going to add it to our intro. Uh, thank you, and thank you for being here, man. It's always a pleasure Beautiful. to talk to you. You know, I, and I'll say this, like, part of opening day for me is in Rays baseball is chatting with you, Steve. Is having to see my ugly mug. Well, <laughs> I just saw you last night, Steve. I know. Jay saw, <laughs> Jay saw me at Emily Arena last night. So. I, I, fair. I do see you a lot more during baseball season. Yes, but, you but, do. But, you know, that's... That's because that's you, baby. You're baseball. You are Rays baseball. You're here. We're going to be talking a lot of Rays baseball with you. And, you know, let's dig into it and just give us generally, like, your expectations this year with this team. You know, it's it's funny, Zach, because there are a lot of people that are saying, you know, this team is going to be great. They're, you know, you know we're looking at another 98, 96, 100-win team. And then you've got the people that are like, no, this team's going to be like a 70-win team. And I'm not <laughs> in that. I'm not in that camp either okay uh, i am i'm in the camp and i've said this all along that i think there are four teams in the dis, in this division that have this opportunity any one of them can be in first place when the 162 game season comes to an end any of them can be in fourth place wow and i think all four including of them, baltimore including baltimore okay. because it's a 162 game season you never know what the hell is going to happen you know Adley Rushman and Gunnar Henderson may, you know, collide together going after a foul pop-up and, and clash knees, and all of a sudden you've got four torn ligaments and two knees between the two of them, and oh my God, what the hell do you do then? Other than go get Jackson Holiday and bring him up. But, uh, you know, I, I really do think that that's the beauty of the 162-game season is anything can happen. And so I think that the Rays are uh, at a point where, you know, you have to be able to withstand injuries, and they've withstood all of them. You know, all of the elbow injuries that they've had, all of the, you know, the ACL tears, and you know, the allegations of sexual misconduct with underage girls. I mean, they've dealt with it all. Yeah, and they, and they're at a point where you still can go. This team should still be comp- should still be very competitive in the most competitive division in all of professional sports. We're going to hit this break. Steve, hang with us. We'll sure. talk to you for a couple minutes on the other side as well. I know we got Mark Topkin coming in the 11 o'clock hour as well as our final thoughts on the Rays and opening day. Don't go anywhere. We are live from Tropicana Field. It's Jay and Zach here on 95.3 yep. WDAE and AM 620. Welcome and happy opening day to everyone. Rangers for the first time ever our World Series champion. The World Series champion Texas Rangers welcome Cody Bellinger and the Chicago Cubs. Coverage begins tonight immediately following Rays baseball on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the whatever it takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. Northbound I-75 is hammered because of a crash in the right lane south of Fowler. Another wreck blocking two left lanes north of Fletcher. Have an overturned vehicle blocking the entrance ramp from Kennedy Boulevard to southbound 275. Accidents on both shoulders of the southbound Veterans Expressway at Wilski. A crash on Fletcher at 56th Street and wreck southbound on US-19 near Highlands Boulevard in the right lane. See traffic problems? Call the traffic tip line at 866-545-9595. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by McCall Pest Services. Call McCall. They do it all. You got 99 problems, but a bug ain't one. All thanks to McCall. Whether it's bugs, termites, mosquitoes, or wildlife, call McCall. Visit McCallService.com. They do it all. That's McCallService.com to tell pests bug bye. Man. If you're suffering from erectile dysfunction or PE, Prestige Men's Medical Center has helped thousands improve their love life. Their breakthrough medical treatment, the Restore Wave Protocol, eliminates ED and PE without pain or surgery. Here's a specialist in men's health. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Have Viagra or Cialis let you down? A Restore Wave protocol at Prestige Men's Medical Center has men lasting longer than ever. 98% of patients see instant results on their first office visit. Prestige Men's Medical Center eliminates ED and PE. Their proprietary Restore Wave protocol restores your sex life fast with powerful results. Your consultation is free. Plus, the first 37 callers qualify for a free first treatment. And you'll see instant results right in the office. Call now. 813-288-2203. 813-288-2203. That's 813-288-2203. A fraction of a raindrop 
three grains of salt at up to 100 times more potent than morphine. The tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose. Fentanyl can be mixed into heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, meth, and other drugs. It could be in your drugs, and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. This is your invitation to plug into a lineup of Lexus electrified vehicles built at the intersection of performance and design with a range of options to fit any lifestyle. A feeling this electric is invite only. Fortunately, you're invited. Experience the elevation of electrification and some of the best offers of the year on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event, now through April 1st. See your Wesley Chapel, Tampa Bay, Clearwater, and Sarasota Lexus dealers. Inventory may vary by dealer. At Target, count on our great deals just in time for Easter. Save $5 when you spend $30 on toys with Target Circle so you can fill their baskets with fun, like cuddly stuffed animals or 50-piece sidewalk chalk, all from only $5. Add an Easter chocolate faves at BOGO 50% off from Cadbury to Reese's Mini Eggs and more. And get great family picks with new Easter looks. It's easy with 20% off dresses, polos, and more. Hop in fast for our best Easter deals, only at Target. Restrictions apply. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. I started using when I was 13. It was like, oh, well, they're medications. They can't be that dangerous. I didn't even realize that I needed help until like the day that I got arrested. I have been able to accomplish a lot in my recovery. I just want to be happy and I want to thrive in my life. If you're struggling with prescription opioids, there is hope. Recovery is possible. Contact Central Florida Behavioral Health Network at cfbhn.org. Central Florida Behavioral Health Network is a managing entity contracted with the Department of Children and Families. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. Bye-bye! 
The home for every pitch of the 2024 Tampa Bay Rays. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellas Park, and the mighty 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey Rage Rage Fans. Fans, free has never sounded so good. Your one-stop shop for all things opening day in Tampa Bay. Live from Tropicana Field. Now back to J and Z. Welcome back to Tropicana Field. It's Jay and Zach here on 95.3 WTA and AM 620. We're joined by our guy Steve Carney. CP9.com. I'm only going to say it once because I'm not going to forget it like those other nincompoops yeah. this morning. <laughs> uh, yards and stripes under the orange roof, doing yeah. a little bit of everything. And Carney joins us here today as we take you to noon. Tom Krasnicki, the drive from noon to three today. Uh, and then, of course, we have the inside pitch. Am, am, I, am I okay to still call it you freaking people with Tom Krasnicki? <laughs> YFP? Yeah. You can call it YFP with uh, Tom Krasnicki. You freaking people. That's a yeah. segment right there. YFP. Yeah, it sure, certainly was. Uh, yeah, interesting <laughs> You know, show yesterday from the Hard Rock. So many great people that were uh, leaving messages and, you know, excluding myself. Uh, but it was weird, like, hearing Tom be nice to listeners and... Yeah. They were a little emotional yesterday. It was emotional. Bro. Like, it caught me off guard. Yeah. That was, that was, what am I listening one, to? One too many smoked old-fashioned yeah. spritzy grass there was before, no, you, before the show was ended. Was there any you freaking people? No, he was uh, He was very appreciative. He was yeah. very... Him and Ronnie both. I mean, we get, again, Ronnie's always that way. But of I course. think they were both very emotional in, in terms of, like, their sincerity of, of just, again, being thankful that they were able to do what they did for so long. And then to see the outpouring of love, I mean... Bucks players are posting videos, right? Like Pete Fairbanks is calling in. Yeah, I mean, how yeah. great, how great Steve is that? Steve Griggs from the Lightning gave him a shout. Like it was just, it was cool, man. It was cool to see all of that. Alex Golish left a voicemail, even though their USF fans are kind of pissed at him right now. Yeah, they're not happy. They're still mad today. It's still going. So you're saying USF fans are jumping the ship from the <sighs> the drive? Oh, that's what they're doing. I mean, they are pissed. I was, I was trying to. F- Fly the DAE flag yesterday. <laughs> I, I gave him a I gave him a good five ten minutes of my life and that was it. Uh, yeah, I, uh, what happens? Uh, horns there? up. That's all. That's all I got. Well, yeah, we almost got crushed last year from Tyler Glass. Now this is why I brought Springs is the one this year. Watch, watch it. Well, I think we'll warn you, Carney, because you're back to him. So I got. Well, it. I was gonna say maybe I'll, maybe I'll just turn around because at Go least ahead. if he hits me in the face, it'll be an improvement. Oh, oh come on, <laughs> come speaking on, of, bud. Speaking of improvement, I mean, but the. The final thing on the the, mm-hmm. the final Ronnie and T Crash show, mm-hmm. I'm so glad that my soundbite of Kevin Cash made it all the way to the end. It, it's it's one of the it's funny. I was I was saying to to Jay last night. I'm like I still have the original on my phone, yeah. the unbleeped version. I got oh, look. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, we got fireworks. Oh, sparks flying. Oh my god. Goldberg. Goldberg. Gilbert. Gilbert. <laughs> that was Gilbert. <laughs> Two guys going for it. I, I still get questions from people about that Kevin Cash clip. They're like, where did that come from? Why was he so mad? Like, what happened? He, he wasn't. Mother, that's everybody. the funny part. Well, he I do wasn't t- mad. I, I remember because you're the one you, I was producing at the time. So you, yeah. you gave me all the clips. I remember sitting in the old building in the dugout. In, in the bullpen, excuse me, and you were working on the clips, and you were showing me them all, and you just went around to each person, yeah. and you kind of gave them the, the quick context of yeah. what you were looking for, and that was what it was jesting. That's how Kev is when he's, he's his guard is down. He's just kidding around. But yeah, it was it was hilarious, and and that, and then he goes he goes, and I go, you know, well, I'll I'll take it, you know, I'll make sure we delete. It. And he goes, and he goes, well, I, I said I'll oh, delete it. I said oh. I'll delete it. And so, so, and he goes, no, 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 send that to him. Because <laughs> he gets the show. He got the show. Yeah, yeah, he did. And so he's like, and I'll do an, I'll do another one that we'll use for the, the start of the when they moved um, yeah. into the I mornings. Think it was in the mornings. Yep. That's how long ago this was. And so it was like, okay, I'll do another one. You know, congratulating them, and then we'll use this one. You can use that one for the show. When when T. Kraz says something bad about the, the Rays, and you can play that, and you play that sound drop. And, um, and to that point, we'll pivot back to baseball here. At the time, Kevin Cash, a young manager, we mm-hmm. didn't know what to expect from him. Five straight playoffs. Yep. And Jay and I were talking about this. I feel like the fan base is very divided on Kevin Cash, and whether or not he's helping or hurting. Given the playoff struggles, 
He's a two-time manager of the year. We yeah. know, we know, Steve. But you see it. You're on Twitter. Like, there's still I, people that blame Cash for everything that goes wrong with the Rays. Um, your thoughts on Kevin, the job he's doing, and his future in Tampa Bay? Yeah, I I think that Kevin will be here as long as he wants to be here. You know, there was the there may have been the opportunity this past off season mm -hmm. if he wanted to go back to Cleveland to replace Tito Francona, who was retiring. They he decides no, I want to stay here. The the Guardians go and they hire a former Ray and Stephen Vote to be yeah. their manager. So uh, I I think that Kevin, you know, he's from here. We all know that. You know, the the kids have grown up here. Yeah. You know, he was saying we were talking yesterday. He would been coaching his son JD's little league team during the off season, you know, you know, through through the whole thing and he's a little overqualified for that. Stuff. Oh, you know, he, he was joking about how, you know, he never worries about at bats here. You know, he never has to worry about Yandi or Randy or Rosarena or anything. But yeah, I guarantee you that he ends up being a nervous wreck when JD oh, comes up and goes, like, you know, come on, you got to get ahead, boy. You know, you got to show that you hit better than your father. So, but I, I really do think that for Kevin Cash, he should be here as long as he as long as he wants right. to be here. And I would say that the you can credit the success to the players. You can credit the failures to the players. With with Cash, and I look at. The whole the way baseball works is you you get you measure the success in the 162 games because it's so long. You know anything can happen, and if you're that successful that often in 162 games, that shows you're a successful manager. Once you get to the playoffs, everybody is good and all bets are off. It's a short season or it's a short series. You know you're playing best of five, best three of five, best four out of seven. Anybody can win a four out of seven series. Why Why haven't the Dodgers won more than just the 2020 World yeah. Series? Why haven't the Yankees won a World Series since 2009? So, I I mean, if they, if they were that great, if, mm -hmm. if it was all about money and the amount that you spend on your payroll that, that equaled success, the Dodgers, the Braves, and the Yankees would win every single year, and there's no doubt, and there's no doubt in my mind. So I, I think that you have to give a whole lot of respect to what Kevin Cash has done to help shape what this team looks like in the clubhouse and on the field. Steve, what's the one storyline, the one narrative, the one player where everybody's thinking one thing, but you're thinking the other? Where where are you zigging where everybody else is zagging? I think Brandon Lau's going to have a huge year. Okay. Um, I think... You know, talking to him yesterday, you know, the back feels good. He said this is the best his back has felt in years. He so. had a backyotomy in the yeah, office. Doctor, doctor yeah. said he needed a backyotomy. Thank you, uh, uh, Dr. J. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Samson. Samson. Uh, um, what a so, doctor, Samson. <laughs> so uh, I, I think that I think Brandon Lau is going to have a huge year. I'm, I'm talking, you know, a couple, you know, what was it, 2021? 20, mm -hmm. He had the 39 and 99. I, I think I think ago. he has. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a while ago, and he's mm -hmm. had a lot of is issues injury wise. But I think he gets back to that forty and one hundred type level as a as a hitter this year. Yeah. So when we talk about Brandon, though, it's always the caveat of if he stays healthy. Mm -hmm. What gives you confidence he'll do just that this season? Well, I think that you have to take him at his word that he mm -hmm. has changed. Um, you know the ways uh, the way that he's worked out and tried okay. to make sure that he is. Uh, able to keep his back strong. Uh, I think that that a lot of core, uh, a lot of it is a core muscle thing. So, you know, you kind of have you kind of have to take the player at his word at that time. I ain't in the weight room with him. Uh, I'm yeah. not, I'm not I pushing. It, I, I mean, this body ain't pushing up the plates. That's for sure. So the only plate I'm pushing I was is, gonna say, is the dinner is yeah, the yeah. dinner plate toward me. I was gonna say you are pushing the plates. I don't know if it's those. I love these two. But. Uh, but I, I think you have to you have to take him at his word, and I think that Brandon Lau is the guy that I think will end up being the piece that we see uh, make up for the Luke Rayleys and yeah. like that that are not here this year. And I know one thing Jay and I talk about is leadership. You brought up Richie Palacios on with Pat and Aaron. I thought it was very interesting that he specifically talked about Brandon Lau, Pete Fairbanks as well. Everybody keeps doing that. Every time. And, and it was Kiermaier, now it's Brandon Lau. All these guys. We can lock that in. Right? He's, yeah. the, he's the old man in the in the in the clubhouse right. this year. He, <laughs> yeah. In he, the was, he was like he was like he was talking he said yesterday that he's like I'm I'm talking to these guys and he's like, Yeah I'm I'm 19, I'm 20. He's like, man, I'm 20 
29. Oh. I feel old. I'm like, shut up. I'm 46. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm older than your manager. Stop trying to make me feel bad. Beautiful. Steve Carney, stpete9.com under the orange roof. Yards and Stripes does a little bit of everything. He's probably going to be here uh, if you're following him on Twitter slash X at Steve Carney. I like I like calling it Twix. Twix? Because it, it, it sounds like a snack. I like it. I'm hungry. Why wait? Need some food. Is that not Snickers? Nah, I don't know. I'm not a candy bar guy. Steve, we appreciate it, man. You're the best. Thanks, All right, Steve. boys. Awesome. Happy, happy New Year. Yes, sir. Likewise, brother. Good stuff there with our guy Steve Carney. Always a pleasure to catch up with Steve. Again, part of uh, coming back to the trot, back to Rays baseball starting this season. And, yeah, I, again, I know I just talked about it, Jay, but and we talked about this with Dinar Span. Um earlier in the week like who are the leaders who is going to step up yeah but we even heard brandon's name last year pop up like he, certainly did he is one of those guys we worry about it less on the pitching side because i think there are names even you know guys that are banged up like can still lead mcclanahan's rasmussen's um but it seems like brandon's going to be one of the guys both on the field and in the clubhouse steering the ship yeah and, and you know my concern is you know you have to be able to lead from the front mm -hmm. you have to be able to lead from the field and that's mm -hmm. one thing where we heard a lot from a guy like Kevin Kiermaier in the last decade or so where, you know, a great leader. He It seems like Brandon took a lot of the things that KK used to do and is now, you know, acting you know acting those things out now in the clubhouse. But the one thing about KK is, like, you got to leave from the front. You got to be on the field. You have to be available. And it's the same thing for Brandon Lau. I do agree with Steve. I think the more games Brandon plays this year, the more – Fact, I mean, the more contributions he's going to have. Like, this isn't the guy like, well, if he plays more, we don't know what it's going to be. Is it going to strap? I mean, look at the proof. When the guy plays, uh, he does have some issues. You know, he does slump. But, man, well, he's going well. I mean, there's, is there a better, more powerful hitting second baseman in baseball? I don't know. And, and I think we can both agree, regardless of if we expect it to happen, that if we get to the end of 162 and this team flat out, outdid our expectations and played better this year than many thought or had them wins and loss wise that it's because of Brandon Lyle was healthy and because he looked like the guy from 2019. He's Fair? such a huge part. I mean, he's such a huge part of this entire thing. Uh, and it's weird because I listen to all the shows here on DA and Pat said something similar. And I believe uh, T. Cry said something similar as well about Brandon Lyle being the X factor. So I couldn't agree with those guys more like this team. This lineup is going to go as far as guys like that. Now, is a guy like Yandy Diaz as important? Yes, without a doubt. Randy Rosarena, they are not in a place right now where they can afford any of those guys to miss an extended period of time. They need all hands on deck. They needed that before guys got banged up, but especially now that Josh Lowe is not in the starting lineup because he's on the injured list, and you have other guys like Jonathan Aranda. You heard Brady North. If you missed that, it'll be up on our page, jnz.com. Jonathan Rondo was one of those guys where they were expecting, right, this is the year you take that step. This is the year you go from AAA to, to a guy that can contribute in the big leagues, uh, and now he's not available. So you're going to need Yandi and Randy and b -Loud. Like Those three guys, to me, those are going to be your leaders. They have to punch the clock, play 135, 140 games if this team wants to get back to the postseason. And again, I, I want to mitigate and manage those expectations on the front end of this year, Jay, and we were just talking off – uh, air about the timeline to return for some of these pitchers, but also guys like Jonathan Aranda, you know, DeLuca, like they're all going to hopefully and expectedly be back by the summertime, if not by May. And that goes along with Taj and Shane Boz, who are supposed to be back in May, Jeffrey Springs potentially in late June, Drew Rasmussen maybe sometime in July. The expectation for McClanahan is, is really not until next year. They're not going to bring him out, regardless of if he's you know, healthy in August or September, I, I think that that's kind of been something they've taken off the table. And I'm going to take them at their word because they didn't do that with Glass now. They didn't do that uh, with Shane Boz last year until the end of it all. But for them to on the front end say that about Shane, they feel like they've already made up their mind. Regardless of Sugar, you look at those other guys, though, that are going to be back on the mound, and we talked about, again, Johnny Aranda and some of these players. This club needs to be about 500. I mean, if you're better, great. If you're having a great start, great. But in terms of when this team can maybe turn the corner, I see it as this summer. So, you know, I'm not looking for them to come out and be 13-0. and I'm not looking for them even in this first week with four against Toronto and three against the reigning champion Texas Rangers, you know, to, to be 
five and two or six and one. I mean, you know, you want to get three to four wins and you want to kind of steady the ship until these guys can be healthy again. Yeah, and I wonder if we're going to look at the beginning of this race season very similar to the way we looked at the beginning of the Lightning season, where we knew that Andre Vasilevsky was out for a, a considerable amount of time. He missed the first 20 games or so, and the whole focus when it came to the Bolts were, was hold down the fort. Hold down the fort, Matt Tompkins. Hold down the fort, Jonas Johansson. Hold down the fort until Vasi comes back. And then when that happens, okay, then you start kicking on and everything else uh, starts working out. I believe that's a similar mindset for the Tampa Bay Rays. Until you get Taj and Boz and Springs and Rasmussen back and Josh Lowe and guys like that, just you, you can't make the playoffs in March and April, Zach, but I think you can miss them. So don't yeah. fall into a place where you're 11 and 25, you're 11 and 30, like where you're way behind because this is not the division. And, you know, we speak about it with the Buccaneers. Part of the reason why they were able to go through that yep. skid in the middle of the season because nobody else really pulled away in the division. The division nobody in that division was winning 11, 12, 13 games. That's not the same mindset for the Rays. Like, you can't get 20 games behind at any point in this season because teams like Baltimore, teams like the Jays, teams like the Yankees, like, they're they're going to beat up on bad teams. And right. they're not going to be – I don't see those teams, you know, under 500. And for me, again, I hate to go in circles, but it brings us back to Brian Lyle. He can carry his team for, for a week or two at points. Well, hopefully he's doing that early on because they're going to need him to. They're going to need his bat to be there. They're going to need him to be healthy. They're going to need him to lead some of these youngsters like Palacios, um, you know, in the clubhouse. So I look at it, Jay, and again, I, I think the writing is on the wall for what has to happen for this season to go right in this. And it starts in these first few months. Um, you know, I, I wish I felt better about those things happening. I'll mm-hmm. say that. And I, I told you all week and all month, I'm like, I hope we get to opening day. And by the end of our show, which is at noon, that I feel much better about this team. I, I feel about the same as I I have to be honest. Yeah, I, I I don't. I think I feel a little bit better about them just knowing that they they can do a decent job here in March and April. Just not getting to, they're too good of a team. It's the same reason why I said I didn't think that the Lightning were going to miss the playoffs. I just felt that they were too good. There's too many pieces there. I feel like this race team, regardless of what they don't have, they're too good to go in the tank. They're yeah. too good to go 11 and 30. The tank's right? close, by the way. Yeah, there's the tank right there. <laughs> I just feel like they're going to be able to hang around. All you want to do if you're the Rays is give yourself a puncher's chance, right? Right. Stay around. Stay around. And I think if they can do that, <clears throat> they'll have themselves in a position in the second half of the year where, all right, you get these guys back, maybe you make a couple deals at the deadline, uh, and you put yourself in a position. Now three wild cards, like you have opportunities to be able to – Make the postseason kind of like a boxer, right? That you know, hang around early, man. Hundred percent. I think that's don't get hit with that knockout. That's punch. what we want to see from the Rays this year is is like a boxer mentality out of mm-hmm. the gates for these first weather the storm, literally mm-hmm. and figuratively. All right, when we come back on the other side, some of our final thoughts on the Rays and opening day, and we'll look at some of the games, other games as well, and. Uh, talk about what else is going on tonight. So maybe drop a little Sweet 16 action in there uh, when we return. And maybe we'll get another guest or two. But first, Jay and Zach for the Golden Diamond Source. Do you know that in June of 1984, Stephen Weintraub founded the Golden Diamond Source's first location? Well, over the years, Steve expanded to nine stores as far as Atlanta. Now, after many years, the Golden Diamond Source has consolidated all of that inventory into one standalone building, becoming one of the largest family-owned fine jewelry stores under one roof in the entire country. I bet you didn't know that Steve founded the Golden Diamond Source over four decades ago, selling gold-plated sand dollars. Well, the lovely Julie Weintraub joined forces with her husband, and now they're both celebrating the Golden Diamond Source's 40-year anniversary. Yep, and they're doing it in a very cool way. Actually, a few cool ways, Jay, if I'm being honest. The first of which to commemorate this occasion is that the Golden Diamond Source selling gold sand dollar jewelry. And on top of that, the proceeds are going to support Julian Steve's foundation, Hands Across the Bay. It's something you and I have seen at work in our community. It's great to have that foundation, and it's great to see what they do with it. And for the 40th year anniversary as well, the Golden Diamond Source offering up to 40% off select jewelry items. Pretty cool there. With gold prices at an all-time high, Perfect time, y'all, to trade in those broken and unworn pieces. Go over there. Get something new, something stunning. Impress somebody in your life or, you know, maybe some me time. Just do something for you. Unlock the value in your jewelry box. Either way, and do it today. If you're going to buy a diamond, you got to do what we do on Jane Z. Make sure it's a golden diamond source time. And Jay and Zach, for the golden diamond source, don't forget to visit them. 3800 Almerton Road in Clearwater. Always online at thegoldendiamondsource.com. Play ball! 
The most complete rundown on all things baseball across Tampa Bay and around the majors. It's the Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Swing and a drive. Deep to left. Go! Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. 60 minutes before every weekday race game. Right here on the radio home of every race game in 2024. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The home of the race. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE. Traffic update. We're bumper to bumper northbound on I-75 from the Selman to south of Fowler, where a crash blocks the right lane. And then another wreck blocks two left lanes north of Fletcher Avenue. Have an overturned vehicle on the left side of the entrance ramp from Kennedy Boulevard to southbound 275. And if you see traffic problems, call the traffic tip line at 866-545-9595. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by McCall Pest Services. Call McCall. They do it all. You got 99 problems, but a bug ain't one. All thanks to McCall. Whether it's bugs, termites, mosquitoes, or wildlife, call McCall. Visit McCallService.com. They do it all. That's McCallService.com to tell pests bug bye. What's old and new and red all over? Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo, a large pizza smothered with old world cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Only $9.99 and available for a limited time at Hungry Howie's. When doctors recommended a fifth knee surgery to Bill, he was desperate to find another solution for his chronic pain. Having children, being close to 50, I started getting a little nervous going under anesthesia. That was one of the biggest proponents for me to try this. Bill discovered QC Kinetics and the all-new natural biologics that help the body heal itself, restoring damaged tissue, addressing the root of the problem head on. I did it on the knee. It really became life-changing. It has brought me back to an effective age of most of my 20s and 30s. Turn back the clock and experience the relief that QC Kinetics provides patients for aching knees, elbows, hips, and back. Modern solutions that don't involve surgery or steroids. Right there in the office, no downtime. You know, I don't feel 50. I feel a lot younger. There are other solutions for your pain. Call QC Kinetics, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, Bradenton, and Tampa. 813-305-3000. We are connected connected internationally we have relationships in the diamond industry that go back decades sources all over the world international diamond centers owner keith leclerc explains how idc always offers to beat anyone else's price on a diamond we buy direct from the cutters we pay cash and we just don't believe in typical jewelry store markups with his background as a wholesaler keith says idc's business model is based on lower margins and higher volume we're not here to sell you something for a quick buck so it comes down to better sourcing and low margins Markups. That's why we guarantee the best value price. If you're buying a diamond engagement ring or any fashion jewelry, come experience a refreshing alternative to the typical jewelry experience at IDC. We're here to offer the right price on every piece of jewelry that you buy from IDC. Real value from real people. We'd rather make a little bit and keep you as a customer than make a lot of it and lose you as a customer. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. And online at shopidc.com. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile, but you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen and premium 20-inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. $46,699. We have 100 of these trucks or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F-150s. Please note, during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during Trade-A-Thon 2024 at Branded Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. 
La vida es tan confusa. Deseará tener a alguien con quien hablar sobre cosas difíciles. He escuchado que beber es malo, pero no sé realmente por qué. No muchos de mis amigos lo hacen, pero los medios de comunicación hacen que parezca que todos los adolescentes beben y consumen drogas. Háblame, mamá. Puedo manejarlo. Estoy decidido a ganar. Si necesitas consejos para iniciar la conversación, recurre a Central Florida Behavioral Health Network, tu entidad gestora en cfbhn.org hoy. Comprométete a ganar con tus hijos. Guys, the weather outside is getting warmer. You want to be able to get out this spring and do the things that you want to do, but maybe your back or your knee or your shoulder is bothering you. That's when you have to pick up the phone and call my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, no downtime. Dr. Circuman and his team of professionals, they did a great job on my elbow a couple of years ago, and then they did my right knee a few months ago. I feel great, as will you guys. You need to get your life back courtesy of my guys over at QC Kinetics. Pro athletes have been doing regenerative medicine for decades and it's a life-changing treatment that is now available to you. So you can get out there, walk, run, hit the beach, play some golf. QC Kinetics can help you do it with no pain pills, no risky surgery, all natural solution. Get your free consultation right now 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon. 813-305-3000. Tell them t Crest sent you. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anajar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to J&Z. Welcome back to Jay and Zach here at the Trop. We are live, ready to roll, and excited about opening day. And we're going to keep the fun going here. Tampa Bay Rays team president Brian Ald on with us. What's up, Brian? How are you today, man? It's a great day in Tampa Bay, man. Pretty sure excited. Is. Sure is. is it, opening day never gets old. That's like one of our favorite things. And we, I know we ask you every year, but like the butterflies still come, right? Absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, 18 straight sellouts, I think, for the organization. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't even, uh, 16 opening days for me. It's been it's been just awesome. I'm really excited. No, it's more than that. 18 too. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I love this. It should be a national holiday, really. Like, I don't I understand. Agree. Like, when people I are like, agree. you have something else. Like, what else do you have going on today? It's baseball. I've had at least a few texts in my uh, in my inbox of people pulling their kids out of school. So, yeah. Love things, that. Some, some folks treat it like a holiday, which we appreciate. And think I love every, that. Everybody should embrace. Agreed. That's, you you to guys that's have good. to work. You that's and me right. have to work. I know. But to me, people think, oh, that's bad parenting. I say, that's I, great I, parenting. I agree. It's great parenting. Those memories last Priorities. a lifetime. I mean, oh, our, yeah, man. I think a lot, and Jay and I talk about this a lot, a lot of what our love for baseball is rooted in is family yep. and going to games you know I, I remember my dad pulling me out of school and bringing me actually here quite a bit and, and those are not things that go unnoticed in your life like you can think back on them and I think that's where a lot of fandoms rooted probably absolutely look it's we're, we're lucky right not everybody's got a baseball team we have one right here in our backyard uh, getting kids out getting them to experience it creating those memories is the whole purpose of it and baseball is every day, all season long, right? Opening day is the really big, exciting moment, but um, there's opportunities for families all year round. The pace of the game allows for all that interaction while you're watching. Uh, it's just kind of a different vibe, and uh, and we're thrilled to embrace it. Brian, how have you seen that, too, in your time with the Rays? Because one thing when people talk about, like, the generations, right? Like, this is still, like, now kids that grew up as Rays fans, now they're bringing their young children to the game. And, you know, it's still a relatively young franchise when you think about it. And it, it takes generations to be able to continue to populate the fan base. How have you seen it grow over the years where you have examples like that? Where you're like, well, wow, it's pretty cool to be able to see, like, 
kids that used to, or guys that used to be kids, bringing their kids to the games now. Yeah, you're giving me goosebumps just <laughs> talking about it um, because that's the future that we see, right? And it's so appropriate for Tampa Bay, too. Um, I talk all the time about how the, the Rays matter more to St. Petersburg and, and Tampa Bay than the Yankees do to New York. Mm -hmm. Just because of the size and where we are in our development, um, this project that we're uh, endeavoring to, uh, to take on here in St. Pete will change the city in a way that Atlanta, New York, Detroit, they're just not changing in that way anymore. We're, we're growing, we're becoming something, and it's so exciting for the Rays to be a part of it. Generational fan base is the reason we believe it's all going to work. No doubt. And I told you on the way in uh, from Plant City, a long drive, I passed many billboards that said hashtag here to stay. And we know that that is what we want to do here. We want to keep the ball club around. Um, here to stay. We're still confident that that hashtag holds true. We are confident. Uh, we've struck a, a great deal, one that's good for the city, good for the county, has the county administrator and the mayor all the way behind it. Um, but obviously we need those votes. Uh, I'm going to make sure that we do all the work that we can to make sure everybody understands every aspect of the deal, um, that the details are clear, that, that our elected officials know what they're doing. Because quite candidly, we don't want to move forward if we don't have public support. We need everybody behind this to make it work. Uh, I believe we're going to earn that support. Um, but uh, we're not going to take our foot off the gas, so to speak, to make sure that we do everything we can to, to see it all the way through. Is, is it clear? You mentioned clarity there in the details. Do you think that that's kind of what is the linchpin holding things up, maybe a little bit on the political side right now? Yeah, look, politicians have big decisions to make. They've mm -hmm. got very important jobs. Our city council and county commissioners no different. Um, grateful for their public service every day. Um, the amount of time that they spend just trying to make sure that our community is responsive to, to its many needs um, is something we should all really appreciate. And this is a big decision. And so I, I get that they want to take their time. I get that they want to know all the details. They want to look at the ins and outs. Um, just hope that when all is said and done, they realize what, what I firmly believe, which is that this is going to be something that projects our entire region into the future Future in a way that is really positive um, and we got to keep our team here right mm -hmm. there's uh, there's folks in Oakland who are just not as happy yeah. today as everybody around here is and uh, and we are just so excited this, this is the first opening day I've been sitting with you or anyone else and thinking hey we're gonna be here we are gonna be here mm -hmm. to stay I feel really good about it and we have an, an actual plan um, now we just got to see it through yeah one of our discussions that we had in the past that you guys were so transparent about it of like Listen, my family's here. Like, I don't yeah. want to uproot my family. I see you guys at the Rowdies games over at Al Lang. Like, it's not as far as the business side and what your profession, that's one thing. But you as a dad, you as a, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this, this area means a lot to you as well. Exactly. Whenever anyone asks, you know, hey, you guys just want to move somewhere else. It's like, well, all of our fans are here, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't spend 20 years under Stu's leadership putting winning teams on the field to then yank the team away from our fan base. But just as important, yes, yeah, selfishly, like we live here. We love it here. Um, all of our staff live here. This is this is where the Rays are, right? So why not keep it here? Why not uh, build something that can contribute not just to the Rays' success, but the overall region's success? Um, we had some really great events come through here this past year, like the WWE. Yeah. You know, and Chant continues to, to be great. And when we build this next facility, and it's got the proper acoustics for concerts and festivals, um, Kathy Wood, one of the, the premier investors in the country, was just talking about the possibility of bringing something like South by Southwest to St. Petersburg, wow. which is a multi-week festival. That she's here. That so many other businesses are doubling down. That the economy continues to really um, grind away here in, in Tampa Bay is the reason that we're comfortable making this bet on the future. It's really exciting. And, and one thing I go to bat for you guys quite a bit, pun intended, Thank you. is the fact that you're listening to the fans. I know sometimes they don't feel that way, but we talked about it. The concert series is back, right? This is year two of that being back. You got some things coming through. Um, Family friendly is something you guys put a lot of effort into on the game day experience side of things. And and for those out there, you know, they, they just want to be heard. And I think you guys do that, correct? We try really hard. Yeah. And appreciate you going to bat for mm -hmm. us and, and, and vouching for us in that way. Um, yeah, we run this team for the fans. Uh, we've got to make a buck, right? We've got to be able to put over $90 million on the field this year. You know, it's not an easy business here in Tampa Bay. Selling tickets is, is tough work. Um, but it's one that we embrace and it's one that we really want to get all the more behind. And for as long as I've been doing this, again, this is the first time when if, if you've got a season ticket right now, you could feel really good about the team staying here for a very long time. It's always been such a delicate and difficult dance to do with our fan base about the need to generate more support, the need to be honest about the predicament we're in within the league and, and how revenue sharing works and the challenges we face in the Yankees and Red Sox and, and where our future home was going to be. Um, being candid about that while also making sure that we convey that, hey, we do want to be here and we do appreciate everyone who shows up and we do, um, we are grateful for the support that we get uh, has been 
a, a rough one for me personally and for a lot of us. But that should all be behind us now. Now it's about getting pumped up, getting everybody here excited, and uh, you know we're we're ready to take season ticket deposits for the next few years and uh, in the new place too. I know how important the success is to as far as the excitement for the fan base, but I think you look at a guy like Randy Arozarena and the marketability and Randy Land. Like when you see a star that's growing like that, World Baseball Classic, just his overall disposition. Like, how much do you guys as, like, an organization go, we got to capitalize on this thing because it really is, for lack of a better term, kind of like a gold mine because he plays well, he continues to interact with the fans. It's kind of a win-win for everybody. Uh, yeah. Randy has been incredible, right? Look, 2020 was one of the most extraordinary performances by any athlete in any sport ever, which I think almost goes unrecognized yeah. uh, given all the other stuff that he's done. And then he comes out in the WBC and becomes a real star. That he has Cuban and, and Mexican uh, roots and both, heritage yeah. now in addition to loving this region. Um, we had his brother on the Rowdies for a long time, which was really cool too. He loves this community. Uh, and it's funny, our creative arts department talks about how they're spoiled because you can throw Randy in any ad <laughs> anyway. He just, he just drips cool. And, uh, and so we've got that thing going for us also. I know uh, we had Stu Sternberg on during Race Fan Fest, compared him to Evan Longoria just in yeah, terms of big. what he's doing for this franchise right now. It's a big deal. Yeah, he's the kind of guy who can throw the team on his back and carry you for weeks. We're certainly hoping him and a few guys on the field can do that. He is Brian Ald, Ray's team president. We're going to keep the uh, car wash going. I got some of your friends over here that apparently you tag, want to You got to tag Matt Silverman. We're, we're getting here, the yeah. wave behind you to, to, to move to the next guy. But, Brian, sincerely, man, we appreciate your time and all that you do, not just for this team, but this yeah, community, man. Hopefully it's a good opening day for us out here. Appreciate you all, too, and thank you to all the Rays fans out there. Uh, let's have an incredible 2024. Might as well uh, make this one the, the best year yet. I love like that. It. I love Thanks, that. Brian. He is You're Brian Ald. Thank Always you, a pleasure to catch up with him. If you don't see him here, you might see him at the Rowdies games, too, because I know he's, oh, yeah. a, he's a constant goer over at Al Lang Stadium. John is telling us to stretch. This is on-air production, one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I, I, I think we're keeping the car wash going. Yeah, Matt's Richard. coming over next. I know, Matt. As soon as he's done with his convo. Thank you, Brian. Matt's watching the skipping of, I don't know who's out there. Oh, there's, I want to see, what, what's the coffee order for Matt Silverman? I know. Uh, it, looks, it looks like a black, black coffee. Black oh, coffee. Oh, my guy. I like my, my bourbon black, and my coffee. Black coffee? Straight. Straight bourbon? Straight and black coffee. All right. He is Matt Silverman hopping on. We know, what's the coffee order here? We got to know. Uh, black coffee. My God. Always, always. Always I love black. It. I love it. Nice. Living clean. There That's you the go, way to do man. it, man. That's the way to do it. I, I saw something the other day when it, it was this video of like all the benefits of coffee, and they're like, you add this one thing in there, and it ruins it all. And I was like, please don't say creamer. Please don't say creamer. And they were like, just a little bit of creamer. I'm like, oh, no, nothing. <laughs> Matt, opening day, man. We're so excited to be here. I mean, it's just, just I feel like we have the same, con same question, same conversation with you and Brian every year, but... It's just it's such a blessing to be able to be here on opening day. There's only, you know, half the teams in the league have the opportunity to be able to do something like this and there's excitement. I mean, even just looking at the turf, like there's an added uh, juice to the season this year. Yeah, I don't know if Brian said it, but what we we like to make sure that the trop is better every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Even though it's aging, uh it gets better every year and now we have this new turf, this Looks beautiful good. turf. Yeah, it just adds a little extra charm. Uh it feels more like a baseball stadium with uh with the pattern on it. So you know, it, one of the benefits of having a dome, we can start opening day here uh, if we want yeah. to, and, and we like it. We, li we just love coming out of spring training and going straight into the season here at home. Yeah, and we like it, too. I mean, I, I think the lines are a nice improvement. It looks great. Um, it really does. And you're right. Every year there's there's something, if not, but there's usually multiple things. It's not just one thing. The video board, I know last year was improved. It still looks fantastic. Um, you know, one of the things I always like to bring up with you, Matt, specifically, is what the Rays do in the community. And there's so much work to be done. Obviously, I run into you with the Positive Coaching Alliance quite a bit. But this franchise is rooted in community in a lot of ways. I don't think we talk about enough. But now's a great time to do that. Yeah, it's a great time to talk about that. Um, and opening day is a you know a, a celebration. Uh, fans get to, uh, to to celebrate baseball and what we do. Uh, but I think a lot of the fandom that we have and the fact that our fan base is growing is because of all of that community work that we do. And so many people's lives are touched by our community work or they know someone who is or they know someone who's involved in a board that the Rays serve on a board. And, you know, 
if you do it for one year, you don't make much of a difference. You do it for two, you start to. We've been doing it for twenty years, mm-hmm. and you know, you, you you plant those seeds, and now you're starting to see the the real benefits in our community. But they're great organizations that we you know we support year in and year out. We're about to announce the, our community fund grants, which, which is a five thousand dollar grant that nice. we make to um, upwards of twenty organizations. Those are smaller nonprofits, but what's great about it is we get to know them. We start funding them, and hopefully those grow into even bigger partnerships. But you know, feeding feeding Tampa Bay is one of our big ones. Uh, I work with Starting Right Now, which is a, a nonprofit that helps homeless kids. Uh, graduate high school and move on to college or the military or vocational school and the Rays Baseball Foundation has been a, a great supporter uh, of that for you know 15 years now. Yeah, there's so much that goes into it, right? The, whether it's the charity work or on the field and yeah. just a fan in, I, I was just asking Brian about Randy Rosarena, but it just seems like there's more interactive things. Uh, my girls love going to, it was after Sundays and getting yeah, their face the painted, the too. balloons, like that little that stuff goes a long way, running the bases like this is the kind of thing, that's how you grow the fan base you cultivate the the farm system you plant those seeds and 15 20 years from now they're taking their kids to games yeah and then it's actually one of the things we talked about with uh, the new ballpark and the development of, of this gas plant district is creating a world-class destination and creating a place that people can live and work and play and we we want jobs where kids who go to high school here and go off to college, they want to come back to Tampa Bay. Yeah. And 15, 20 years ago, they, we didn't have those jobs, those industries, that destination. Now, we, you know, we're, we're a first-class city. And instead of kids graduating college and going to Dallas or Atlanta or New York, they're, they're choosing to come back home, which is awesome. And that, you know, for a sports team, that's gold, right? That's 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 how you get those generational. You think about the fans in Boston who they grew up in Boston, their grandparents Ooh. grew up in Boston. Now we have fans whose parents grew up here, and they're going to raise their kids here. And you start to really cement that that attachment that uh, that drives fandom, and that's why we're so excited about this project that we have. And we did talk to Brian a little bit about it, but but on that project, I, I think to kind of put it in perspective for people listening, the timeline. And I know even Stu went fan fest was like, we use the phrase shovels in the ground. I cannot wait for a day in Tampa Bay where we stop using that phrase for at least a few decades. You um, want to be there. I, I do. I want to see. I want to hold a shovel. I don't have to put it in the ground, but I want to hold a shovel. I'll hand it off if I have to. <laughs> that has to happen by the end of the year, right? Because of the timeline with the lease up in 2027. So just for clarity on people that are like, well, where is the, the timeline at? That's that's yeah, it. And we're on track. We're, we're looking for city council and county commission votes in the, in the next couple of months. And that would allow us to be you know, in the ground uh, at the end of the year. And we need that to be able to open here in 2028. So the timeline is secure right now. We don't have much no, much wiggle room but but i think we're on track at this point good stuff race president matt silverman we always appreciate your time man thank you so much your man right. matt thanks guys good stuff thank you so much exciting day here and this is uh, what i love about opening day is when like the groundswell more and more people come good stuff all right one more segment to go we got top is topper gonna come on with us or with uh t crez i don't know i think he's trying to he's trying to be on tom's show yeah, for first be, guest on the new t- the drive with tom crez nikki i knew it was special with top and wearing a suit today i get that <laughs> all right <laughs> that's before, how you know it's opening day before we hit uh, this break and give you our final Final thoughts, I got to tell you about my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, Craft Cocktails expanded wine menu and located just a few blocks from Emily Arena, then the Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You got to try those grilled wings and Ebar Egg Rolls fan favorites. And they've got healthy options too. Don't forget sushi grade ahi tuna. They're tunable and the power play salad. Just an incredible atmosphere. Trust me, there isn't a bad seat in the house. For more info, visit TopShelfSportsLounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, Jay, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat in downtown Tampa? And my first answer are always Top Shelf Sports Lounge. Later today, join WDAE as we welcome in a new era in afternoons across Tampa Bay and around the world. Buckle up for The Drive with t A new beginning for a new era of Tampa Bay sports conversation. Rays, Bucks, Bolts, and more. Join us and punch that preset for the debut of The Drive with t Live from Tropicana Field on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. 
Guys, the weather outside is getting warmer. You want to be able to get out this spring and do the things that you want to do, but maybe your back or your knee or your shoulder is bothering you. That's when you have to pick up the phone and call my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, no downtime. Dr. Circuman and his team of professionals, they did a great job on my elbow a couple of years ago, and then they did my right knee a few months ago. I feel great, as will you guys. You need to get your life back courtesy of my guys over at QC Kinetics. Pro athletes have been doing regenerative medicine for decades. It's a life-changing treatment that is now available to you. So you can get out there, walk, run, hit the beach, play some golf. QC Kinetics can help you do it with no pain pills, no risky surgery, all natural solution. Get your free consultation right now, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, 813-305-3000. Tell them T-Crest sent you. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. A no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 admitted. Life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Do you have an old AC unit that you know needs replaced? Hoffman Electrical and AC is looking for the oldest air conditioner in our service area. Enter our oldest unit contest and you could win up to $6,500 toward the reimbursement of a new AC system. To enter our contest, visit our website at hoffmanelectrical.com slash oldest dash AC dash unit. Fill out the form by April 30th for your chance to win. Don't wait. Visit our website today to enter. It's time to sign your kids up for summer camp at the YMCA for friends, fun, and adventure. At YMCA Summer Camp, I made a lot of friends. I had a ton of fun. And the adventures, the adventures are the best part. At YMCA Summer Camp, there's a ton of activities like soccer, swimming, basketball, arts and crafts, gymnastics, and so much more. Find your friends fun adventure at YMCA Summer Camp. Register online at tampayMCA.org. Let's camp. This is your invitation to a masterclass in engineering and design. Your ticket to go from zero to 60 with the Lexus Performance Line. A feeling this dynamic is invite only. Fortunately, you're invited. Experience the exhilaration of the Lexus Performance Line and some of the best offers of the year on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event, now through April 1st. See your Wesley Chapel, Tampa Bay, Clearwater, and Sarasota Lexus dealers. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. 
Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, the home for Team Tampa Bay over over 20 20 years years and counting. counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE, live from the trough. Now back to JNZ. Open day, Tampa Bay coverage on WDA, presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse talk. They hear you. For more info, go to cfbhn.org. This is Jay and Zach here on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. We are live at Tropicana Field, and we welcome in the Chief Business Officer of the Tampa Bay Rays, Bill Walsh, joining us. Bill, thanks so much. How excited are you? It's opening day, man. It's amazing, isn't it? That's right. Got goosebumps again. It's always a fun day here. We're really pumped. Yeah, and listen, there's so many great things that are going on. I mean, what what are what are some of the things that you're most looking forward to? Not just today, but this entire season. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's going to be lunchtime. We were just talking about some food. <laughs> I think that's that's always one of my favorites. You know, we we've um, the concessions here at the Trop are outstanding. The culinary team every is fantastic. year, every, every year, year you guys take it up a notch. We're always rated in the top five in, in Major League Baseball in mm-hmm. terms of concessions, food and beverage. So you know, this year's no exception. We're rolling out some fun new things. We've got a Korean corn dog, which Ooh. is an all beef hot dog with fontina cheese and spicy mayo Whoa. and all kinds of yummy stuff. We did this pretzel dog last year. Oh yeah. Was the, you know, they hand toss the dough oh, yeah. in the morning. Delicious. We're bringing that back. And actually, that was so successful, we built a whole stand concept around I it called love Twisted, that. which is all kinds of different pretzels. All pretzel stuff? So we got Sign sweet and savory. We've got it's the home of the, the pretzel dog now. So that's out, out on the porch. So, um, yeah, we're, we're pumped. There's some delicious new items, uh, you know, as always. I think we've got a short rib cheesesteak, which is uh, really, really delicious also. So now I'm, now I'm really getting hungry. My stomach's ground. I get short ribs wherever I go. If it's a it's short not a bad rib, move, yeah, never. I mean, it's a, <laughs> right. Oh, oh I disappointed. I got the short rib, and it wasn't good. Never. <laughs> Isn't there some self service areas too right now? Yeah, I saw know, that. We we we're always trying to push the boundary mm-hmm. with technology, right? I mean, the last thing anybody wants to do when they come to a baseball game is stand in line. Yeah, and so we're mm-hmm. always working on ways to improve that and make that better for folks. Last year, out in the porch, we put uh, the shortstop out there, which was the first checkout free uh, concession stand here. I think in the entire Tampa Bay area. Yeah. Um, it ended up being the most successful uh, store that uh-huh. this company ha- that this company has in their portfolio. Wow. So it just shows, you know, don't don't underestimate our fans. They really they really appreciate the convenience of things. So we're doing some more of that this year. We've got some self checkout um, uh, options around the stadium as well, just to try to get folks, you know, back to their seats as quick as we can. Remember when everybody was losing their mind? They're going mm-hmm. cashless. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh! And now it's like that's the only way to go. Mm-hmm. There's still opportunities to, you know change your money out here if you have cash and be able to put it on the car but it's pretty wild how you know sometimes fans may be a little trepidatious when it comes to the change not even by half the season by like a week into the season everybody's like yeah we're using our card anyway yeah you know you got to go step by step this is a journey though right i mean it's not gonna not gonna happen overnight but we try to do things more and more things every year invest in the building invest in the fan experience and you know you're working towards that day hopefully soon uh when you can walk in the building without standing in line and get food without standing in line you just get to maximize your time here talking my language there and that's inside the stadium i know there's a lot of things going on outside of the baseball as well concert series is back race five k you got the themed nights tell us a little bit about some of the things happening uh, outside of the baseball this year yeah it's been really fun to see the growth of some of these the 5k we just started last year i think we're up over 1100 1200 registrations already um that's just i'm among them he's one of them among them i run my mouth and my bill wife. I'm bringing my sorry wife bill i only run my mouth buddy i don't run i can't run like this guy it's all right it's something for everybody yeah. you know um the you know, kids club is is almost mm-hmm. sold out actually yes. so nice. folks are interested in joining that you get free tickets with that yep. um kids can eat for free when they come out to the trap so you know it's really really fun to see some of these programs really come into their own and be so popular with fans. But we've got $10 tickets coming back every game this year. They're still available for this weekend, too. People think they're they're sold out. They're, mm-hmm. no, they're not. You can still get $10 tickets um, each of the games this weekend. Sold out today, obviously. Um, we've got Randy Land coming back every Friday night. We've, it comes with a T-shirt. Hopefully he hits a home run. You get free beer. <laughs> um, we've got all kinds of fun giveaways, promo items, uh, ballpark passes back. You know, if you want to come out to a lot of games, you want kind of that ultimate flexibility, $49 a month, you can come to as many games as you want. You can't beat that, man. That's incredible. All the stuff, RaysBaseball.com, all the information on there. Bill Walsh, the Chief Business Officer for the Tampa Bay Rays. Always so good to see you. And job well done, my friend. Appreciate you, Bill. You continue to, you know... uh 
just it changes for the better. And you know, to keeping things like the pretzel dog, it just shows you that this organization I love that. is I love listening that. to their fans. Enjoy opening day. Thank you guys. You too. Thanks for being here. Good stuff. All right, man. Let's uh, wrap it up here. For I'm ready for Field. baseball, man. I am too, man. This is. I just. I, I say this a lot. Baseball is the heartbeat of America. It really is. Day in day out you punch the clock you go to work and that's what baseball is you go 0 for 4 you go 4 for 4 you still got to go to sleep and then wake up the next morning and do it all over again i'm i'm excited man hopefully they can start things right zach Eflin, go out there and throw some gas baby i love i love seeing all the injured players out here we saw deluca we see taylor walls out here josh lowe all the pitchers, a lot of good stuff there. A big thank you to John Mamola, John Dugas, Jamie Ferreira, our guy Jason Barringer back at the iHeartMedia Empire. We're going to turn things over to the vroom, debut vroom, of the drive. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Tom Kraz Nicky. Going to be good. He'll take you to 3 o'clock. And then the inside pitch with our guy Ronnie Night Train Lane. For Zach Bobner, I'm Jay Retcher. We'll be back on at noon tomorrow right here on Jay and Zach, 95.3 WDAE. And AM 620, we are gone. Peace out. Thank you for listening to Jay and Zach. If you missed anything from today's show, head to the Jay and Zach blog at 953WDAE.com or listen to on demand podcasts on the free iHeartRadio app. Stay tuned. The Drive with T Crass is next, live on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. At QC Kinetics, we have story after story of patients freed from agonizing pain through amazing regenerative treatments. But this one, Well, it's special. My father, who is 70 years old, had both of his knees worn out. He went to an orthopedic surgeon who said, you need both of your knees operated on. We can book you for next week. That's Dr. Daniel Zuckerman, medical director for QC Kinetics here in Tampa. Had him come to QC Kinetics. We treated both of his knees using our protocols with regenerative medicine. Within a few months, he was back to walking. A few months later, he was at the gym exercising three times a week. He can keep up with our three and a half year old little girl. No surgery no complicated rehab or downtime. It's completely life-changing for him. You have options too. Before they whisk you away to surgery, slow down. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon. 813-305-3000. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crass sent you. It's time to sign your kids up for summer camp at the YMCA for friends, fun, and adventure. At YMCA Summer Camp, I made a lot of friends. I had a ton of fun. And the adventures, the adventures are the best part. At YMCA Summer Camp, there's a ton of activities like soccer, swimming, basketball, arts and crafts, gymnastics, and so much more. Find your friends' fun adventure at YMCA Summer Camp. Register online at tampayMCA.org. Let's camp. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Last is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. At Progressive, we know how much you love your recreational vehicles, so we decided to record this commercial in an RV. With a family on vacation. Mom, who are these people? Oh, that's Chloe and Jamie. They're recording a commercial, sweetie. Don't they do that in the studio? Oh, normally. Enough. But we wanted to feature a family who bundled their home and RV and saved with Progressive. Um, yeah, it looks like you're all out of chips. Okay, I think we'll just drop you off at the next gas station. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. Why settle for plain old vinyl? When the Fibrix window from Renewal by Anderson is twice as tough, it's also Energy Star's 2023 most energy efficient window. Limited time offer. Buy one Fibrix window or patio door, get 140% off with zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for one year. Restrictions apply. Minimum purchase of three units required for discount. Renewal by Anderson. A better way to a better window. 
Visit rbafla.com. License number CGC 1527613. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The home for Bolts Nation as the chase for the Stanley Cup is on. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellis Park. And the mighty 620, WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Lightning fans, free has never sounded so good. Live from Tropicana Field, it's opening day in Tampa Bay as we take you live and local to first pitch between the Rays and Blue Jays. Now, now, now here's Tom Krasnicki. It's Thursday from Pinellas Park to Trinity and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's 4th and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Welcome aboard on the maiden voyage of The Drive with T. Kraz, Tom Krasnicki. Happy, happy opening day, everyone. We're live at Tropicana Field for the Rays opener against the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch at 410 right here on your home for Rays baseball, WDAE. Great to have you with us live here at the Trop. We'll take you up until 3 o'clock, and then it's inside pitch with Ronnie Lane coming your way then as we get you set for the Rays and the Blue Jays. On opening day, Tampa Bay, and the very first guest of the drive sitting to my left, entering his 27th year covering the Rays for the Tampa Bay Times and TampaBay.com. A momentous occasion, Mark Topkin. Welcome to the drive, buddy. Thank you. This will definitely go down in my list of <laughs> esteemed honors, the few esteemed honors I've had in my career, being the first guest on your first solo show. I just hope I'm not the last and this gets past today. Well, look, I'm hoping we get through this first segment first. Let's take it one step at a time, right? Well, you know what? Walking into the trop, and you've done this many times before, you've covered the race since their infancy, it kind of feels like the first day of school. And I was talking to Stu Sternberg. I ran into your guy. You know, he was patrolling, you know, the concourse and kind of looking over everything. And Stu will join us, by the way, coming up in the 2 o'clock hour. But it never gets old, does it? No, it never gets old. And, and, you know, we've talked before. One of the things about covering baseball is that there's something different every day. And, and for the analogy to it being a soap opera for people who know what soap operas are, they're not as popular on TV for the younger kids these days. But, yeah, there's something every day. And, and certainly every season is different. Uh, and, you know, look, hope, it's a very much of a cliche, but, you know, hope begins on opening day. Every team feels like it has a chance. Certainly the Rays have better reason than many teams to feel like they have a chance. They've made the playoffs five straight years. A lot of change from last year to this year, but also a sense of confidence that, you know, they're going to figure this out and be good again for a fan base. That's really all you can ask, right, is to walk into the ballpark or play that first game knowing you have a legitimate chance to make the playoffs. And this is what the Rays do better than anybody, in my opinion, in Major League Baseball. Nobody does more with less than what they do. They've got a rising payroll, and you t you chronicled it. You talked about it at TampaBay.com. They do have some injuries. Everyone's kind of wondering what the starting pitching is going to look like. The bullpen is outstanding. The lineup should be able to produce, although Josh Lowe's not going to be around along with Jonathan Aranda. But how, how do you 
explain their success when it comes to the lower payroll, the lower expectations, and yet, Mark, every time, you mentioned it, five straight years in the postseason, they find a way every single year. It's really extraordinary. It is, and yeah, if you want to scroll it back even further, I mean, Stu Sternberg and his group bought the team after the 05 season, so they started in 06, but go to 08 when they rebranded. They had a couple of mulligan years there, and uh, you go back to 08, third most wins in all of Major League Baseball, nine playoff appearances. Only a couple teams have more than that. They've been to a couple World Series. Yes, they haven't won it. Certainly, we've talked about that many times and, and how much validation that would put on all this. But how they've done it is a fascinating story. Wrote a little bit about it in, in our Sunday uh, Times preview section this past Sunday. What is the Rays way? And talking to a lot of people around the game. I mean, talking to the commissioner, talking to Players Union, talking to former Rays employees, current players, former players, a lot of people around the game. And the most interesting part is there is no specific answer. And I think that's probably the most telling part. I mean, you hear about them being a family atmosphere. You hear about them being willing to take chances. You hear about the humility they have and not being afraid to be wrong, trying different things. All of those, I think, are key factors in this. Trying different things. You just hit on it. The Rays explore new ways to try and get that end result that a lot of teams don't dare to do, like the opener strategy, which everybody uses now. And they adjust on the fly better than any organization that I can think of. And Eric Neander, certainly the mastermind, he's going to join me coming up in about 10 minutes. But everyone talks about their starting rotation, Mark, and that is where my biggest concern comes into play. They've got a number of guys they're relying on to be things that they haven't been. Zach Eflin was a great two last year. Now he's a one. Savali, you're asking him to be your two. Zach Littell, who was an extraordinary find last year, now all of a sudden he steps in as a number three. Ryan Pepio, great kid, great arm, but we know there's going to be some bouts of inconsistency. And then you got Tyler Alexander starting out as a number five guy. So how do you see this rotation rounding into form, and what kind of changes do you foresee as the season goes on? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be massively different, I think, during the course of the year. I think you're going to see it evolve. And, you know, you kind of go back, and, and one of the points, uh, reference points to how much change they've had is four of the guys weren't even in the organization on opening day last year that are in the rotation this year. Only Eflin was. Uh, Savali came in trade. Littell was a waiver claim and then s- transitioned from kind of fringy reliever to starter. Uh, Tyler Alexander was a waiver claim this past November from Detroit where he was kind of a swing guy. Pepio, kind of the key part of the Tyler Glass now trade coming back. So it's going to evolve. But here's, here's the thing. What they start with won't be the same because of what they have coming. I mean, most teams would go into a season saying, well, if they need help, they'll make some trade acquisitions, right? Well, now this is dependent on rehabs going well and not being hitches and setbacks. And, and Rick Knapp, we see him right here. The Rays rehab coach is a really good job on keeping tabs on these guys. But if things go right, this team's going to get Jeffrey Springs back around the middle of the season. That's a pretty good trade acquisition. Yep. Drew Rasmussen should be back at some point. Shane Boz is going to be back. He'll probably be ready to go sometime late May or June. It'll just be a question of how they want to pace him because he's going to be on an innings limit having missed all of last year. So I think if you sat down as if you could talk to people with other teams and you had any connections, but <laughs> if you talked to people with other teams and said you could have Shane Boz, Jeffrey Springs, and Drew Rasmussen joining you from, let's say, June on during a season, how would you feel about that? You'd feel pretty good, right? Sure, absolutely. And Taj Bradley, he was the one who got hurt in spring that created the opening for Tyler Alexander. He should be back and pitching in games sometime early in May. Now, whether he starts in AAA or comes right to the big league. So there's some pretty good arms coming in addition to the arms that they have that they feel comfortable starting the season with. But it's going to be an evolution. There's no doubt. The bullpen is the strength. The rotation is going to be in flux. They are. The bullpen, I think, is one of the best in baseball. Eric Neander is going to join us in about two minutes. So... I'll get you out on this. Wanda Franco, there's some news there. So what can you tell us? Yeah, we reported uh, in the Tampa Bay Times this morning he was shifted back off the 40-man roster, kind of as expected, put on administrative leave. They worked out an agreement where he'll stay on administrative leave for two months. If they get to June 1st and there's no, still no resolution in his case, and, and if you know anyone who, seriously, who knows what's going on in the Dominican, we have heard nothing at all recently. Uh, if there is resolution... Then they'll kind of just make a decision that if not, he could just stay on admin leave. He could switch to restricted list. Right now, he will get paid. He'll be on admin leave for the next two months. Uh, He comes off the 40-man. The Rays use that spot to add a guy they uh, picked up, a utility guy. He'll start at Durham, Nico Goodrum. All right. I'll get you out on this. At the end of the day, come October, where are the Rays? 
Are you talking stadium? You mean physically here? Well, or what I'm, do you I'm mean? Talking, here? I, mean well, I know you had some lemon drops last night. You're not thinking clearly. No, I'm thinking very clearly. <laughs> I'm talking about where is this team now? We know the stadium thing. We'll talk to Stu in the I two o'clock hour. I know what you mean. I, I'm going to go with 90 wins and a wild card team. There you go. All right. I like it. All right. Mark Topkin in his 27th year covering this team. How does it feel to be the first guest on this hideous show? Like I said, it'll definitely be one of the honors I will definitely forget in my career. <laughs> I'm not buying that for one second. By the way, Pete Fairbanks, we had a number of surprise call-ins last night for the final Ronnie T. Crad show. So Pete Fairbanks was one of our surprise guys. So we were like, all right, who's on the line with us? And he's like, this is Pete from St. Louis. So I want to ask you about the Rays bullpen. What do you think about the Rays bullpen this year? <laughs> and he played it up pretty well as a regular caller. And then once he said Pete... And then he asked about the Rays bullpen. It was kind of a dead giveaway, but uh, we had some fun with them last night. Pete, Pete can be one of the more entertaining guys, but you got to be on the right side. Otherwise, he's not going to be very entertaining. Uh, he was very entertaining. I guess he likes us, Mark. I have no idea why, but he was great. Maybe he was just told that. Uh, probably. Uh, he was just being nice. Mark Topkin, uh, TampaBay.com. You can read him there. Happy opening day, my friend. Thank you. Happy opening day, and, and I will say this in all earnesty. Good luck with the show, and it should be a fun ride and eager to be part of it uh, as we go forward this season. Well, thank you very much. It's going to be awesome to have you part of the drive here as Mark Topkin covers the Rays here. We're live here at the Trop. Great to have him with us as we get going. So he has the Rays and 90 wins, and taking the wild card. I'll have my prediction a little bit later on here on the program. And look, that's the one thing that the Rays do better than anybody. They adjust. They reconfigure themselves. They reinvent themselves better than any organization that I've ever seen. And to do so in an area and in a sport where, you know, we know the economics is not even. It's unbalanced here in Major League Baseball. And you know, whether or not they get a salary cap is another story, but the Rays tend to do this better than anybody where they figure things out. They find a different way. They're innovative in their approach. And with me right now is the man who, you know, is the mastermind, the architect of this entire fiasco. The Rays president of baseball operations, Eric Neander, is with us here on The Drive. You are the second guest on this prestigious show. Well, welcome in, Yee. How are you, buddy? Topper's more of a leadoff guy. I'm here. I just said to bunt him over. You know, get, him in a, <laughs> get him in a scoring position. Who's up next? Who do we got next? Well, we got uh, Andy Freed okay, next. Okay, Andy will knock him in. That's and, perfect. And then <laughs> the owner, Stu Sternberg, your boss, will join us in a 2 They're o'clock hour. Perfect. He'll, he'll deliver without question. So happy opening day to you. Happy opening day. Great to have you with us great to be here you know when you walk into this building and you've done this many times and i mentioned this at topper it never gets old the bunting the vibe the energy kind of like a first day of school type of feeling it, it really is awesome yeah, without without question i think especially this year it seems a little brighter the turf looks great uh just walking back into that we've got some new sponsorships it's a little lighter the daiquiri deck kind of raisish colors up over there double uh, raised like covers it. the right. white blue over there just it's got a great vibe it seems fresh and uh, looking forward to some good baseball. I want to ask you about the turf because I ran into Stu when I walked in, and he said I was a little hesitant about it, but now I'm looking at it. I think we made the right call. It looks great. It feels good. It's plays a little softer. So explain to the listeners, and it's a sold-out crowd here today. It's going to be rocking once 410 comes around. When they walk in, they see the turf. Just kind of explain the thought process about why you guys did this. Well, I think... A few reasons. One, aesthetically, it looks more like a grass. You know, it, it looks more real. It you does. Know? I think it's aesthetically more pleasing. Uh, that's That's been the case. We've seen similar, if not identical, sur surfaces in Arizona. You know, when they first put theirs down, we thought it was grass. You know, when we first saw it, wondered how they did that. Um, so the aesthetics are great. But then from a performance standpoint, a little more consistent with grass. The bounces, the hops are a bit cleaner. It will play slower, certainly in the early going as the blades are all standing up, slower than the previous surface, but the hops are more true. Everything the last couple of days getting our guys on the field, the ball is just going to move and bounce much more like it would on a natural surface. So the more that an, authentic, an artificial surface can play like the real thing, the better, um, and that's what we have here. Eric Neander's with us, the president of baseball operations on the drive. We're live here at the Trop, raising the Blue Jays to open the 2024 season. Coming up a little bit later on, we are your home for Rays baseball, of course, all season long on WDAE. So 
You were very busy yesterday, obviously making some moves, making some deals, kind of tweaking the back end of your roster a little bit. So now that you have had a chance to exhale, you're here at opening day, you're all set, ready to go. When you're looking at this roster in totality, what do you see in terms of how different you are from a year ago and how much better you think you might be from a year ago? Yeah, I mean, we've got one member of our rotation, I think, was in the rotation this time a year ago. Uh, so there's there's been a lot of movement uh, that that's that's happened there. Unfortunately, some of it, you know, injuries. Unfortunately, some guys will get back as the year goes on. But um, like a bullpen that's returning as much experience and as much accomplishments as probably we've ever had. We've got six guys in the lineup returning with 20 plus homers last year. We got the elite defense up the middle, and you know the rotation. Uh, it's it's fielded a lot of questions. It's not as accomplished of a group, certainly, but I think the talent, the potential uh, is very much there. And, you know, a year ago at this time, Zach Littell was in an organization. I think he went to another organization before he finally got to ours. And, you know, it's been a, it's been a road for him, but this is a group with ability, and I think they'll show that here in the early going. You're as athletic as you are this year as you were from a year ago. Uh, Richie Palacios is a guy that you brought in. We had a chance to talk to him at the beginning of spring and just to prove to everyone we don't hex everybody that's been on this show. He actually got better and better and better as the spring wore on. And, you know, he's a guy that is also very athletic. And with the injuries that you've got that with Josh Lowe and Jonathan Aranda missing the start of the season, He's a guy you're going to lean on quite a bit. Yeah, right? without without question. We're, we're down some left-handed hitters, and, and that's kind of the end of last year. You know, we, we lost Rayleigh late. We lost Brandon Lau late. I think we felt that going in the postseason um, in the game against Diavoli. We were just short left-handed hitters. We are a little bit short here out of the gates, but that's the importance of having someone like Richie Palacios. We're building rosters that... If everybody is healthy, there's going to be a few players in Durham that you'd be perfectly good to have on the team. Injuries happen. you got to have more than 26 to compete. And we're glad we had guys like Richie ready to go this year. And he's had a really good spring. And um, no hesitation whatsoever to put him on this roster and hopefully build on what he did in the limited opportunity with St. Louis last year. Junior Caminero is the guy who's going to start out of AAA. He went from AA right to the bigs. He's an extraordinary talent, as we all know, and what and a guy that you're very excited about. So what's the plan for him moving forward? Great question. Get him there. Hopefully he continues offensively to, to perform at the levels he has. Double A, high A, A, you know, basically has as he has since he's had a bat in his hands, it seems. And so just taking it to a higher level of competition. Triple A, you get a little more velocity, you get a little more execution, you get a little more pitch mix, the right on right slider, the right on right breaking ball. That's something we saw this spring that there's an adjustment process. You have to get those reps. Uh, couldn't be more excited about his potential, his future. He's still just 20 years old. And want to make sure that when the time's right for him to come here, as it really is with any young player, that they're not just fighting to keep their head above water. They can hit the ground running, and they can be an impact performer. We're not a club. You know, we have postseason expectations. We're expecting to be good. We need our young players to come up and contribute right away. There's not as much patience that's allowed as you're trying to contribute and go. So that's the offensive side. And then it's really it's becoming just the best defender you can be. At 20 years old, there's a lot that comes with all of the expectations and the stresses and the pressures um, that – I don't know. I, I couldn't have done it at 20. <laughs> so just trying to look out for all that and make sure the entire person, player, is as ready to go as they can be. The the batting practices, the the physical potential is obvious. It's in your face. You cannot miss it. It's limitless, really. It's getting, it's getting the rest of it in a position to come here and play in games. What's his future position as he grows into his body? I mean, I don't know, shortstop, yeah. he might project more of a corner infield yeah. guy. Is that a, is that a, a lot of the reps assessment? now are at third? And that's something that we've got to, you know, think about how does it all fit as we go along? And if he does his job and what he's supposed to do, we've got a guy at third now that hit 30 and 100 last year, you know, more roughly. I forget the exact numbers, but 31. We'll call it that there. Thank yeah. you. He's counting. Uh, he sucked for Edis, of course. That's that's why you have your own show now. No. You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you got it all covered. Uh, you know, Curtis meets somebody that's in between there that also. So we have high expectations for that's something that as we go we'll continue to think about different ways to to make it all fit assuming everyone does their job and earns the opportunities to to be here eric neander's with us the president of baseball operations on the drive Rays opening day is upon us we're all excited you mentioned the bullpen so 
So last night, uh, Ronnie and I did our final show, and we had a number of surprises. I heard it on my it. drive. I was in Port Charlotte in the afternoon, evening on the way home. I was like, I got nothing to do. It's nine thirty, and I I threw it on. So I heard Pete from St. Louis call. Pete it. from yeah. St. Louis. So uh, when he started, at, hey, I want to ask you about the race bullpen. I think it was a. I, I said I looked at Ronnie. I'm like, Pete Fairbanks. I mouthed to him. <laughs> So he was great, and that's just the kind of personality that he is. Now, when he gets out there and he talked about this, how intense he is, and you'll be leaning on him heavily this season in a bullpen, by the way, that I think is one of the best in baseball. But he's a guy that is really intense on the field and off the field. You know, he's a guy who can loosen up, too, which is great. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't call from the mound. Uh, (laughs) You guys would have had to to cut the show a little early. (laughs) Uh, But, uh, no, he is incredibly intense and gets himself in the headspace he needs to to go out and 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 dominate and um i don't know closers the ninth inning those types of roles you gotta you gotta get yourself into a different place i think to go out compete you gotta be wired differently there's something to it and then you gotta when you have the duds you gotta forget about him real quick and he's he's made to do that so um look the big thing there is if if he's healthy and can stay out there the entire season, um, he's got the potential to be as good of a, a lockdown bullpen arm as anyone out there, and certainly we've got a we've got a heck of a group there to go with him. I'll get you out on this. What is the biggest key for you this season? I know you got some injuries and maybe some arms coming back later in the season. Is it fair to say that Boz Springs, we saw him here before working out in the bullpen? Rasmussen, when you get those guys back, I mean that could be a game changer for you. Come you know, early summer, yeah, late summer. I think it's it's health, and it's I mean it it smacks us in the face because we saw what this team perhaps could have been last year with good you know average health even right you know the rotation out of the gates and what that that looked like was a pretty special group and um, credit to our staff and all the players that stepped up to still find our way to 99 wins. But it always starts with health. I think if we have good health, we get the players back that are out right now that are on schedule to get back this year and contribute, and we have good health out of the group we have. That's um, yeah, it's important for us. It's important to anybody. I think you know beyond that and getting more specific to our team. I think it's it's this rotation going out and answering a lot of the questions that that there are about this group and what they're capable of doing. And um, you know, talked about Zach taking the ball today and. Uh, couldn't be more excited for him to have that opportunity. But Savali, the player we acquired, think that there was a lot about him upon acquiring him that looked a lot better than the bottom line run prevention, but it's about bottom line run prevention. And I think we'll we'll see that turn Zach Littell building on what he did, Taj Bradley getting back, getting healthy. And then, you know, the the Alexanders and, um, you know, guys like Waggy Spack, the ones that are coming in that, you know, could be the next Zach Littell. Right. You're going to need that, you know, to, to make it through the season. So I really think it's it's the pitching side of it. It's the rotation. It's the length, guys. And we feel good about it. But if that group can go and take a big step, um, there's a lot of other areas of this team that are much more experienced and accomplished that I think are going to certainly uh, do their part and then some as well. All right. Eric Neander, the race president of baseball operations. Thanks for stopping by. Best of luck today. Best of luck moving forward. And your book for tomorrow, right? Yes. Depending yes. upon if you win or lose, is that what you're thinking? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's right. do it. The, uh, absolutely. Every Friday, right? Every, every Friday. We're, we're as, as much as you can tolerate. Hey, as, I got it. You got no more Ronnie. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do my small part. Happy to. So congratulations on the run that you guys had. Um, truly, I, I did listen to the show last night just to hear it. It was a wonderful send-off, and I know you guys aren't going far. You're not going anywhere, and Ronnie's got, you know, seems like he upgraded. Gets to cover the Yeah, race he now. upgraded. got <laughs> He got away from me. It and, is an and escaped you, but congrats <laughs> on everything and the best with the new show as well. Thanks. We really appreciate it. We appreciate all of your help and support throughout the years. It For means sure. a lot. Likewise. Eric Neander, appreciate it, man. Best of luck. Thanks, T. Crass. All right. Eric Neander, the mastermind, the man in charge. The Rays always seem to find a way, and this man sitting to my left always seems to get it done when it matters the most. All right, great to have you with us. We're live here at the Trop, right by the bullpen area. It is opening day. It's an exciting time. It is the maiden voyage of the drive with yours truly, T. Kraz. All right, on the other side, by the way, we've got a four-pack of race tickets we're going to give to you for the game 
tomorrow against Toronto. We've got Def Leppard tickets to give to you. Andy Free will join us in the next hour. Stu Sternberg in the 2 o'clock hour will join us. I ran into him as I entered the building. He almost had me thrown out. We also have a little let it ride action coming up as well. Chris Mathis is on site here along with John Mamola, the great DJ Jamie Ferrer, of course, Jason Barringer back at our Root Air Conditioning Studios. All right, on the other side, we'll continue to preview this race season. The one newcomer who could make a significant impact on this race team. I'm going to tell you who that is. Your calls and texts are coming up next here on The Drive on your home for race baseball, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Later today is opening Opening day. day. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate. On the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. Northbound I-75 remains very slow from the Selman to Fletcher Avenue because of an accident that's been moved to the left shoulder. We still have an overturned vehicle on the left side of the entrance ramp from Kennedy Boulevard to southbound 275. Watch for a crash in the center lane northbound on State Road 39 at Central Avenue. There's an accident on East Edgewood Drive near Bartow Road and a wreck on northbound Seminole Boulevard at 102nd Avenue North. See traffic problems? Call the traffic tip line at 866-545-9595. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to, to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile. But you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium 20 inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. 46699 We have a hundred of these trucks or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F 150s. Please note during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during Trade A Thon 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Here's another remarkable success story from QC Kinetics. This one from Chad, who hurt his knee at the gym one day, and it just kept on hurting for months. From my high school football and wrestling days, I already had a little bit of damage in there, but this just sent it over the edge. Chad tried traditional treatments with no improvement. When he turned to the non-surgical regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. It was really fascinating how they did their work, and the science behind it was very intriguing, and it works. Extracting the cure out of my own body blew my mind. It's like I'm brand new again. It was fantastic. That's because the QC Kinetics natural biologic treatments use your body's own healing power to restore damaged tissue in your hips, shoulders, back, and knees, providing long-lasting relief. Now I'm back at the gym. I'm 100% feeling great. If you're tired of suffering with pain from arthritis or injury, call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon, 813-305-3000. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them t sent you. 
La vida es tan confusa. Me gustaría tener a alguien con quien hablar sobre cosas difíciles. Escuché que beber es malo, pero no sé por qué. No muchos de mis amigos lo hacen, pero los medios hacen que parezca que todos los jóvenes beben y usan drogas. Háblame, mamá. Puedo manejarlo. Estoy decidido a ganar. Si necesitas consejos para iniciar la conversación, visita Central Florida Behavioral Health Network en cfbhn.org. Comprométete a ganar con tus hijos. What's the Anajar and Levine difference? When you're injured in a car crash, we focus on your case so you can focus on the one thing that matters most, getting better. I'm Glenn Levine with Anajar and Levine. We'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. We'll help you take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office Tampa. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at SertaPro.com. It already feels like home. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. I'm often asked, how'd you become the largest injury firm in the world? The answer is simple. We cared a lot. Over 30% of our new clients are referred by former clients. That says it all. Our clients have lawyers, case managers, and legal assistants always in the office. Every client has their attorney's cell phone number. Our results and client satisfaction. That's how we became the largest injury firm in the world. Injured? Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey guys, Jay Retro here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Amelie Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grilled wings and Ebor egg rolls. Fan favorites. And they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to TopShelfSportsLounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat? In downtown Tampa, my answer always, Top Shelf Sports Lounge. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. What if every time you filled your tank, someone gave you a high five? Well, at Chevron, we've got the next best thing. When you download the Chevron app and sign up, you can save $1 per gallon on your next three visits with Chevron Rewards. You'll also earn reward points at every fuel transaction and qualifying in-store purchases at participating Chevron stations. More earning, more savings, ultimate high five. Download the app to get started today. Terms and conditions apply. See ChevronTexicoRewards.com for more details. We're recording this progressive commercial on a real boat to let people know that when you bundle your whole boat and other vehicles... What was that, boat? Progressive saves you money, Jamie. Why are we doing this on a boat? We were going for authenticity. We're going to the city? Authenticity. You mean Atlantic City? But we're not in the Atlantic. Are we? Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts.
When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Play ball! Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. We are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Rays fans around the globe. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Play ball! Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening, opening day, day in Tampa, Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to T Kras, Tom Kras, Nikki. Welcome back. It's The Drive with T. Kraz live from the Trop opening day. 2024 is here. The Rays and the Blue Jays will do battle. Of course, this is your home for Rays baseball. WDAE at 95.3 FM, the mighty 620 AM. And we're also streaming Rays games in the Tampa Bay area on the iHeartRadio app. So that's important to keep in mind. Those games within the Tampa Bay region through the iHeartRadio app can be had opening day in tampa bay coverage on dae by the way presented by the central florida behavioral health network and the department of children and families had the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse talk they hear you for more information go to cfbhn.org all right coming up in a matter of moments your chance to win deaf leopard tickets are coming to camping world stadium on july the 10th a little bit later on in the show, we'll give away a four-pack of tickets for the Rays-Blue Jays game tomorrow night. That's a 6.50 first pitch tomorrow night in game number two of the 162-game season. Andy Freed will join us from Rays Radio coming up in the next hour. Stu Sternberg, Rays principal owner, ran into him as I walked in. He will join us in the 2 o'clock hour as well. So uh, Eric Neander mentioned a couple of different things that kind of caught my ear and the starting rotation obviously is going to be one to watch, and there is only one guy in that starting rotation now that was on the opening day roster from a year ago, and that is Zach Eflin, who won 16 games. He's going to be the ace. He'll be on the mound against Jose Barrios. By the way, the lineup is out for the Rays. I'll get to that in a matter of moments. But there are a number of newcomers on this team that could make an impact. Tyler Alexander is a number five starter. A Jacob Wagaspak is a guy who pitched in Japan the last two years. Before that, he was with Toronto, and he's another guy that could be maybe this year's version of Zach Littell, a guy they pick up off the scrap heap who could experience somewhat of a rejuvenation with this Rays team, and 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 that's what the Rays do. They identify these guys. I don't know how they do it. They've got the metrics. They identify guys that they believe they can turn around. Zach Littell was let go by the Red Sox. The Red Sox told this guy, we don't want you, go away. And the Rays pick him up, bring him into their program. They tweak a few things. Next thing you know, Zach Littell is making a major impact, and now he's the number three starter for the Rays to open the season. Rays players are in front of us working out as they get ready for the opener here against Toronto. But the one guy, and from the moment they signed him, I remember turning around and telling a few people and saying, this is the guy who's going to make a difference with this race team this year, and that's Ahmad Rosario. Here's a guy who made $7.8 million a year ago. The Rays signed them right before spring for a million and a half, which is nothing, really. I mean, that's still well below the major league average of about four to four and a half million, the average salary in Major League Baseball. They got him for a million and a half. And here's a guy who's a professional hitter. He's a lifetime 272 hitter. Against lefties, he hits 300 or right near 300. So against left-handers, you're going to see him in there. He can play second. He could play short. He played a lot of right field. He hit 273 this spring, by the way, which is right at his career average. So he's a steady kind of guy. He's got a little bit of pop in his bat. He's hit, you know, as many as 15 home runs in a season. That was with the Mets back in 2019 where he played 157 games. And then, of course, the Mets traded him to Cleveland in the big Francisco Lindor trade. He kind of bounced around from Cleveland to the Dodgers from a year ago. And now he's a member of the Rays. And 
here's a guy who I think can make a big impact. He's got the positional versatility that the Rays love. They're going to play him all over the diamond, a little bit in right field. He's not in the starting lineup today because Jose Berrios is the opening day starter for the Blue Jays. So he is going to come off the bench here today along with Curtis Mead, another right-handed hitting infielder. But here's the Rays lineup, by the way. Uh, Yandy Diaz, the reigning American League batting champion, is going to lead it off at first base. Brandon Lau, who hit a home run against the Tigers the other day in the final spring training game. And you want to talk about a guy who's an X factor for this team. It's Brandon Lau. Can he stay upright? Can he play 120, 130 games? Because if he can, he's going to hit 27 to 30 home runs. There's no question. And he's got the kind of, you know, pop in his bat. And he is so streaky and yeah dare I say inconsistent but he's a guy who can carry your team who can hit four to five home runs in a given week but Lau is in there really key member of the Rays he's going to be at second base Randy Rosarina is at left field hitting third Harold Ramirez is the DH hitting cleanup remember everyone had the Rays trading him and I think the Rays were going to deal him and then all of a sudden they suffered all of these injuries with Aranda going down and then uh, Josh Lowe going down. And, you know, sometimes the best deals are the ones you don't make. So how Ramirez is still here. He's hitting cleanup. Isak Paredes is at third base. He is batting fifth. He had 31 home runs from a year ago. Richie Palacios, we just talked about him. Left-handed hitter. He's going to be in right field hitting six. Jose Series in center field hitting seventh. Jose Caballero, one of the new additions, is at shortstop batting eighth. And Rene Pinto is going to be behind the plate. He is catcher number one for this Rays team. Ben Rortfeldt, who was acquired yesterday by the Rays, is going to be the backup. So there you have it. Diaz, Lau, Arena, followed by Ramirez, Paredes, Palacios, and then Siri, Caballero, and Pinto rounding it out with Zach Eflin on the mound. That is your lineup for the Rays against Berrios here this afternoon. And 888-546-4620, that is the phone number. On the other side, your calls and texts, your expectations on the Rays. Ahmad Rosario is the one newcomer who I think can make the biggest impact on this Rays team. Is there a guy that you have in mind? The Rays are working out in front of us as they're getting ready for their season opener against Toronto. On the other side, what does the rest of the American League East look like? And Def Leppard tickets can be yours on the way back. Hang on. It is the Drive with T-Kraz on your home for race baseball. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. We'll be back. You've spent your days looking for it. What you ask? Jay and Jay Zach. And Zach. A show that tells it like it is. A show that isn't afraid to go against the grain. A show that has grit, honesty, and a whole lot of balls to it. Stop looking, because you found found the one-stop shop for all the news, rumor, and analysis on the box, bolts, rays, and everything you've been searching for. Jay and Zach. Weekdays noon to 3 on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming on the free iHeartRadio app. Hey, it's Sean Kelly, voice of the Gators for my friends at International Diamond Center. IDC is Florida's family-owned jeweler with worldwide connections. IDC delivers exceptional value, mind-blowing selection, uncompromising quality, ironclad warranties. IDC has showrooms all over Gator country, Gainesville, Orlando, Tampa, Clearwater, Sarasota, Naples, and on the Treasure Coast. The vibe at IDC is relaxed and fun. Their non-commissioned experts will guide you every step of the way, and nobody can touch their incredible value prices. Of course, IDC's specialty is diamonds. Real, rare, precious GIA-certified diamonds in every shape and size imaginable. It's a massive selection at no middleman, direct importer prices. So when it comes to those special moments in your life, celebrate with the only jeweler endorsed by the Gators, International Diamond Center, where Gator Nation shops for jewelry. Get store locations, hours, and learn more. ShopIDC.com. Hey, you got any gum? Yeah, check my backpack. What's this? Oh, that's naloxone. It can reverse an opioid overdose. I decided to always keep it on me after my friend almost died. It saved his life. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. That makes me want to have it with me, too. You totally should. Check the pharmacy. It was actually really easy to get, and it's easy to use. I definitely will. Thanks. Naloxone saves lives. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. 
WDAE with What's Up Tampa Bay. Bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks. Bowling for balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. For tickets and more info, visit 98rock.com. Join us April 5th through 7th at Armature Works in the Heights District for the WFLA News Channel 8 Outdoors Expo and Boat Show. Admission is free all weekend. Visit WFLA.com slash Outdoors Expo for more details. Stay on top of everything going on at 953WDAE.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audible Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audible Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. We sold our home for substantially more than we bought it for and skipped the costly renovations to fix up our home. Thank you, Mark Spain Real Estate. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here, and Mark Spain Real Estate, they're helping homeowners just like our listener, Caitlin, there, sell their homes fast and for maximum profit. If you're like Caitlin, you're ready to take advantage of this hot real estate market. My friends at Mark Spain Real Estate, they're the most trusted and experienced real estate team in the country. Find out what the guaranteed offer on your home will be today. There's no obligation. Go to MarkSpain.com, get a guaranteed offer. That's MarkSpain.com come and start packing. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. For the best live thoroughbred horse racing, you don't have to go far. We've got it right here in our backyard at Tampa Bay Downs. On Wednesdays, it's free. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's only $3. General admission. It is easy to get to an Oldsmar. Gates open at 11 a.m. and the post time for the first race is 12.15 p.m. And if you want to get informed, they got program stands. It's only $2.25. And they've even got tip sheets for the inexperienced bettors so you can make some good bets and potentially win big. Only at Tampa Bay Downs. TampaBayDowns.com. The Five Star Review. It's as important to contractors as it is to customers. Service Titan can help you earn more stars with innovative software features designed to give your customers the most convenient, most modern experience possible. Take it from the guys at Rainforest Plumbing and Air. Service Titan has enabled us to give each service call that personal touch. We love it because we know who our customers are when they call us, and we even know if they have a favorite technician. Start earning more Five Star Reviews. Schedule a demo today at ServiceTitan.com. That's ServiceTitan.com. Watch the Tampa Bay Rowdies kick some grass against Rhode Island FC. Live Saturday night at 7.30 on Tampa Bay 44. Tampa Bay is on the board. Watch Rowdies home games all season long on Tampa Bay 44. You know what's nice about working with Farrah and Farrah on your personal injury case? We worry about all the details, so you don't have to. Farrah and Farrah, here to make it easy. Tampa. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WTAE, live from the Trop. Now, back to T-Kraz, Tom Krasnicki. The Drive with T-Kraz. Welcome back. We are live here at the Trop, getting you ready for Ray's opening day. Great to have you with us. Look out. The Rays are warming up right in front of us, and John Dugas almost got nailed with a baseball. We are right down the right field line, and the Rays are in front of us, you know, playing pitch and catch, warming up, doing their thing. By the way, I spot a recent caller to the program. Pete from St. Louis is on the field, and he is working out. He's got a football in his hand. That would be Pete Fairbanks, who pranked called the Ronnie T. Kras program yesterday, so... It was uh, great to have him on yesterday. It was great to see him here today, kind of doing his thing. Pete Fairbanks out there 
uh, just kind of loosening up with the rest of this Rays team. 888-546-4620. Your phone calls, your text at 82945 here on The Drive with T. Krabs. By the way, opening day in Tampa Bay. Our coverage here on DAE is presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk, they hear you. For more information, hit them up online at cfbhn.org. So, Rays are kind of doing their thing in front of us. It'll be Zach Eflin against Jose Berrios. 4-10 first pitch, of course. All the action can be heard right here on Rays Baseball, WDAE. Andy Freed of Rays Radio will join us coming up in the 1 o'clock hour. We're going to have Leonard Ride at 1.30, a lot of prop bets. A lot of Major League Baseball stuff, the Sweet 16, a lot of NCAA tournament, match madness also coming up as well as over-under in the NFL. We'll have Letter Ride coming up at 1.30. And then in the 2 o'clock hour, Stu Sternberg, race principal owner, will stop by and we'll chat with him about the Rays and their season and everything else in between. The stadium situation, of course, which is going to get a lot of attention as the season progresses with the St. Pete City Council voting at some point, followed by the Pinellas County Commission. So a lot of questions for Sue Sternberg. He will join us coming up in the 2 o'clock hour. So the rest of this American League East is going to look quite competitive. And you're looking at the Rays, obviously, and their, you know, their, their hopes and dreams of making the playoffs for a six consecutive year are still very much on the table, but... I think everybody would agree that the Baltimore Orioles are still the team to beat in this division. Great young team. They went out and they got Corbin Burns. I mean, a a Cy Young winner, just a great acquisition for them. They've got guys on the back end. They've got a great lineup to the point where Jackson Holiday, the number one prospect in baseball who had a really impactful spring, wasn't good enough to make their opening day roster. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that as well. I mean, they have a stacked lineup, you know, even though they're not the Rays. I mean, I'm sure they're thinking about a lot of different things in terms of starting his arbitration clock and everything else. But Jackson Holiday is going to be up sooner rather than later for Baltimore. They are the class of this division. Then I think there's a great conversation as to who is the second best team in this division. And in my opinion, I think it's the team that the Rays are playing here this afternoon. I think it's Toronto. Even though their all-star closer, Jordan Romano, is going to start the season on the DL, along with their setup man, Eric Swanson, that's something to keep an eye on. If those injuries are long-term, then I think, you know, the Blue Jays are going to be the team to beat. Kevin Gosman had a little bit of an injury concern coming out of spring, but he pitched in a simulated game. It looks like he's going to be ready to go. He is certainly a number one caliber starting pitcher and the rest of their rotation I think is pretty good Jose Barrios you're going to see him today Barrios who was 11 and 12 last year has got a career record of 83 wins and 66 losses you got Chris Bassett you got Alec Manoa you got uh, Kikuchi who's a really tough lefty so I, I think their pitching is good enough as long as they can stay healthy we know that their lineup is also potent it's very good Bichette and Guerrero. They need to see more out of Guerrero. I think you're going to see that out of him here this season. I think he's an MVP candidate. I think Toronto is the second best team in this division. And then you have an interesting conversation between the Rays and the New York Yankees in terms of who is maybe the third best team in this division. Look, the Yankees, if all else was equal, I think they would have a really good argument. They would have the inside track. However, they don't have Garrett Cole. And it's not a week-to-week injury. It's a month-to-month injury. Now, the good news for them is it's not of the Tommy John variety, and I'm sure the Yankees are breathing a sigh of relief. But you're without your ace for at least a month, two months of the season. That's big. Just look at it this way. It's like Zach Eflin is out for two months. That would be disastrous for the Rays. Um, Corbin Burns, if he would be out for a month or two, that would be disastrous for Baltimore. So, Garrett Cole being out for probably a month, two months, a month-to-month injury is a big deal because then the Yankees are relying on Carlos Rodon, a lefty, Nesta Cortez, another lefty, and they signed Marcus Stroman. You know, Juan Soto obviously was a big-time acquisition for the Yankees, and they'll be able to go on and get somebody else if they see fit. But not having Garrett Cole really brings him back 
to the pack in terms of the conversation on whether or not they're better than the Rays. So I, I think that's an interesting storyline to watch in the early weeks of the season. And then you got the Rays doing their thing, and then the Red Sox lost Lucas Giolito. I mean, that was a crushing blow for them as well as they appear to be a team on the rebuild. And, you know, Rafael Devers is one of the more underrated players in the game. And, you know, he's stuck on a team that's not very good, to be quite frank. So I think that's how this division shakes out. I think Baltimore's right at the top, followed by Toronto. And then the Yankees and the Rays are kind of right there in the middle with Boston bringing up the rear. 888-546-4620. It's The Drive with T. Kraz. All right, since we couldn't do it yesterday, we have an extra pair of tickets to Def Leppard over at Camping World Stadium. They're coming to Orlando on July the 10th. And our guy, Chris Mathis, is here on site, kind of doing his thing. Happy opening day, by the way, Chris Mathis. Yeah, absolutely. Same to you, man. Happy uh, opening day for not only the Rays baseball season, but also the drive. The drive is here. Our maiden voyage, and we're having a lot of fun so far. We've had Mark Topkin on. We've had Eric, Eric Neander on. Andy Free will join us coming up after 1 o'clock. And then Stu Sternberg at a 2 o'clock hour. we got a Rays four-pack of tickets to the game tomorrow night, correct? Uh, yes, that'll be on, actually, we're going to go with, what, Sunday. Sunday, oh, four Sunday. pack of tickets. Yep, 140 first pitch. Okay, so uh, my mistake, it is a four pack for Sunday's game mm-hmm. at 140. You can take the entire family. We're going to give that to you guys a little bit later on. But right now, we're going to give you an extra added tr- treat since it's opening day. We're going to give away two pairs of tickets to see Def Leppard, right? That's absolutely correct. And caller eight of uh, fifteen, and caller number eighteen. Okay, so there it is. Callers fifteen and eighteen right now at eight 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 five four six four six twenty. Jason Barringer is back at our Root Air Conditioning Studios. He's going to take the winner. So callers fifteen and eighteen, you're going to Def Leppard Camping World Stadium in Orlando coming up on july the 10th so that's going to be a heck of a show good luck to all of you who are tuning in who are calling in trying to get those tickets all right coming up on the other side of one o'clock we continue our opening day coverage here on dae the rays will open it up against toronto what are the keys for the rays to get to their sixth consecutive postseason appearance which newcomer can make the biggest impact and what about the rays way what do they do better than anybody else? We're going to talk to Andy Freed from Rays Radio. He's going to join us coming up next. It is The Drive with T. Kraz. We're live here at the Trop for opening day on your home for Rays Baseball, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Welcome and happy opening day to everyone. The Texas Rangers, for the first time ever, are world Series champion Texas Rangers welcome Cody Bellinger and the Chicago Cubs. Coverage begins tonight immediately following Rays Baseball on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. No major delays on the Big Bay Area bridges, but traffic getting heavy on the westbound Memorial Causeway to Clearwater Beach. Seminole crash northbound Seminole Boulevard at 102nd Avenue North. Pasco, northbound State Road 39 at Central Avenue has the center lane blocked. Hillsborough County accidents, town and country eastbound Hillsborough at Lagoon. And a disabled vehicle, northbound 75, after Fletcher on the left shoulder. Use caution, no big delays. With traffic, I'm Amy Snyder. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo is a large pizza smothered with Old World cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Try it with our newest flavored crust, Southwest Ranch. Only $9.99 and both for a limited time at Hungry Howie's. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell, and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best just suitable. 
Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Men, want to eliminate erectile dysfunction in PE? Here's a specialist from Prestige Men's Medical Center. I'm Dr. Simovitz. The Restore Wave protocol at Prestige Men's Medical Center is painless and has men lasting longer in the bedroom. Your consultation is free. Plus, the first 37 callers qualify for a free Restore Wave treatment and see instant results in the office. Call Prestige Men's Medical Center now. 813-288-2203. 813-288-2203. This Easter weekend, hop on over to Pool Perfection's grand opening of their second location. With 20 years of experience and top-notch quality, they're bringing the best to North Tampa communities. Just two miles west of the Tampa Premium Outlets on State Rule 54. Join the festivities this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Indulge in delicious food and exciting fun as you explore what Pool Perfection has to offer. Plus, for those attending, there are fantastic incentives in store if you're considering building that pool. Don't miss out on the treats this weekend. Come celebrate with Pool Perfection. Bosch tools are built for for workers. Bosch's powerful hammer drill has kickback control to help work go more smoothly when you need it. The two-in-one impact driver and wrench quickly changes between bits and sockets, so you only need one tool instead of two. And the X-Lock grinder switches wheels up to five times faster than standard grinders. Bosch tools take care of the job and you. Bosch tools, what hard workers deserve. Learn more at BoschTools.com. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge, you know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Just dial pound law. That's all. Morgan & Morgan, America, and now the universe's largest injury law firm. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. 
Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The reigning, defending, and undisputed home of Tampa Bay Sports Talk for over 20 years. We are 95.3 FM W237CW Pendellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brent. And the, and the mighty, mighty 620, 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now. On your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey, hey Tampa Bay. Bay. Free has never sounded so good. Your one-stop shop for all things opening day in Tampa Bay. Live from Tropicana Field. Now, back to T-Kraz. Tom Kraz, Nikki. Welcome back. It is hour number two of The Drive with T. Kraz. We are live at Tropicana Field for Rays opening day. Great to have you with us on your home for Rays baseball, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Don't forget, if you're living within the Tampa Bay area, the Rays games are available through the iHeartRadio app. We're streaming within the Tampa Bay region through the iHeart app. It's a beautiful thing, so take advantage of that. It is today. The opener for the Rays as they will take on the Blue Jays. One of 162 with Zach Eflin on the mound for the Rays against Jose Barrios. We'll talk to Andy Freed of Rays Radio. He's going to join us in a matter of moments. Right now he is interviewing Kevin Cash in the dugout for the Rays Radio pregame show, which is coming up a little bit later on. I'll take you up until 3 o'clock, and then at that time, Ronnie Lane, the full-time host of Inside Pitch, will come your way. Inside Pitch will debut at 3 o'clock. And then they'll hand it off to Chris Adams' wall for the official race pregame show at 3.30 as we lead you right up to the first pitch at 4.10 between the Rays and the Blue Jays, a couple of American League East rivals doing battle. Two teams, by the way, that both made the playoffs from a year ago. The Rays won 99 games. Toronto got in at 89 victories. They were in the playoffs. Baltimore, of course, won this division with 101 victories. And... You know, the ironic part about that, the eerie part, was that all three teams were swept out of the playoffs in the opening round, which was incredible. Of course, we know the Rays. And I remember being in this building, we all were, when they took on Texas in the wild card series. And, you know, that first game was the worst game that I've seen the Rays play in a long, long time. They committed four errors. They were, they were terrible in the field. They were terrible overall. Texas took great advantage of them. Jordan Montgomery was outstanding on his way to helping Texas win the World Series. And now Jordan Montgomery is a member of the Arizona Diamondbacks after signing his deal, a one-year deal there. And we'll talk to Andy Freed about the changes on this Rays team coming up in the matter of moments. But when you look at what the American League had going last year, you had... Houston winning the West with Texas as the wild card. You had Minnesota winning the Central. And then you had three playoff teams coming out of the AL East. I think multiple playoff teams will come out of the AL East. I'm not sure if three is going to be the number, but I think at least two will certainly be playing in October. And we'll find out if the Rays are one of them. And I think whether or not the Rays being one of those teams is contingent upon the health of their starting pitching. And it's a game changer when you get guys like Jeffrey Springs back and maybe Shane Boz becomes a contributor, overcoming all of his injuries the last couple of years. And Drew Rasmussen, I mean, those three guys are pivotal. If they come back, and it is a big if, but if they come back mid-season, you're talking about the Rays getting a much-needed jolt from all of these guys. Now, in the meantime... They need Zach Eflin to perform like a one. He was great last year. He won 16 games. They're going to need Aaron Savali to pitch better than what he did after he came over from Cleveland. Can Zach Littell, you know, duplicate the kind of performance that he had from a year ago? And and that's going to be a big question in itself because he was a revelation for the Rays. They picked him up off the scrap heap. He was fantastic. Can he do it 
again as a number three starter. Can Ryan Pepio, who at times this spring looked like a dominant, up-and-coming, surging right-hander, can he realize some of that potential? I think the answer could be potentially yes, but as a young pitcher, you know there's going to be some highs and some lows and some inconsistency when it comes to any young pitcher in baseball. Of course, they got him in the Tyler Glass now trade. Tyler Alexander, the lefty, is going to be the number five starter. He's the, He is the uh, only lefty in this starting rotation. So a lot of questions with that starting rotation. If the Rays can answer those questions, yes, they'll make the playoffs. There's no question. I think their bullpen is good enough. I think there's still enough athleticism, power, and speed uh, up and down this lineup to potentially score as many runs as they did last year. Last year, they scored 860 runs, and they stole quite a few bases from a year ago. I think the Rays are going to have to be just as aggressive on the base paths this year as they were from a year ago. If they can do all of that, then yes, I think they've got a chance to get back to the postseason for the sixth consecutive year. But, you know, you're asking guys once again, and this is the question that I have with a lot of the guys who put forth wonderful years from a year ago. Isak Paredes was a 31 home run type of guy. Can he do that again? I think the answer could be yes, but we're not entirely sure at this point. But can he hit 22 to 25 home runs? I mean, if he can do that, I think I would take that. I think asking Isak Paredes to go 31 and 98 like he did a year ago might be a stretch because I think other teams around baseball are also well aware of the fact that he had 31 and 98. Then you'll get a guy like Josh Lowe. He had 292. He had 20 homers. He had 32 stolen bases. He was a 20-30 guy. He's injured for the first month of the season. So I'm not sure if he can duplicate those numbers because he is not going to be available. One thing I am sure of, and we'll take your calls on this, is Yandy Diaz. I mean, he hit 317 throughout the spring. He is the reigning American League batting champion. He's an incredible player. He is a locker room presence. He is maybe the best leadoff hitter in baseball. And the leadoff hitter nowadays looks a bit different than it did, like, say, when I was growing up. When I was growing up, it was Ricky Henderson. It was guys like Mookie Wilson. It was guys like Vince Coleman back in the day. These speedy guys who would steal 80, 90, 100 bases. Now it's different with analytics. They rely more on contact. Are you a contact hitter? Do you get on base? Like the whole money ball thing, right? That's what they're looking for in terms of leadoff batters. And Yandy Diaz can do all of that. You know, last year he hit 330. His on-base percentage was 410. I mean, those are extraordinary numbers. His wins above replacement was 5.2. He was great. And I think he is the most sure thing in this race team in terms of their lineup. You know what you're getting out of him. He is Mr. Consistency. He's a guy that I'm 100% confident in that he can duplicate his numbers from a year ago. Randy Rosarino was a 2020 guy. He gained the extra weight. How will that impact him this season? I'll tell you how it's going to impact them. Scott Boris is his agent. And Randy knows if he can go from 23 home runs from a year ago to 30 this year, then, you know, he's looking at uh, an eight-figure contract next year. He got a raise all the way up to $8.1 million. And if he can get from 23 to 30 this year, guess what? He's going to go from $8.1 million to $10 million plus. So he's going to be an eight-figure guy. And, of course, his goal and objective one day is to get to a nine-figure contract. And, you know, Scott Boris is probably in his ear telling him he can get that, just not with the Tampa Bay Rays. The thing that's holding Randy back from getting there is he's 29. He's going to turn 30 in February of 2025 and once you get to 30 I don't know if major league teams are going to be you know reluctant to give him that kind of money they may or may not be it just kind of depends but I think Randy wants to set himself up for a huge payday and that's why he put on the weight because he wants to be a 30 home run guy and he wants to get an eight figure deal next year and then hopefully you know a nine figure deal at some point is major league career look at the deal that 
Uh, Will Smith just got from the Dodgers $140 million. I mean, look, I'm sure that's what Randy and Scott Boris are looking at. By the way, Scott Boris, I mean, you want to talk about a guy who is not doing uh, his clients a favor at this point. And what I mean by that is he represents all of these guys who signed very late in spring training, or in some cases like Jordan Montgomery, right before the season began because he promised them a lot of money. I mean, there was all the talk that Blake Snell was going to be, you know, a 150 to $200 million guy, and he got $62 million over two years. Uh, Jordan Montgomery got $25 million over one year. He had to settle for that. And it's not a one-year prove-it deal. $25 million is a lot of money. But I'm sure Jordan Montgomery was probably told or promised by Scott Boris that he would make a hell of a lot more money than that, and he didn't. So I think Scott Boris did not do his clients a favor by continuing to hold them out, probably telling them, relax, you're going to get your money, you're going to get your 100, 150 million Blake Snell. That never materialized. I think the Yankees at one point were interested, and according to reports, they had an offer of $150 million out there, and then they pulled that offer, and then all of a sudden, Blake Snell is settling for two years and $62 million with the San Francisco Giants. So if I'm Randy Rosarina, man, I would tread very carefully with my agent, Scott Boris, because I don't think he did his clients too many favors this past offseason. 888-546-4620, that is the phone number. The Bartow 4DA text platform is at 82945, where standard message and data rates do apply. We're live here at the Trop. Great to have you with us. It is the drive with T-Kraz. We're right down the right field line next to the Rays bullpen. The Rays are warming up right in front of us. They are taking batting practice as well. So you've got to be able to have your head on a swivel. Um, it appears Stu Sternberg is on his way here now. We were hoping to have him in the 2 o'clock hour, but it looks like Stu is going to come down here now and he's going to be joining us in about five minutes or so so the principal owner of the Rays is on his way john mamola is bringing him over and in a matter of two minutes according to jay retcher two and two what are you chuck woolery uh the Rays principal owner Stu sternberg is going to join us so a lot to talk to him about the new turf uh the rising payroll of over 90 million what about the stadium situation? What about this Rays team in particular and the improvements here at the Trop? So there's a lot to talk to Stu about, and he's about to join us here. And I ran into Stu when I walked in early this morning, and it was good to see him. And he was talking about the turf, and he was talking about the season and the high hopes and expectations and everything else. And, you know, the Rays should be a contender. They should win. 84, 85, 86 plus games and they should be right there at the end of it come September and October because they always seem to find a way. They always seem to reinvent themselves and come up with innovative new ways to win not only on the field but off the field. And with us right now is the principal owner of the Rays. It was great to see him this morning as I walked in. Stu Sternberg is with me here on the drive the very first show welcome in great to see you happy opening day happy drive to you happy <laughs> successful drive to you and 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 the the station uh it was great to see you coming in i was bright and early today getting getting your paces yeah. getting your paces started and you know it, it never gets old for you i know you're a longtime baseball fan growing up in new york just like i was when you walk into this building and see the bunting and the special energy and the vibe, it never gets old for you, right? Thank, thank you for mentioning the bunting. That's my thing. And everybody, not everybody, many in the organization have said, do we have to do bunting again? Yes. Uh, yes, that's exactly I think so. I there think you, you got to decorate the place. You know, when somebody comes into your home for the first time, you want to make sure your home looks really well and you want to be able to be a gracious host for and everybody. E and even take the plastic slip covers off of the sofa and the nice chair. Yeah, Absolutely right. We've so, got brand new turf and it really looks well. It's, I think it's going to play well. We'll hear some I'm sure some commentary on it over the next week, but uh, you know we got this done, and I, and the play really makes the place look great. It does, and you and I were commenting about that. That was the first words out of your mouth. Like I wasn't sure about yeah. the turf, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm seeing it. The players appear to like it. It's going to play a little softer. 
you like it. I like it. I think it looks great. I think when the fans come on down here, it'll be a, a sold-out crowd once again here for opening day. I think they're going to be pleased as well. Yeah, the stripes are. They, they pushed me on the stripes, and I was a no, no, no. And then um, it, it, the voices were like, "You trust us on this one," and it's yes, yes, yes. I'm very happy with it. So yeah, we have it sold out today, and the and the crowds. We're expecting the whole weekend are going to be are really going to be excellent. Usually, you get a little bit of a down right after the opener, and we're we've got really great crowds all weekend. Uh, last year, the attendance was up thirty percent. I'm sure yeah. you were pleased with that. About one point four million plus came through the turnstiles. Do you have any early projections? I know it's early, and I think as the season goes on, I think it'll be dictated by how well the team plays and a lot of other different factors, but. Do you have any projections on what the attendance figures might look like? No, none, none really. A lot of it, as you point out correctly, it is based on last year we started out 13-0. Yeah. We won 99 games, and that carried forward. But in, in truth, we've also had years where we've, you know, we've been that successful, um, and it, it hadn't really translated at the gate. And I think there are a number of factors, uh, you know, the growth of the area, and, I, and not a small part of it is the fact that, you know, we're going forward and trying to stay here for, you know, 30-plus years beyond our lease at this point, build a new stadium. People are excited about it. They have some confidence that they can root for this team and, and their kids can root for the team. Um, and i just love to see, as you said, as far as predictions or projections, difficult to say. Uh, we certainly cut into the deficit we have with, with other teams this past year. It was a, was a big deal for me and, and for the organization. And I think if we can have some growth again on top of the 1.4-ish, uh, it'll speak volumes to you know to, to throw all of us here. <laughs> Rays principal owner Stu Sternberg is with me here on the drive. Rays and the Blue Jays will open the 2024 season right here on your home for Rays baseball. You mentioned the payroll. Looks like ninety million or thereabouts. I'm over sure. that, yeah, yeah, over ninety million dollars. Who's so. counting? You know? <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm counting. You're, you're counting. You're, you're the guy. You got to write write right. the check. Yeah. So. Your thoughts on what this team looks like on paper and how do you see it playing out? It, we, we feel very confident about it. We have got a lot of new players, which is not anything strange to our organization. I actually get a little concerned when basically the whole team comes back. We tr we've tried that a couple of times in the past. It's the way it works out. And for some reason, things don't exactly work out as you plan to. Uh, but... I, I, I've got a ton of confidence in, in where we are right now, the players we've got on the field. as And as you've seen, the younger guys we had have come into their own here over the last couple of years. So now when they were, you know, sort of a little, I won't say deer in the headlights, but just sort of finding their way through 2019, 2021, uh, you know, these are veteran players in the primes right now. And we've been able to augment it. And uh, as the players get better, you have to pay them more money. Without question. And, you know, Randy Rose Arena is a perfect example yeah, yeah. of that. You Jose know, Siri, yeah. Jose Siri, and, and these guys got raises in the offseason, and justifiably so. They're really good players, and Randy Land is going to be yeah. another big hit in the left field area. That's a fun That's a fun night. Yeah, like our guys uh, thought of that to do early last year and put it together, and it was an immediate hit, and I thank the fans for taking to that, getting out there. Anytime you can put some real energy into the, into the game in the building. Another thing was... Uh, you know, the, the rule changes that happened last year, I think people responded to that as well. Ba attendance was up all over baseball last year. I think the number was almost 15% as a, as a sport. So, you know, we outpaced that. Um, but I, I do think that the fans responded not just to the, the, the length of the games being shorter. That, would, to me, was never the issue. But, but the, the pace of the game was dramatically improved. How did you see that? I, I saw it, too. And I don't know if people these days because they have short attention spans they want to come here for three three and a half hours especially on a school night or a work yeah. night so having the games being quicker being over two hours there were some some of your games were over in two hours 10 two hours yeah. 15 minutes i mean that's great yeah yeah well this year i think we've got 650 starts in the evening and uh look if you have to go you have to go but it, even past we could we could start them early and people get out sooner it's tougher to get here from work but just the pace of the game and not watching the player, the, uh, the the batters kick the dust in the dirt and stepping out and the pitchers stepping off the rubber and coming back and all the gamesmanship. Get there, throw the ball, hit the ball, next pitch, next pitch, next pitch. And some of the rule changes, you know, we led to more stealing last year, yep. which is a great thing to see. I, you know, we love seeing stolen bases, triples, things like that. Uh, more base runners, it's always good to see. You know, this, this three outcomes, strikeout, walk, home run, uh, diminished finally a bit last year. It's got a ways to go. Stu Sternberg is with us here. So you mentioned the stadium, and I know you're anxiously awaiting the St. Pete City Council, whenever that vote is coming. And the county, and the county, and the county commission, too. They've got to sign off on it as well. Is there a part of you that's, 
I don't know, maybe a little impatient about the process because, as you mentioned, you've been waiting a long time for this to finally come to fruition. You're almost there. It's like <laughs> the bottom of the eighth inning, you know, and you have a two-run lead, and maybe Pete Fairbanks is coming in, which is a good thing. But you're almost there, but it's not quite. How do you feel? Yeah, it's uh, it, 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 the overtime. You do le- learn some patience. I'm generally a pretty patient person. We have a time. There's a there's a time frame, right? We you know talk. It takes X amount of time to build a baseball stadium, and it it doesn't happen. As anybody who's done work on their home or apartment or you know wherever they're living, it just takes longer and it costs more. So you're doing a bathroom, or you're doing you know you're you're, you're fixing up a, a a rec room or or any. It it just takes longer. So. We have a time frame, and we need to be able to throw that pitch out in 2028. Uh, I would have loved, ideally, optimistically, to have gotten a positive vote before the season started, you know, sometime February, March, which meant that we could be focused on on the next steps. We're doing everything in advance right now. We're doing everything in the background to make sure we hit the ground running. Uh, We're preparing for success, meaning that there'll be a a positive vote. So, you know, there's nothing guaranteed, but we're preparing as if it's going to happen. Because we need to do that to, in order to get a stadium done in a in a, a good period of time, you'll always be some issues. You never know with COVID, you know, supply chain issues and things happen. Uh, but we we're we're pretty optimistic right now. And the longer you wait, as you know, the more expensive it will get. Yes. And, and you mentioned the time frame. So, in your mind, when does that shovel have to go into the ground? Like the last or the latest possible time? By the end before well, a good deal before the end of the year. You know, we'll start. This thing happens. Things will start happening around here. Okay. But we've been doing all the, the soil testing and you, you name it. I mean, everything is getting done as if it's going to happen. Because if we didn't do that, we couldn't. There's no way, no how, we'd be able to get it done. Um, so you know, the, the city and the, the county have to line up financing. We have to line up our financing. There's a lot that has to get done. But at least we're all pushing in the same direction. And as far as that goes, I think you know, Thanksgiving ish, give okay. or take. Um, and then I'll, I'll feel good about that, and our, our uh, organization would feel great about it. All right, I'll get you out on this. Um, this team seems to run uh, just flawlessly, and you've got the guys in place. And look, any successful business has an owner who delegates authority. You take care of this. You take care of that. Yep. And, and you've got that going right now better than maybe any organization of baseball because with Eric Neander and Kevin Cash and, of course, Kyle Snyder, the pitching coach, you've got guys who have proven that they can make anything happen, make positive things happen. That's why you've been to the playoffs five years in a row. So just speak to your success and why you guys have been as successful. It, it is an organizational uh, issue. We've had this for you know, from before before Eric had started as general manager or president of baseball ops, goes back with Andrew Friedman and when we started, and we were we we really had a a, a concept in mind. We've stuck to our knitting, and most importantly, we've been extraordinarily fortunate to have folks like Eric Neander knock on our door, have folks like Kara K- uh, Kevin Cash be available, Kyle Snyder. You know, we we moved an, another pitching coach who was great, Jim Hickey, what probably as good as it was in the game. Uh, and we had enormous success, and Jim moved along, and we had Carl Snyder step in, right? Our, our hitting coach, we had Derek Shelton, who's managing the Pirates. Wonderful organizational guy, talented as all hell. And uh, he's a manager now, and we had an opportunity with, with Mattola, Chad Matola to come in. So we, set, we, we have some seeds, we have some people in the organization, and if we, you know, we feel good about them and we bring them along, they know what we're looking for, and they step into these roles and they gel together. But to your point, uh, with Eric, Matt Silverman before him, and along with Matt right now, uh, all of his coaches, the training staff, the the um, uh, <laughs> Joe Benj, and the, the equipment staff, and it, 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 everybody. I, you know, I, I know I'm fumfering around here a little bit, but it's I'm I'm so proud of all these guys and the way they've most importantly worked together. So ego's been checked at the door. And uh, that really, you know, you need the players on the field, but it's sort of working and we're not going to get in the way. Well, in terms of Eric, I mean, how concerned are you that, and I know some teams have approached him, you, you've you been able to keep him and keep him here. He loves being here, which obviously really helps. But what is your concern level that one day that some other team's going to make him an offer he can't refuse? Well, it's not going to be anytime soon. So uh, when, when and if, that, and it's a big if that day happens, it'll be many years from now. Uh, and the same with Cashy. And look, Pete Bendix was our number two, and he just went to took the, took the Marlins job. We wish him all the best. Pete is incredible, wonderful guy. Can do that job, uh, wholeheartedly do it. 
Um, but, you know, we've got others behind him, filling in behind him. Uh, but Cash is really a unique, special manager. Longest tenure with one team. And look, at, we, we went through a couple of years, and I guess he would admit it as well, that there was some learning pains, right? Mm-hmm. Growing pains. Uh, but that's part of the organizational philosophy. We believe in the person, and uh, we, we have a great uh, relationship with him. Stu, best of luck. Thank, Thank you. Thanks Happy for joining me. Day. Thank you for coming down. Thanks for everybody listening. We'll see you at the ballpark. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. That's Stu Sternberg, Rays principal owner. Great to have him here on the drive on this opening day as the Rays will raise the curtain on 2024. They will take on the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, we're going to take a quick timeout. Andy Freed is going to join us on the other side. This is The Drive with T. Kraz on WDAE. We'll be back. Later today is opening opening day. day. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate. On the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. WDAE. Traffic update. Edgewood Drive near Bartow Road, Polk County. Accident with injuries to watch for. Newport Ritchie, southbound Rowan Road at Sharpsburg Boulevard, accident with road blockage. Clearwater Beach has stop and go traffic on the westbound Memorial Causeway from Island Way to Coronado Drive. Ten minute delays there. Pinellas Park crash, Park Boulevard at US 19. Little bit of slow traffic, southbound 275 from Gandy to 38th Avenue North St. Pete. With traffic, I'm Amy Snyder. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile, but you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium premium 20-inch wheels, and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. $46,699. We have 100 of these trucks. Or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F-150s. Please note, during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during Crate-a-thon 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Rise Con 2024 is back and better than ever. Global Entrepreneur and Tampa's very own Vic Tipness brings together the world's most elite event for entrepreneurs to Tampa to help people live their max life. On April 19th through the 21st, join Vic along with MLB All-Star Alex Rodriguez, NFL Hall of Famer Deion Sanders, political analyst Tucker Carlson, and many more. Get your tickets at theriseconference.com. Invest in yourself and watch your life transform. Get your tickets at theriseconference.com today. You do not want to miss this event. Real people are getting real and lasting pain relief at QC Kinetics. Who would have thought that I would be in better shape now than after I got out of the Marines at 22? It's great to be active again. I've played 36 holes multiple days in a row without pain. Everything is great. Are you tired of living with chronic joint pain? QC Kinetics uses cutting-edge regenerative medicine to restore and repair damaged tissue, natural healing agents from your own body, so your body can heal itself the way it was designed. With no pain pills, no steroids, no drugs, and no downtime. It was super successful, and I recommend everyone seek out QC Kinetics as an alternative to surgery. Thanks to QC Kinetics, quality of life is just a lot better. Definitely changed my life. Call now to see if regenerative medicine could be the answer you've been looking for. The local medical professionals at QC Kinetics have proven protocols that can give you lasting relief now and the consultation is free call qc kinetics 813-305-3000 that's 813-305-3000 locations including bradenton st pete and lakeland 813-305-3000 after a big dinner my nighttime heartburn would keep me up i'd be taking an acid after an acid all night long but then i tried prilosec otc Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one-and-done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, (sighs) I could have a restful night's sleep. 
Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Celebrate and save at Ashley's Anniversary Sale. With Hot Buys, your choice of colors starting at just $3.99. Ashley Sleep Mattresses starting at $2.50. Plus, receive a free adjustable base with select mattress purchases. And shop top mattress brands like Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and Beautyrest Black with 60-month special financing only at Ashley. Subject to credit approval. No minimum purchase required. Minimum monthly payment, down payment, tax, and delivery may be required. See store for details. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. It already feels like home. Hi, I'm Benny Jr. with Bartow Ford. The college basketball playoffs have always been one of my favorite times of the sporting year. Why? It's a chance for a small town school to beat a perennial powerhouse. Barto Ford has been that underdog, outselling big city dealerships every single day, every single year. We only do this by teamwork and taking care of our customers. It's just another way at Barto Ford we're different and we prove it. A fraction of a raindrop three grains of salt at up to 100 times more potent than morphine the tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose fentanyl can be mixed into heroin cocaine pressed pills meth and other drugs it could be in your drugs and you wouldn't be able to see it taste it or smell it learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anajar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Pulse Nation for over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to T. Kras, Tom Krasnicki. All right, welcome back. It is The Drive with T. Kraz on opening day 2024. Rays and the Blue Jays at 410, the first pitch right here on your home for Rays baseball, WDAE. And a reminder, opening day in Tampa Bay, the coverage right here on DAE presented by our friends over at the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more information, go online, CFBHN. Dot org. T. Kraz, Tom Kraz, Nicky with you. Such a wonderful feeling as we get you set for race baseball. The opener here, of course, we are your home for race baseball. And joining me right now, 
My friend, for 20 years on Ray's Radio, my guy, Andy Freed, is with me here. Happy opening day, my friend. Thomas, it is such a wonderful day. Every time opening day comes around, I keep getting asked, do you have butterflies? Do you have... I feel the same about opening day now that I did as a little kid. Me too. It just brings that back, and it's such a, a, a unique feeling. And look, all the other sports are great, but I do think there's something about baseball that's unique about opening day. You look at the schedule. And it's 162 games, and you know there's going to be games and times of the season where you think we're never going to win again, and other times where it looks like we're cruising. All those emotions are about to happen, and in the moment, they're all legit. You know, Ronnie and I were talking yesterday about, you know, the first show today, The Drive, and he said, look, you got to get Andy Freed to say, swing and a drive, you know? <laughs> uh, I think that should be a staple, I think, moving forward, but... Um, you and Neil are getting ready to do your thing. Chris Adams' wall on the pre- and post-game show. Ronnie Lane's got inside pitch coming up at 3 o'clock. So your assessment of the Rays, you saw them many times, obviously, over the spring. You know, coming into the season, won 99 games a year ago. A lot of changes on this team. I think they're a solid representative team right now, and I think they will get better as this year goes along. I, I, I'm not predicting 13-0. and this. Then again, I didn't <laughs> predict 13-0 and last year either, but... Uh, but it's not going to be 0-13 either. I think this will, this is a really good, solid team. I think the core of the group, because there's so many new faces, when I'm talking about Diaz at first and Lau at second and Paredes at third and Siri in center, I think those guys have to get off to pretty good starts because we're waiting for Bradley to come back in the staff. We're waiting for Josh Lowe to come back. It was too bad that Aranda got hurt. You're waiting for his bat to come back and among others. So uh, the injuries, the cavalry will be returning, but I think this team will, will hold its own in the beginning. And it's such a long season, as you know. Aranda getting hurt was kind of a bummer for me because, you know, you watched him this spring. He might have been the most impressive guy you saw all spring. Oh, there's, I, there's no question. And because I really think there's an, a, a similarity between what he was doing and to what Josh Lowe, Lowe did between 22 and 23. A lot of big league baseball right now is catching up to the high heat, and it's hard to do. you you got to make adjustments, and you can't... There are certain things that I don't think you can learn, I've come to realize this, in the minor leagues, because you're not facing 97 at the top of the zone every day. So you've got to figure out ways to make adjustments, and the way Josh Lowe did it is the same way Aranda has been doing it, and it's too bad that, that he broke his uh, uh, pick, or, uh, the ring finger, I think, on his right hand. Mm -hmm. I, I hope when he comes back, everything feels the same, because as you know, hitting is such a feel thing, and uh, we need his bat. I think I think the Rays really going to need to score some runs this year different ways. Can't just be home runs. I think they're going to have to run a lot also. And they will, and they ran a lot last year. They scored 100, 860 runs from a year ago, and hopefully they could duplicate that that's where my concern lies is can Isak Paredes be a 3198 guy again? That's going to be hard to duplicate those numbers. Josh Lowe was a 20 home run, 30 stolen base guy hitting over 290. Now he's down maybe for the first three or four weeks of the season. That's probably the one concern that I have is is there going to be negative regression with some of these guys who put up really gaudy numbers a year ago? Well, the, the, I fall into this trap as much as anybody. I get so focused on my team that you forget that other teams are dealing with the same thing. You know, is Yandy Diaz going to win the batting title? Can a Rosa Reina maybe do better than 2020 this year? Can Josh Lowe reproduce what he did? Good teams do. That's just what it comes down to. I mean, the Rangers are looking at, can Simeon and Seager do their thing again? And and the, the Yankees are looking at, is Soto the first-half player with the Padres last year or the second-half player with the Padres? Is he the guy that was with the Nationals? Uh, is Judge going to stay on the field? The Red Sox are trying to figure out who in the world is going to pitch you know, so, yeah. I mean, there, there's plenty of questions for every team going in. But when I look at the Rays' issues compared to the other team's issues, I think the Rays are still in pretty good shape. Andy Freed, Rays Radio, is with me here on The Drive. So, one of our prank calls last night was Pete from St. Louis. Hey, what do you think about the Rays' bullpen? <laughs> Pete Fairbanks is such a character. And, you know, we were asking him about his intensity when he gets out there. And that is the one strength you can count on. This Rays' bullpen is deep. They're versatile. They got guys from both sides, different arm angles. Fairbanks, Jason Adam, Sean Armstrong. I think Phil Maton's going to be able to come in and help out Garrett Clevenger. We were asking Pete Fairbanks, hey, who was one of the most impressive guys you saw? And he said, Garrett Clevenger is a lefty coming back from that knee injury. Well, one of the things and that's, a, I guess, a joyous thing for being here 20 years is that you have a lot of teams to look back on and, and compare. I look back to the, uh, the 08 team, and you had... 
Wheeler setting up for Percival amongst some other guys. And then you look at 2010, you had Benoit setting up for Soriano. And then you had Joel Peralta and Fernando Rodney. They, those were two sums that were planned on the beginning of the year. I don't see in this bullpen where there is a B bullpen. To me, all these guys could pitch with a lead late in games. So I don't ever remember a bullpen quite like this where you've got a lot of guys that will be able to not only finish games, but I guess in games that you're not in, you're going to have to figure out guys just to get working. I think it's almost a reverse problem for Kevin Cash. You have so many good arms out there. I don't know who the quote-unquote B bullpen even is. You talk to Kevin Cash, obviously. You're going to hear that in the pregame show coming up. Uh, anything interesting out of the manager on this opening day? Well, I, I think he played down the issue with the turf because it looks different, and everyone knows that it looks great. But he said from what he's hearing from the guys, it plays a little bit slower, but maybe a, a little too much is being uh, made about it. I know we've we've had a new turf here every, I don't know, four or five years, something like that. It always plays a little bit slow in the beginning. It always gets stuck a little bit in the corners for the corner outfielders. Uh, but I, he kind of played that down. And right now I think Kevin admitted that this is a team that we really do need those guys back. Uh, I think he's happy with the team right now. I think he's going to feel better about it when you get Lowe and Aranda and Bradley back. Zach Eflin, 16-game winner from a year ago, the opening day starter here today. Here's a guy who just goes out there, pounds the strike zone, doesn't walk too many guys, relies on his defense behind them. How can he duplicate what he did from a year ago? Well, I... I it's funny when you look at a guy that's an opening day starter now, and that's that's what he's going to he's going to be throwing the first pitch here in a couple of hours. Uh, I get fooled again every year, and I fight myself with this on spring training numbers. You know, I was looking at some of the other ace type pitchers throughout the game. Pablo Lopez didn't have a great spring training for the Twins. Uh, this guy, that guy, uh, Cole got hurt. It, it comes down to today is when it starts to matter. When you got have a guy that is as professional as Zach Eflin is. I mean, honestly, if he had started game one of the postseason last year, I don't think anyone would have uh, would have worried. The Rays won 23-8 and eight with him on the mound last year. To me, that's what the modern ace is. The modern ace isn't going out there and throwing 15 complete games and, and eight shutouts. It's about do you keep your team in the game, and with our bullpen, what is your team record? I, I think that that's something that I really try to push on the air is that what is the team record when this individual starts? 23 and 8. That's a, me, great, that, that's a great stat. Says it all. And without question, Andy Free to raise radios with me here. Your assessment on the catching position. So, Rene Pinto's got some pop in his bat. Rays really like what he can bring day in and day out. And the backup catcher now is Ben Rortfeld, right? He's here. Uh, I know that that's the guy that Cole liked to throw to most when he was with the Yankees, from what I understand. So, I it was an. A strange move for the Rays, only in that Alex Jackson was here the entire camp. Right. Knows the pitchers, uh, was there, and it was kind of dangled out at the end, and I felt bad for him, and I'm, I know Kevin did to a degree as well. But, look, this is a business, and they needed a left-handed hitter, and I think that's part of it. He's known as a really good defensive catcher, but I'll be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot about Ben yet. I haven't met him yet. I've seen him with the Twins and with the Yankees. Uh, if he's, I understand he's come in. He's buying a house in Tampa, which is great to hear. Uh, so I, I, I don't have a great answer there. I look at Rene Pinto and think, this is, you know, last year we were looking at there was Bethancourt and Mejia, kind of an even job share. There's a clear number one catcher, Rene Pinto. He's the guy that they've put the, the onus on to be the lead guy. You've got to be the quarterback, back of the plate. And then Rort Vett, I just think we'll be learning about as we go along. I get you out on this. The one newcomer that I'm extremely excited about and confident in that he can make a big impact is Ahmad Rosario, a guy who made $7.8 million last year. The Rays signed him for a million and a half, which is a great bargain, bargain for a guy who can play all over the infield. He played a lot of right field in spring training. He kills left-handed pitching. I think he's going to make a big impact. And reportedly turned down $4 million from the Yankees to sign with the Rays for one and a half. You talk about betting on yourself. That's a one-year deal at one and a half instead of one for four. So he not only came to the Rays knowing that, uh, you know, that's pretty good dough, but it's not four. At the same time, though, that's I, I, he honestly, thinks he's going to get playing time here. He's going to get more playing time here. That's one. Two, and if you break it down to somebody who lived in New York City, when you talk about federal <laughs> tax, state <True>. tax, <laughs> you know, four million all of a sudden turns into one and a half. No state income tax here, so... I don't think the money is all that different between four million up there and one and a half million here, but 
you know, I think he made the right move for himself. Well, he's going to get more reps here. That's yeah. what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. So if he wants a multi-year, after, what, what's the old Sparky Anderson line? You you, you want to win a pennant, give me nine guys in a one-year deal. Right. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> on a one-year prove-it deal. That's right. I'm not putting words into his mouth, but let's be honest. Uh, he bet on himself to have a good year and to get the reps, uh, and I think he will with the race. I think he's going to produce. All right, he's Andy Freed. Him along with Neil Selons here. We're up here. <laughs> Opening day 2024. Zach Eflin will be on the mound. Uh, I appreciate it very much. Thanks for being on. And uh, go get him today, man. I never get tired of you <laughs> doing that. Hey, congrats on the new gig. Thank we'll you, talk so to you much. Soon. And, Andy Freed, he is awesome. You're going to hear him on with the Rays and the Blue Jays. He and Neil Solons will have the call. A 410 first pitch with Zach Eflin. Being on the mound, always great to catch up with my guy, Andy Freed. He and Neil are great, as are Chris Adams' wall, comprising themselves of Rays Radio. All right, we'll take a timeout. On the other side, more on Major League Baseball. There was news on Wander Franco today. We're going to give that to you next. It is The Drive with T. Kraz right here on your home for Rays Baseball, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The Pat and Aaron Show. The show of the people. Raw. And unapologetic. All right, Rays fans, I got my shovel ready. You know, I've had it re- ready for a long time. I've had it ready for like over a decade. If this measure isn't approved, you might as well bury the shovel. Beat your need for Tampa Bay sports talk. The Pat and Aaron Show. Morning starting at 6 on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. What's old and new and red all over? Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo. A large pizza smothered with old world cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Only $9.99 and available for a limited time at Hungry Howie's. Think you have to travel to New York or Los Angeles to get a deal on a five-carat colorless diamond in a -a one-of-a-kind designer setting? What if I told you people from those cities came here for these exquisite pieces of jewelry? Here to International Diamond Center. Welcome to the IDC Prestige Collection, a truly breathtaking array of large, rare diamonds, two carats and up, hand-picked for maximum brilliance and certified by the GIA. In addition, International Diamond Center is one of only 14 dealers in the world offering De Beers Forevermark Exceptional Diamonds. Featuring magnificent diamonds, five carats and up, including the rarest and most exquisite diamonds on the planet. The IDC Prestige Collection and the Forevermark Exceptional Diamond Collection are for the discriminating shopper with refined taste and uncompromising standards. No need to travel or have it flown in from a broker. It's all here, every day. One of America's most impressive displays of large, rare diamonds, along with the most sought-after designer rings in the world. International Diamond Center, your direct diamond importer. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Enjoy lunch or dinner today at Kelly's Roast Beef, the iconic taste of Boston, home of the original roast beef sandwich. Plus, authentic New England seafood, chicken sandwiches, burgers, dogs, ice cream, kids' meals, and more. All freshly made with gluten-free options, too. Dine in or drive through today at Kelly's Roast Beef. Mention this ad and get a free Kelly scratch card for special discounts or free food. Stop by today at University and Honoré in Sarasota and just northeast of Pasadena and Shore Drive in St. Pete. Kelly's Roast Beef. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentice West is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call one 888 10 What's the Anajar and Levine difference? If you're the victim of a car crash, you will always speak to a lawyer. You'll always get the highest standard of care from our dedicated legal team, and we'll always fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. That's the Anajar and Levine difference. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Don't wait. Call 1-800-747-FREE. Main office, Tampa.
to thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audible Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audible Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Carol. She's more focused on hitting a high note than the car in front of her. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates North Park, Illinois. Watch the Tampa Bay Rowdies kick some grass against Rhode Island FC. Live Saturday night at 7.30 on Tampa Bay 44. Tampa Bay is on the board. Watch Rowdies home games all season long on Tampa Bay 44. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Why should you hire the largest injury firm in the world for your injury case? Lots of people hired us. We've collected over $15 billion and won a lot. Morgan & Morgan, For the People. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE, live from the trough. Now, back to T. Kras, Tom Krasnicki. Happy opening day, everyone. Welcome back. It is The Drive with T. Kras as we come to you live from Tropicana Field. We're right down the right field line near the Rays bullpen area. Great to have you with us. 888-546-4620 is the phone number. Text at 82945. We're going to get into some texts in a matter of moments. As we mentioned right before the break, there is a little bit of news regarding Wander Franco. He was placed today on paid administrative leave through June the 1st. That was an agreement between Major League Baseball and the Players Association. And it will give them some more time in order to kind of figure out and sort through the legal process down in the Dominican Republic, which nobody knows a damn thing about. And we all know about the allegations surrounding Wander and his alleged sexual relationship with an underage girl. And there are other charges, including money laundering, too. He hasn't been formally charged with any of these at this point. In January, during a coercive, coercive uh, measures meeting, prosecutors were given six months to present their accusation against Franco, so that would leave it up until June the 1st or the month of June, so I think June, we're going to know one way or another where this is going to be going. And the Rays, obviously, are going to take this day by day. I think they have a pretty good idea as to what they're going to do if this situation happens or if it happens this way. I think the Rays are prepared to deal with it either way, but because he's on administrative leave and not the restricted list. Had he been on the restricted list, then he would not have been paid. He gets paid $2 million a season. He is going to get paid that money. He's 23 years old. Uh, by the way, he's under contract through 2032. He's owed $174 million. How do you feel if you're the Rays at this point? I mean, the one guy that you step out there and give a long-term deal to you have all the hopes in the world that this is the guy you want to build your entire franchise and organization around, and then he gets into this trouble down in the Dominican Republic. It's just a downer. It's It really is. There's no other way to put it. And now the Rays are going to be waiting, just like everybody else, until June. And I think by June, it's going to be Judgment Day. You're going to charge him or not? What's going to happen with him from there or not? But in the meantime... Jose Caballero is the opening day shortstop for your Rays. And, you know, the Rays have a couple of other guys that can play it short. Ahmad Rosario can play it short as well. And 
Oh, by the way, Junior Caminero is down in the minors. You heard Eric Neander a little while ago. He projects to be more of a third baseman where <clears throat> Isak Paredes is currently manning that position. The Isak Paredes, who hit 31 and drove in 98 from a year ago. And I think I talked about this through the offseason. I think you're going to see a scenario where the Rays have a glut of infielders and they're going to set themselves up for a possible deal at some point. Now, the Rays only sell guys when they're at their highest. And right now, Isak Paredes coming off a 31 home run season. His value is pretty high. You know, if Brandon Lau gets off to a great start, don't forget, he is the second highest paid Rays player at $8.5 million. You heard Stu, he was on here saying, well, you know, our payroll is over $90 million. Not that anyone keeps track of it and yeah you keep track of it you signed the checks i told them and he's like you're darn right and they're well aware of that so that's something to keep in mind and keep it keep track of like if the rays for some reason if they were to whatever fall out of contention those would be the two guys i think they would sell on it would be parides it would be brandon lau and you know no one wants to see that happen obviously with the Rays falling out of contention but um, it's just something to keep in mind if the season does go south. I mean, those are two guys who could get moved. By the way, um, Osawa, the guy that the Rays had in spring training, uh, he was traded to the Boston Red Sox for cash. And the other big story that just happened in the last hour in terms of the New York Yankees was that Garrett Cole, no surprise here, he was placed on the 60-day injured list by the Yankees with that elbow injury. And look, it's a huge injury. There's no question. It's your number one starter being out of action month to month for at least two months. That's a big, that's a problem. Is that a problem? Yes, it is a problem for the Yankees. And that's why I don't believe they are a playoff team. All right, two hours in the books. We've got one more hour to go. Let It Ride is also coming up. We also have a four-pack of race tickets to give to you for the game on Sunday. A reminder, guys, we're here at opening day here at the TROP, and our coverage here on DAE is presented by our friends over at the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk, they hear you. For more information, go online at cfbhn.org. We're two hours away from first pitch of the 2024 season between the Rays and the Blue Jays. It's the drive with T-Kraz. When we come back, what are the Rays' hopes? Who are they counting on to have a big year? And we've got the opening day lineup for the Rays and the Blue Jays as well. That is coming up next here on the drive with T-Kraz on your home of the Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The boys of summer are doing it on the diamond at Tropicana Field, and we're all over it. Get the latest Rays news, analysis, and more. We're your hardball hookup all season long. This is the home of the Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. Polk County accident on Edgewood Drive at Bartow Road, Newport Ritchie, southbound Rowan Road at Sharpsburg Boulevard. Stop and go on the westbound Memorial Causeway heading to Clearwater Beach. Some heavy traffic on southbound 275 through St. Pete and a Pinellas Park crash at Park Boulevard and U.S. 19. Tampa accidents, Dale Mabry at Cypress, Fowler at 14th. With traffic... I'm Amy Snyder. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo is a large pizza smothered with old world cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Try it with our newest flavored crust, Southwest Ranch. Only $9.99 and both for a limited time at Hungry Howie's. 
Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to, to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile, but you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium 20 inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. 46, $46,699. We have a hundred of these trucks or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F 150s. Please note during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during Trade a Thon 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Ronnie Lane here, joined by by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized, inflation adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. Life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries clothes gifts the occasional self-care splurge you know how it is that's why you should get the drop app with drop you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards last year i scored 150 dollars in gift cards alone make sure to use code drop 23 when you sign up and get five dollars in drop points that's drop 23 get rewarded for shopping and download drop now for free on the app store or google play Find what you love, love what you find. A total wine and more, there's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer, thousands of wines. Walk right through the door, it's all here to explore. With guides in the know and prices so low, it just might blow your mind. Love what you find. responsibly, B21. This Easter weekend, hop on over to Pool Perfection's grand opening of their second location. With 20 years of experience and top-notch quality, they're bringing the best to North Tampa communities. Just two miles west of the Tampa Premium Outlets on State Road 54. Join the festivities this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Indulge in delicious food and exciting fun as you explore what Pool Perfection has to offer. Plus, for those attending, there are fantastic incentives in store if you're considering building that pool. Don't miss out on the treats this weekend come celebrate with pool perfection at target count on our great deals just in time for easter save five dollars when you spend 30 on toys with target circle so you can fill their baskets with fun like cuddly stuffed animals or 50 piece sidewalk chalk all from only five dollars add an easter chocolate faves at bogo 50 percent off from cadbury to reese's mini eggs and more and get great family pics with new easter looks it's easy with 20 percent off dresses polos and more Hop in fast for our best Easter deals, only at Target. Restrictions apply. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Watch the Tampa Bay Rowdies kick some grass against Rhode Island FC. Live Saturday night at 7.30 on Tampa Bay 44. Tampa Bay! Watch Rowdy's home games all season long on Tampa Bay 44. Hi, I'm Benny Jr. with Bartow Ford. The college basketball playoffs have always been one of my favorite times of the sporting year. Why? It's a chance for a small town school to beat a perennial powerhouse. Bartow Ford has been that underdog, outselling big city dealerships every single day, every single year. 
We only do this by teamwork and taking care of our customers. It's just another way at Bartow Ford we're different and we prove it. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The 24-7 home for those who represent Team Tampa Bay. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellis Park. And the mighty 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Tampa Bay, free has never sounded so good. Your one-stop shop for all things opening day in Tampa Bay. Live from Tropicana Field. Now, back to T. Kras, Tom Kras, Nikki. Welcome back. It is the final hour of The Drive with T. Kras, Tom Kras, Nikki, the maiden voyage. Great to have you with us. We are honored to be here at Tropicana Field for opening day 2024. Two hours from now, it'll be the Rays and the Blue Jays' first pitch. It'll be Zach Eflin on the mound for the Rays against Jose Berrios of the Toronto Blue Jays. And the starting lineups are out for both teams. For visiting Toronto, George Springer is leading it off in right field. Vlad Guerrero Jr. batting second. Bo Bichette hitting third at shortstop. Justin Turner, who's like 39 years old, acquired by Toronto in the offseason. He's hitting cleanup. Dalton Varsho in left field, batting fifth. Alejandro Kirk behind the play, hitting sixth. The former Ray, Kevin K -K 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 Kiermaier, is in center field. He is hitting seventh tonight. By the way, he's 0 for 5 lifetime against Zach Eflin, just in case you're wondering. Isaiah Connor Falefa is at third base, hitting eighth. And Kevin Biggio, who's 3 for 5 lifetime against Eflin, hitting ninth. So Springer, Guerrero, Bichette, Turner, Varsho, Kirk, Kiermaier, Connor Falefa, and Biggio rounding it out for Toronto. Now for your Tampa Bay Rays, Yandy Diaz will be leading off at first. Brandon Lau is hitting second. He's at second. Randy Arozarena in left field hitting third with Harold Ramirez being the DH in the cleanup spot. Isak Paredes is at third base batting fifth. Richie Palacios, your opening day starter in right field for the Rays, is hitting seventh. Jose Siri is, um, I'm sorry, Jose Siri is hitting seventh. Palacios is hitting sixth. Series in center field hitting seventh. Jose Caballeros at shortstop batting eighth. One of the newest Rays and Rene Pinto behind the plate batting ninth. So Diaz, Lau, Orozarena, Ramirez, Paredes, Palacios, followed by Siri, Caballero, and Pinto. It should be noted that not a whole lot of these Rays guys have had a lot of success against Barrios. Orozarena is four for 11 with a couple of RBI. Lau has struggled. He's one for seven with four strikeouts. Ramirez is three for 13. Paredes is one for eight. And on the other side of it, there aren't too many guys in this Toronto lineup who have had a lot of success. Justin Turner is four for 16 with a couple of RBI. But outside of that, uh, you know, George Springer has only faced him once, got a hit off him. But Guerrero is one for seven. Bichette is one for eight lifetime against Zach Eflin, who won 16 games from a year ago. So there are your lineups for both teams here as we get you set for opening day here in Tampa Bay. Uh, by the way, coming up in a few minutes, we've got Let It Ride. And then shortly thereafter, we've got a four-pack of tickets to the game on Sunday between the Rays and the Blue Jays. That is a 141st pitch for the game on Sunday. That four-pack of tickets will be coming away in a matter of moments. And 
Chris Mathis, by the way, is doing a great job. He is here. John Mamola, DJ Jamie Ferreira holding it down. Jay Retcher's got a glove in his hand because the Blue Jays are taking batting practice, and he's looking to protect us all here at our broadcast setup. We're right down the right field line, right by the bullpen. The gates just opened, by the way, two minutes ago, two hours before the game, so the fans are going to be streaming in. It will be a sold-out crowd for the game here today. We had Stu Sternberg on earlier on the show, and in case you missed it, it should be up for podcast at some point at The Drive on 953WDAE.com. You can check out our podcast there. Also, download the free iHeartRadio app. Commercial free podcast can be had there. But Stu is very pleased, obviously, with the direction of the team. Attendance was up 30%. He's hoping that they can keep it going this year. We know the stadium conversation is going to take center stage in the weeks to come with the St. Pete City Council, then the Pinellas County Commission coming down with a vote. And, you know, I sensed Stu was maybe a little antsy to get this over with because it is a complicated process. It's a massive project, obviously. And in order for this stadium to be ready by opening day 2028, which is four years from now, they got to get to work on this thing. That shovel has got to go into the ground quick. And I asked him about the timeline. What is the absolute latest time that you need that shovel to go in there to get ready for opening day 2028? He said, look, by November, by Thanksgiving, that shovel's got to go into the ground. We've got to get this thing rolling. We've got to break ground if we're going to have a new stadium here in the shadows of Tropicana Field on the other side of the parking lot for 2028. So... There you have it. That was Stu's assessment of the situation here. The payroll is over $90 million, which he was, you know, uh, I don't know if he was uh, joking about it, but, you know, he's like, ah, I don't know if people are keeping track of that. Uh, yeah, he's definitely keeping track of it. He's the owner. He signs the checks. Everyone's keeping track of it. Mark Topkin's keeping track of it. He was the very first guest of the drive, by the way, just after high noon, followed by... The president of baseball operations, Eric Neander. We certainly appreciate those two guys for joining us. And then Stu joined us in the 1 o'clock hour. So we've had some great guests here today on the premiere episode of The Drive. Now, we're on from noon until 3 today because of Rays baseball. But our usual time will be 3 to 7 afternoons. Chris Mathis is staying on board as the executive producer He's going to have an integral role on this hideous program, certainly moving forward. And we will be on from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock or until Rays baseball during baseball season. So, by the way, now that we've got a couple of minutes to kind of exhale, I want to thank each and every one of you who came out to the L Bar last night at the Hard Rock for the final Ronnie T. Grass show. And I had breakfast with Ronnie this morning. He and the lovely Bobby, and we were just talking about what an unbelievable scene that was yesterday. And John Mamola did an incredible job along with Chris Mathis and James Berlander to put together the surprise audio bits that were sprung on us during the show. Our surprise guests from Pete Fairbanks to Jason Light to Brian Ford, the COO of the Buccaneers, to the voicemail messages from all of these dignitaries throughout the Tampa Bay area, the who's who from John Cooper to Kevin Cash to Phil Esposito, the great Levante David. I mean, you know, when I went back and watched the video, I mean, you want to talk about a guy who's about as genuine, who's about as respectable, who has so much class and dignity to his name for not only what he does on the field, but what he does off the field, he is a treasure to the Tampa Bay area. That was the one message that I went back and watched last night and listened to again this morning that I was just speechless. So thank God for you, Levante David. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Tampa Bay loves you, and we are certainly glad that you are back for your 13th year. That was really touching. And honestly, last night, and I was telling Ronnie this this morning, and I was telling some people maybe through social media and whatnot, Last night was one of the greatest nights, not just of my broadcasting career, but of my life in general, because the outpouring of support was overwhelming, not just from the listeners and 
the who's who, the dignitaries around Tampa Bay who obviously lent some of their time to wish us well on our new endeavors. But the people that work for iHeartMedia Tampa Bay, the people that I work with, the people that I work for, from the sales staff to the promotions to programming, I mean, we could not have better bosses right now than our market president, Chris Sektig, who gave us a box of cigars, which... I'm not sure what happened. Oh, I, I have those cigars at my house, Tom. Okay. Right. Remember somebody left them at the L bar, yeah, okay. and I wanted to put them in my backpack, so now they're they're at the house. They're good. They're secured. You know? oh, yeah, right. no worries there. Make sure you put them, like, in a top shelf somewhere where there, it's a humid environment. You don't have a humidor, so make sure they're somewhere. Uh, okay, where... I'll bring them into the studio tomorrow. I'll return them tomorrow. Now you can hold on to them. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah I might as well bring them back. I'm not smoking them. You're not? No. All right. All right. You know. But I thought of you when I when I put them on my uh, on my dress my countertop yesterday. I thought, oh man, these are these are Tom's and Ronnie's. Well, they're all of ours. Okay, I know Chris gave it to me and Ronnie, but we wanted to share that with everybody. So, at some point, we will sit down, maybe all of us, and have a smoke. But I mean, and I was mentioning to Ronnie this morning, and I've worked at a few places. Ronnie's worked at a lot of places before. I think we all have. When you're in the broadcasting profession, it's a tight knit community. And everybody knows everybody, right? But this is the first time in in my life that I've worked at a place where I really, really, really enjoy the people that I work with, the people that I work for. This is a great group. This is the greatest collection of professionals. Are you professional or not? These are professionals. Am I? Sometimes, <laughs> Chris Mathis. But... This is the greatest group of professionals I've ever been around in, in my career, anywhere, from sales to promotions. I mean, everybody just gets after it. Everybody is courteous and respectful of everyone else. And uh, I am just so grateful to be in this position to launch the drive here this afternoon. And it would not be possible without the assistance and the support from, first off, all of you listeners out there, and I love each and every one of you, especially the haters, keep doing what you're doing because you are driving the machine like nobody's business. Every time you go on social media and you do what you do, you say something ridiculous, which is going to end up on the mailbag sooner rather than later, you don't realize that I love you more so than I love the you know, look, and I love all the listeners too, but the haters, man, you guys don't realize that what you're doing actually helps us so keep doing what you're doing because you're good at it you're good at being miserable and it helps us out and it's even more beneficial to us as a whole so you guys are awesome at what you do yeah we saw even with all the very positive tweets last night tom we did see some interesting ones on one tweet in particular from earlier in the week and i saw you were egging them on a little bit like oh not my show (laughs) oh yeah but you're still listening you might have it turned down but you're still listening they're they're always listening i mean they could come on social media where i'm never listening again you're all you're big fat liars you you will continue to listen that's by the way one of the greatest promos john uh you said you would never listen again you big fat liar that's the greatest promo that we run because it's true because you people could be angry all you want. You're still going to listen, and we appreciate that. Uh, we'll take your calls at 888-546-4620. Your concerns, your confidence level when it comes to this race team, will they compete for a playoff spot? The answer is yes. Will they make the playoffs for a sixth consecutive year? And the answer to that is maybe. And I think it's dependent on a number of different factors. I think the health of the starting pitching is one of them. You know, Zach Eflin will be on the mound today. He is the least of your concerns. And then right after him, it's Ken Aaron Savali. Can he be the number two? Can Zach Littell, who was a revelation last year, can he take on an even greater role and give him 140 to 150 innings? Can he be a capable number three? What about Ryan Pepio? So much upside there. We saw him in the spring. His last outing was incredible. He was dominant against Detroit. Can he be that next in a long line of Rays starting pitchers that flourishes, that comes from another team like a Glass now and like a a Chris Archer and the like or a Matt Garza? Can he be the next in a long line of pitchers that the Rays import from somewhere else who flourishes in his new role here in Tampa Bay? The answer, I think, is yes, but until he finds his groove, 
there are going to be good outings. There's going to be not so good outings. He's a young pitcher. He's got a great arm. He's got to learn how to pitch inside, which is always, you know, the toughest obstacle for any young pitcher to conquer. But he's got the talent to be a top of the rotation type of guy. But again, there will be a learning curve. There will be bumps along the road, but you certainly like his upside. And when Taj Bradley comes back, hopefully, you know, sooner rather than later, I don't think it's going to happen until May the 1st or thereabouts. Can he pick up where he left off this spring? Because he was very impressive as well. And what about Shane Boz and Drew Rasmussen and Jeffrey Springs? If those guys come back and it's a big if, then I think you're very confident in, if you're the Rays moving forward because now you've got a deep rotation with so many different options to turn to, and you know their bullpen is going to be one of the best in all of baseball. Your thoughts on that? 888-546-4620. We've got a four-pack of race tickets for the game on Sunday to give to you. A reminder, opening day in Tampa Bay right here on DAE, presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. Have the talk with your kids on underage drinking and substance misuse. Talk. They hear you. For more information, hit them up online, CFBHN. Org. All right, on the other side of it, those raised tickets are coming up. Also coming up, it's Thursday. We're bringing over a lot of features from the old show, the Ronnie T. Crash Show, to the drive. Let It Ride is coming up. What about the Sweet 16 games? What about the game here today? Some player props on the Rays and over-under win totals in the NFL. We're going to dive into it. Let It Ride is coming your way next. It's the drive with T. Kras on your home of the Rays, WDAE. Later today is opening day. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate. On the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. WDAE traffic update. Spring Hill accident reported with injuries and road blockage. Deltona Boulevard at Forest Oaks Boulevard, Newport Ritchie, southbound Rowan Road after Trouble Creek. Clearwater Beach stop and go traffic on the westbound Memorial Causeway, St. Pete Crash, Central Ave at 79th Street South. Stop and go southbound 275 from Gandy to 38th Avenue North, St. Pete. And it's opening day at Tropicana Field. Blue Jays are here to play the Rays. First pitch, 410. Please watch for pedestrians. With traffic... I'm Amy Snyder. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. What's old and new and red all over? Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo. A large pizza smothered with old world cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Only $9.99 and available for a limited time at Hungry Howie's. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, over 3 million people called Morgan & Morgan in their time of need. And with over a million of those calls coming from previous clients, friends, and family. My name is Rita Fowler. I was in the car actually relaxing. I was talking to my sister, and all of a sudden, boom, the car hit us. I wound up actually having a stroke. And that's when I decided to call Morgan & Morgan. The whole operation, everything they did from day one, it was self-explanatory. It was text messages. It was emails. It was a no-brainer. When you think that hiring a lawyer is hard, you haven't called Morgan & Morgan. Thank you for trusting us. We've become the largest injury firm in the world because we've won a lot. The word is out. Size matters. Reputation matters. We're America's largest injury law firm for a reason. With over 900 dedicated attorneys and climbing, we're ready wherever you are, whatever you need. The choice is easy. We're just a phone call away. Injured? Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. 
And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navage is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Three bands. One stadium. Jeff Leopard. Journey. Gene Trick. Together. Three rock and roll Hall of Fame icons. Their biggest hits. July 10th. Camping World Stadium. Tickets on sale now. Def Leppard Journey 2024.com. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. A no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 admitted. A fraction of a raindrop. Three grains of salt. At up to 100 times more potent than morphine, the tiniest amount of illegal fentanyl is all it takes to cause an overdose. Fentanyl can be mixed into heroin, cocaine, pressed pills, meth, and other drugs. It could be in your drugs, and you wouldn't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. Learn more at cdc.gov slash stop overdose. At Advent Health, we know the heart. We've mapped it, modeled it, repaired it, and rehabbed it. We've screened it, strengthened it, and saved it. We know your heart. And we know there's an unstoppable human spirit at the center of it. Learn more about whole person care and find nationally recognized heart care specialists at AdventHealthCardiovascularInstitute.com. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio. A unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. Free iHeartRadio app, search Freeform Radio and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Getting you set for the Rays and Blue Jays. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WDAE. Now, back to T-Kraz, Tom Kraz, Nikki. I bet you 20 bucks I can get you gambling before the end of the day. It's $500. Yes, it is. Are you a dealer or an investment counselor? I will splash the pot whenever the back I please. Come on, sir. Yeah, give me five times a piece on uh, St. Louis. For the shoulder of both of them. Let it ride on 13. You they brought in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me something smack. Smack right across the mouth. Come on, come on. Give me another mocker. 
All right, it is time to place some bets on some games. We're live here at the Trapper Rays opening day. It is Let Arrive, presented by my good friend, Dr. Jim DeRospino, and the great people over at the Center for Men's Health, C4MH.com. And here's our pit boss, Chris Mathis. Obviously, with it being opening day here at the Trop, I want to get a lot into that regarding the Rays. And, of course, today's action against the Blue Jays. But before we get to that, Tom, here is a little Sweet 16 action as Clemson will take on Arizona, where the Wildcats are seven and a half point favorites. The over under 152 and a half in this one. I think seven and a half is a little bit too much. The Hard Rock betting app obviously providing us with the odds. So I'm going to take Clemson plus the seven and a half. I like the way that they have played so far. Uh, I think they will keep that game close. I think Arizona probably wins, but not by more than seven. I like it. San Diego State, they'll go at it with UConn, the Big Bad Huskies, where the Huskies are 11.5-point favorites. This game sits at an over-under of 136.5. I'm taking UConn. They've won eight games in a row in the tournament by double digits. It's going to be nine tonight. I don't think San Diego State can hang with the defending champs. We've got another SEC matchup as Alabama takes on North Carolina, where the Tar Heels sit as the favorite. Four and a half points, T. Kraz. The over-under, pretty high in this one, 173 and a half tonight. Yeah, they're expecting a lot of points, and part of the reason for that is Alabama just doesn't defend as well as you can. If you're going to be North Carolina, you got to be able to get some stops. I don't think they're going to be able to do that. I'm going to take North Carolina minus the points. We will round out our Sweet 16 prop bets right here, right now, as Illinois will take on Iowa State, where Iowa State is the favorite, but just a one-and-a-half point favorite, T. Kraz. This game, the over-under the middle of those two games I mentioned before, 146-and-a-half. Iowa State can defend, though, and Terrence Shannon, we talked about him, a controversial figure has been really good so far for Illinois. Iowa State will make it a focal point to try and slow them down. I will take them in this game, yes. I think it'd be disrespectful and not very intelligent on my part if we didn't talk about your Tampa Bay Rays here live at Tropicana Field ahead of opening day against the Toronto Blue Jays where the Rays, one-and-a-half run favorites, T. Kraz, the over-under sets at seven-and-a-half total runs today. I think the Rays get off to a good start. I'm going to pick the Rays. I'm going to give them run and a half i think this will probably be a highest scoring game maybe like an eight to six raise i'm kind of thinking here on opening day so i'm gonna go with the raise wow a, a lot over i mean we're sitting at seven and a half you're going like 14 yes wow yes, okay think. so might see a couple uh, moonshots maybe well you know i'm looking at this turf and it plays slower so i think there's going to be a transition period with a lot of the fielders not just for the raise but for the Blue Jays as well. So that's something to keep an eye on when you come here to the Trop and the fans are starting to filter in slowly but surely. And the turf looks great, but there's going to be an adjustment period in order to, you know, get used to the nuances of the turf, you know, the, the bounces of the balls and everything else. The ball's going to die on the warning track more likely than not. So I think there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period. I think that's going to end up, benefiting both offenses here today. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Now, might we see a home run out of Randy Arroz Arena? The over-under sits a half a homer today for Randy. I'm going to go under, and he's 4 for 11 lifetime against Berrios. He does not have a home run against him in his career. So, I think Randy will have, obviously, some great games and some great days ahead. I think he's going to be pushing for 30 home runs considering his new physique, being able to muscle the ball out of the ballpark. I'm not so sure it starts today, though. On the bump for your Tampa Bay Rays is Zach Eflin. His over-under for strikeouts thrown today, four and a half, T. Kraz. I'm going over, and look, he's not a strikeout type of pitcher per se. When I look at this Toronto lineup and the guys that he has figured out, you know, Justin Turner, he struck him out three times. Uh, Bo Bichette is one for eight with two strikeouts against Eflin. I think Eflin gets the six strikeouts. I think that's a good number for him. On the flip side, Blue Jays starter Jose Barrios over under strikeouts for him, according to the Hard Rock Bet app, five and a half Ks. I think that will be over as well because he has solved a number of guys in this Rays lineup. Brandon Lau, for instance, one for seven, four strikeouts against them. Rosarina in 11 plate appearances has struck out three times. Isak Paredes is one for eight with three strikeouts. His only hit, though, 
off Barrios is a home run, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, when talking about this Rays offense, and you think this should be a high-scoring affair, we're going to talk about a guy in Yandy Diaz, over under one and a half hits for him. Uh, I think he has a two-hit day today. I mean, you saw him, especially toward the latter end of spring training. He's lost a little bit of weight, so he can be more flexible, so he can be more durable. I think that's going to pay off. I think he's adjusted to his new body type. And look, he still looks jacked as ever. But I think Yandy Diaz is about as steady and about as consistent as it gets when it comes to the race. So two-hit day for Yandy today. Now, Tom, we are running out of time. Do you want to stash these NFL win totals for next week and finish out this Rays game bets? Or what's your feeling here? Uh, let's finish out the Rays okay. game. So All right. we can We can put off the uh, NFL stuff. Okay, later. Isak Paredes over under half an RBI. Over. I, I think he has a home run lifetime against Berrios. It would not surprise me if he went deep today, but I think he drives in at least one run. Now we talk about Randy Rosarena bulking up. That should help him at the plate regarding homers, but will it help him on the base path with a speed over under half a stolen base for Randy? Uh, I think Randy's still going to be aggressive despite his added weight. I think he's going to try and take off, and I think I think he steals a base today. I think he surprises some people. Brandon Lau, a guy you mentioned as potentially being the X factor of this team if he's healthy in 2024, over under one and a half strikeouts at the play for Lau? Uh, um, I'm going to go over because he doesn't have great numbers against Barrios. One for seven lifetime with four strikeouts, and that's what I'm basing that on. Okay, and as far as Randy Rosarino, we know that big-time players like the lights, the cameras, the action. It's opening day over under one and a half Ks for Randy Rosarino. Um, I'll go under on the Ks for Randy. Now, talking about the pitching matchup here, we talk about Jose Barrios for the Blue Jays, Zach Eflin for your Tampa Bay Rays, over under two and a half earned run for uh, Barrios. I think it's over. And as I mentioned, I think there's going to be more runs scored because of the uncertainty with the turf and the players getting acclimated to that. So I think we're going to see some runs scored here today. So I'm going over. All right. What about with Zach Eflin? How does he do? Over under one and a half earned runs for Eflin. I think that goes over as well. Look. Zach, I think, was working on some things throughout the spring. You know, he had a number of shaky outings, and hopefully he can get some things rectified. This is a good Toronto lineup. They're going to score a couple of runs here today, too. Now, talking, of course, about Let It Ride, we'll talk about your guys that provide it each and every Thursday. And after that, we got a chance for you guys to score some tickets to Sunday's Rays game. Nice job there, Chris Mathis. It is Let It Ride, presented by my guys over at the Center for Men's Health, Dr. Jinder Espino. I just talked to him last week, in fact. C4MH.com. That's the ticket. Speaking of tickets, we've got four Rays tickets to give to you for Sunday's game. Rays, Blue Jays. It's a 141st pitch. You can take the entire family if you're lucky enough to win these tickets. And Chris Mathis is about to tell you how to do it. Yeah, absolutely. As referenced by you earlier in the program, Tom, the Rays were second in the AL in total stolen bases last season with a certain number, of course. I need the first caller to get it right at 888-546-4620. That's 888-546-4620. Tell Jason Berenger your answer. The first one to know the exact number of stolen bases for the Rays last year will score a four-pack of tickets to Sunday's game. I like it, Chris Mathis. Great job there. So first correct caller, how many bases did the Rays steal from a year ago? You get the four-pack of tickets for the game on Sunday against Toronto. All right, we'll take our final timeout. When we come back, final thoughts, the Rays prediction, the final drive right here. We're live from Tropicana Field on the maiden voyage of the drive with T-Kraz on your home for Rays baseball. This is 95.3 WDAE and AM620. The most complete rundown on all things baseball across Tampa Bay and around the majors. It's the Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Swing and a drive. Deep to left. Go! Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. 60 minutes before every weekday race game. Right here on the radio home of every race game in 2024. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The home of the race. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app.
Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to, to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile. But you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium 20 inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $46,699. 46699 We have a hundred of these trucks or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F-150s. Please note, during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during trade 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Ronnie Lane here. Join by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors co-founder and president Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors led by Steve and you puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized inflation adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Men, want to eliminate erectile dysfunction and PE? Here's a specialist from Prestige Men's Medical Center. I'm Dr. Simovitz. The RestoreWave protocol at Prestige Men's Medical Center is painless and has men lasting longer in the bedroom. Your consultation is free. Plus, the first 37 callers qualify for a free RestoreWave treatment and see instant results in the office. Call Prestige Men's Medical Center now. 813-288-2203. 813-288-2203. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. Three bands. One stadium. Def Leppard. Journey. Team Trick. Together. Three Rock and Roll Hall of Fame icons. Their biggest hits. July 10th. Camping World Stadium. Tickets on sale now at DefLeppardJourney2024.com. We're going abroad for the first time in years. To Spain. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. 
join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Trenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Nothing like a beer and a dog while you get geared up for baseball. This is opening day in Tampa Bay on WTAE, live from the Trop. Now, back to T-Kraz, Tom Kraz, Nikki. The Final Drive. As we sit here at the Trop for opening day 2024, it brings back so many wonderful feelings. You know, when I was a kid, I always sat down and watched This Week in Baseball with Mel Allen to kick off my Saturday mornings. And then there was the game of the week before I would go out and play my Little League game. And when I walked into the Trop this morning, I kind of felt like that little kid once again. Because there's something special about opening day here in Tampa Bay where you walk in and it's kind of like the first day of school, a new adventure. You get to see some familiar faces. You get to meet some new friends as well. And that's what it feels like here for me today, walking back into the trop. You get to see the bunting all around the stadium because you know baseball's back. And for the next six months, we're going to be here talking about this team, agonizing over this team, getting excited over this team. But the one thing and the one constant remains the same. Baseball is back, and I'm so glad to be in this chair sharing it all with each and every one of you. Play ball. The final drive. All right, there is your final drive here on The Drive. And I know a lot of you want to know how I feel, and maybe some of you don't want to know, about this race team and this race season. Well, guess what? Over the last 48 hours, I've had a change of heart. Yes, early in the week, I looked at this race team and we talked about it. And I'm like, ah, gosh, I'm not so sure if it's a playoff team. The starting pitching looks a little questionable. We know the bullpen's going to be great. We know that there are steady guys in this lineup. You know Yandy, what you're going to get out of him, one of the best leadoff guys in baseball. Randy Rosarina is still an electrifying player who's added the weight. That should translate into more run production for him in terms of home runs because we know he's gunning for that big contract. And then you talk to a guy like Eric Neander who gets it. You talk to a guy like Stu Sterber who gets it and Andy Freed. And you talk to a number of race people. Then you look at this in totality. And when you look at the big picture of this race team, one constant always remains. They always find a way. Nobody does more with less than this race team and this race organization. The starting pitching, does it look like a strength right now? Probably not. But guess what? As the season progresses, the Rays always figure it out. They did so when they had all these injuries a few years ago. Guess what? They invented the starter idea, which every team now in baseball now incorporates in one way, shape, or form. That was the Rays way of doing things. And I think they will figure out this starting rotation as the season moves along because the reinforcements will be on the way. Shane Boz, maybe in the month of May into early June. And then this summer, Jeffrey Springs. And then Drew Rasmussen. And then hopefully Taj Bradley will get healthier in the month of May as well to help this team out. Those arms and those reinforcements will be coming. That's why I am now amending my prediction I think the Rays win 88 games and make it as a wild card I do because whenever you sit there and doubt what this team does they always find a way to prove you wrong they're not going to do that to me and I should have learned my lesson years ago last year I didn't I had the Rays in the playoffs and they did they won 99 games I don't know if they get to 99 victories but I think they get to 88 and I think 88 is going to be enough to get them into the playoffs as a wild card. I think the Orioles win the East. I think Toronto gets in as a wild card. I think they're a playoff team. They're very good. Like the Rays, they've got some injuries with their pitching staff. 
Jordan Romano, Eric Swanson, their two relievers are going to start off on the injured list, but they're going to get those guys back hopefully within a month. For their sake, I think their starting rotation is good enough. I think their lineup is good enough. I think Toronto is in as a wild card, and I think the Rays win 88 games, and I think they're in as a wild card as well. Well, I want to thank all of you for listening to the maiden voyage of The Drive. I want to thank all my guests today, Mark Topkin, Andy Freed, Stu Sternberg. I want to thank DJ Jamie Ferreira, Chris Mathis here on site, along with John Mamola for doing an exceptional job. Ronnie Lane and Inside Pitch is coming your way next, leading you to Rays baseball coverage. Raise up. Go Rays. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow at 3 o'clock. You're dismissed. Come on. Get out of here. Thank you for listening to The Drive with T-Crass. If you missed anything from today's show, head to The Drive with T-Crass blog at 953WDAE.com or listen to the on-demand podcast on the free iHeartRadio app. Stay tuned. Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane is next, live on 95.3WDAE and AM620. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic Update. Spring Hill crash, Deltona Boulevard at Forest Oaks Boulevard has road blockage. Tampa, obstruction in the roadway, Memorial Highway at Hillsboro Avenue's caution. Accident at Falkenberg Road at Oak Avenue has officials on scene. Pinellas County has heavy traffic on the westbound Memorial Causeway to Clearwater Beach and on southbound 275 from Gandy to 38th Avenue North. It's opening day, Tropicana Field. Jays at the Rays, first pitch for... Please watch for pedestrians. With traffic, I'm Amy Snyder. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo is a large pizza smothered with old world cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Try it with our newest flavored crust, Southwest Ranch. Only $9.99 and both for a limited time at Hungry Howie's. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and skip the hassles of a traditional home sale. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here, and I'm here with my friend Mark Spain. And Mark, how does the guaranteed offer make selling a home stress-free? The guaranteed offer is simple and stress-free because it's all cash, which means that you don't have a buyer sitting in limbo hoping to get a loan. You don't have a home inspection after you go under contract with somebody coming in and making you or asking you to make costly repairs. It's real simple. It's all cash. You choose your closing date, typically within 21 days, and you move on to the next chapter of your life. It's the easiest, stress-free way to sell your home today, which is why we created the program. With nearly 11,000 five-star reviews, you can trust the most experienced real estate team in the U.S. to sell your home stress-free with the strongest cash offer in the industry. Their guaranteed offer keeps you in control. Find out what the guaranteed offer would be on your home today. There's no obligation. Just go to MarkSpain.com for that guaranteed offer. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. 
With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Three bands. One stadium. Def Leppard. Journey. Team Trick. Together. Three Rock and Roll Hall of Fame icons. Their biggest hits. July 10th. Camping World Stadium. Tickets on sale now at DefLeppardJourney2024.com. Looking for a fun-filled day with your loved ones? Look no further than Pin Chasers. At Pin Chasers, we've been guaranteeing a great time for over 65 years. Whether you're a family, kids, or young adults, Pin Chasers is the place to be. Enjoy exciting bowling, delicious food, and nonstop fun under one roof. Visit our website at pinchasers.net to learn more and plan your unforgettable outing at Pin Chasers. It's guaranteed fun, or it's on us. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com free to try ZipRecruiter for 